Are you Fesha? Yep. Hey, uh, name Senior Dump D. McGregor. Uh, you wanted to tell us something. Oh, yeah, perfect. Sorry, I didn't really uh, recognize the name. Sorry. Right. So, what's this uh, about uh, bank robbery tomorrow? Yeah, so uh, pretty much week to week. Uh, Almost uh, like clockwork on Tuesday, a bank robbery seems to happen with the same group. And I'm part of that same group. Uh, I've worked with Sheriff Cash last week on this. I think there was another sheriff there, but I, I didn't get the name. Um, but there are plans, to make plans today. And I just kind of felt like time was on my side finally. And I wanted to see what I could do to you know, with the sheriff's department to, if anything, prevent it and to, to see how we can stop this from occurring week to week to week with the same group who have already done time and system, albeit not much. Uh, what, um, why do you want to stop them from doing this? Uh, because it, it escalates more and more. Uh, Brief background is I haven't been on the crossing too long, maybe a few weeks now. And uh, this group was the first uh, group of individuals I came across and very helpful and helped me along. But for every good advice I receive, I get offered a job or, you know, toss some questionable advice and I go along with it. And all of a sudden I end up in a jail cell. So I'm trying to what i can do to prevent that for myself but also with them because there's been numerous times now where i've been handed a, a gun and said hey hey robert get ready to shoot wait what who are you shooting and if they want to shoot the law they want to take innocence hostage and i have a feeling if this keeps going down the path that goes down they're gonna die or some innocent folks gonna die or one of your boys is gonna die Okay, um, and your name's Fashar, and, uh, what's this group? Uh, no official name or anything, but it's Jim Sky. It's his own little gang or posse. Um, they did time for the Rhodes robbery last week around Tuesday. Uh, you said Jim, Jim Sky? Yep, Jim Sky. Is that S K Y E? Uh, no, oh, just S K Y. Uh, tra S K Y, yeah, traditional. Okay. Like the sky above. Uh, leader Jim Sky. Who are the members? Uh, well, myself, I guess you could say, and then his um, his girl, uh, his old lady, uh, Miss Daisy. Uh, I, I always miss her name. It begins with an M, but I know it's uh, I'm law. I've taken down it before, but Daisy, like the flower. So it's just been the three of you robbing the banks. And he, he has no he has no shortage. He's a very charismatic guy. He can he can swoop you into his fold real quick. And uh, he uh, has no shortage of goons. But uh, last week it was a redheaded fella named Jimmy. Uh, the week before that it was those uh, Manzanita Post boys that hunt down cannibals. Um, he works with Angels occasionally, I suppose, and a few others. But no one formal really. He's it's it's in the early stages of building. I feel like this is a good opportunity to stop something before it's out of Okay. Uh so what exactly are you asking us to do? Yeah. Uh I'm taking uh I'm really not asking if anything. If anything I'm looking for insight from you mm. about what could be I know obvious to uh, most uh, intelligent advice would be just don't go, don't do it, don't do anything. That's fine. I, I get that, but I feel like this is a pattern that's going to keep happening and happening. So I'm trying to figure out what's the best course of action to educate them on the uh, opposite and maybe think twice. Clearly, uh, right. a couple of days in Cisco didn't do it, so I don't know what will. 
Right. Well, if they keep doing that, they're going to keep getting caught. I know some lifetime bank robbers. Uh, and they always end up deep in the debt. Like, even if they are good at it, um, they usually end up in debt. And if they don't end up in debt, then some of their friends end up in debt. And then they've got to pay off their friends' debt. And then the money disappears fast. They're n you're not going to win as a bank robber. You're always going to lose. It's just a matter of time. Um... As far as you, uh, I I think that I don't know this Jim Skyfall. I don't know what kind of man he is, but I personally recommend honesty. Tell him that you are no longer interested in doing bank robberies because it is dangerous. And you don't want to get shot and you don't want to shoot anyone else. I, I think that most of the time... You know, a man will respect honesty like that. That you're just not cut out for that kind of work. But if you lie to him and say, you know, I'm not feeling well today, or you know, <laughs> I or whatever, like they're gonna, uh, they're not gonna respect that sort of response as much, and eventually they're gonna come down on you hard. But that being said, I don't know this man. Maybe he's a lunatic who will cut you down. Regardless, I cannot say for sure. Perhaps your best course of action is to send a telegram saying that you're no longer interested. I don't know. Um, as far as a bank robbery happening tomorrow at some time, I mean, we'll, we'll be ready. We always are. But if you have more information, we'd more than happily take that. All right. That makes sense. I uh, figured with my position... Being closer to him, I, I thought I could do a little bit more to save him from his path. I'd rather try and do a little more action than inaction. But you know, I'll always take a fall into advisement. Um, but no, I don't think he's a, he's a very reasonable man, and I think he has a he's got that human element to him where I feel like he can realize maybe the error of his ways. But so far, he's opened fire on law before. And mm -hmm. kind of put his, not only myself, but his uh, woman at risk as well. So I think it's a little concerning. So that's why I wanted to be proactive, reach out and see if there was anything. Uh, maybe you go cat and but just kind of let him be. Needs to be the advice. Uh, um, there, yeah, there's nothing you can do. I mean, you could talk to him and say, hey, maybe this isn't a best idea, but I yeah. mean, that's your, up to you. Okay. Uh, we're not going to go out and arrest him for, you know, past crimes. I mean, we could arrest him for conspiracy to rob a bank, but uh, we'd have to have some pretty solid proof, so... Yeah, so there's not really a whole lot we can do. I mean, I'm more than willing to speak to them if you think that'll help, but... Uh, I doubt it. Hey. Okay, well, I've got to get going, duty calls, but uh, you stay safe, sir, and, um, you know... Just remember, you know, if you find yourself in that situation, uh, I would not do it because we're not going to be able to tell who you are with your mask on. And when we're chasing you, you know, going as fast as we can on horseback, uh, down through tall trees or wherever you're running, uh, the bullets will start flying and they could very well hit right. you. Yeah. Yeah, no, yeah, that's... I, I've come to kind of learn that even when I try to get creative with how I can stop them and mm. help the law, but uh, I'd rather not catch one in the back. And yeah, there's not much you can do um, other than <laughs> trying to convince them not to. All right, have a good day, sir. You too, thank you. My mic straight up like fell off my desk during that. Like, mute myself and fix that shit. Damn.
I'm looking for my sting operation. I want to set up like a clam bush. Fat fucking horse. Hello, sir. Excuse me.
I'm like brainstorming. I'm trying to come up with uh, <coughs> there we go. I need uh, I need to find more creative lawmen. But I need to get more creative too. I got some good ideas. I just need to find I need to find a sheriff. Paker, Paker, Paker. Really? Mm -hmm. Really, Yorka. And these pants are.
fuck's my brush? Scuff to it. I honestly think I scooped some of this. <laughs> Whoops. Yourself? Yeah, good, good. Good. Everyone got a jump out. You just gonna wanna little you're just keeping uh keeping everybody safe. Making sure the horse guy down. Mm-mm-mm.
Excuse me. But if I don't hear about one, I'll let you know, so I will. All right, take care. All right, you too. Would you care for a sack? I'll take that as a no. I'm sorry, yeah, we're really busy right now. Um, maybe next time, that's yeah? That's fine, that's fine. But if you need your shoes shined or your porch swept or a song just to warm your heart, keep Patty in mind, will you? All right, then. Thank you for being me. Very well. A thousand blessings upon you. <laughs> Okay. First hand always stuff. That's how it goes. Sorry. Fixing the mic. soft. Like Walter. The heat is going to be going off while driving to it. What? Okay. Straight up left. <laughs> Whoa. Anyone sense? Enough for a beer.
Oh, because I bought some beer. I don't know if my Dude, I need a bass. Give me like a trough somewhere I can like flop in. Cool. <laughs> Here's my telegram money. I'm so traumatized by wolf sounds. I need to fix my music. So what the fuck I want? Oh. Yeah.
Hey there, Robert. How's it going, buddy? Very good. Yes, it is. Well, didn't you now? Well, fella, um, of course, again, a formality is in the way. This is Mrs. Jesse. Mrs. Jesse, this is Mr. Robert. Hello there. Uh, she was one of my first members to ever join my gang ever. And as a matter of fact, she was a part of an old gang that I used to run with a long time ago. Oh, yeah, and uh, even before that, she, she's been with me for a long time, Miss Jesse has. Yes. So, um, this. Oh, oh, well, I was just kind of heading towards San Diego to show her around a little bit. Show where, show her where the uh, Dicenzos live and everything like that, because she wanted to know. I think so. Is that what you wanted? Sure. Something Mostly like just that. just wanted to know how the hell a group so big is managing to not tear each other apart. Well, there's two groups. There's, uh, the, so basically, there's two big wigs that live in there. There's a big, humongous city. Uh, the, like I said, the Dicenzos and the Sam Club. The Sam's Club? Something like that. They both live in big mansions, very, very close to each other. So they live in the parlor district, or? No, the big mansion district. Oh. I'm not sure what the hell you would call it. Yeah, it's ran by Mr. Sam Bass. Dude, I have to be honest with you, having a mansion that big with enough money, I'm pretty sure he runs it. Pretty sure they both run it. Or maybe one of them runs it. I don't know, man. Right. Yeah, something like that. Uh, hopefully, hopefully, uh, come today, I'll be able to uh, see Mr. Sam Bass. I got some, I got some talkings to do with him about buying our gold bars. If we ever do get them and we ever successfully get away with it. Apparently, he's going to buy off gold bars from us for quite, quite a bit of money. More than a fence, or? Yeah, the fence buys it for about 50. He's willing to buy it for about 80. Or I could just, or I could just go to Aurora Basin and go where my stash is. I have one, I have one up there. But yeah, no, um, he's willing to buy gold bars, gems, and bonds, and I'm hoping we can find one. Apparently, there's something called a Mauser pistol in one of those uh, banks. Mauser pistol? Sounds German. Yeah, it is. What's that? I think that's exactly what it is, yeah. Pistols pistol. don't got the revolver chamber like revolvers do. Give me just a moment. I'm gonna get off to the side here. Uh, you two can get to know each other a little bit. I'm gonna. You have to sit here and uh, relieve myself. You two uh, right. get to know each other. Yeah, I suppose so. Mm -hmm. In a old landfill for a defunct cannon factory. Mm hmm. Jim, I know. Crazy. Uh, still kind of is. A little bit stupid, but in the charming sort of way. Yeah, he don't, uh, he don't do too well under pressure. And if his plans don't go right, then, uh, just don't go too well sometimes with him. Uh, you know... Sometimes in the heat of the moment, you just do first, ask questions later. Yeah, I did a bank job with him in our old group a while ago. D 
did not go well. We all got separated. I got arrested. Uh, one of us got lit on fire. But thankfully we all lived. I was in jail for God knows how long. Horrible. Went, went real bad. Mm -hmm. I don't even think we got the money. I, I don't think so. Good deputy's a lazy one. Means they fuck up on their job more often than not. Yeah, most, most, uh, at least most deputies I, I run into. If you're funny, they'll just kind of let you get away with whatever you want. Oh yeah, yeah. If you get them laughing, you're you're scot free, of course. So far, they seem to enjoy me. Uh, they seem to enjoy Jim, from what I know. So I think we're on the the right path. But uh, I'm a I smart just... ass, so they usually don't like me. <laughs> oh no. Giving them guff. Yeah, that's all right. They yeah. need that too. Bit at their feet, <laughs> tell them they ain't they ain't as high mighty as they think they are. I can still shoot them. Shoot them. They'll do them in. Yeah, nothing will humble a man like a bullet. Exactly. How you doing? Oh. Hello there, sir. Is that you, Peaches? Uh, no, that's the hell's Peaches. Not. Sorry about that. Apologies. Oh, uh, it's Jim's friend, Tony. Hey. He's the good Italian to see you. fellas? How you been, yeah. Pal? It's I'm been doing alright. Jim's pissing over there behind the fence. Oh, alright. I'll wait for him to come back. I'll say hello to him. There you go. How you, uh, how you been, brother? You doing all right? I haven't seen you since that, uh, you know, what was the event, I think, right? Was it uh, before yeah, that? we ran into each other around the event, but the last time before that is when uh, yeah, you were we doing a, a, moon, a moonshine. Right? Yeah. I don't do moonshine. <laughs> <laughs> you funny guy. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Somebody say moonshine. Uh, you ever try this stuff? It puts you on your ass, but that's illegal. Stay away from it. I oh, yeah, no, they, that yeah, yeah, that's illegal. When I first got here to the town. Yeah, some no, fella, that's bad. Yeah. Some fella away from put me on a wagon and told me to go deliver it, and then the law ran me uh, ran me down. I had no idea. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Pretty stupid to just go ahead and say, sure, I'll deliver this for you without knowing the guy. I mean, or when no you're new into the, the crossing, wagon. people are delivering milk, oranges, you know? You didn't think to check in the back? Uh, liquor's liquor. I didn't think that would be illegal. You said Jim was over here? Yeah, he's behind the fence. Taking a piss, I think. So he may be, uh. They got some oh. funny accents. Yeah, a little bit, huh? I don't know what to make of them. <laughs> Jim's gonna be upset. He missed his boyfriend. I don't know. Uh, we'll let him know. Yeah, we'll tell him I said hello, all right? Will do, will do. You be all safe. Right. I'll see you later. Good hello. Yeah, I covered for that guy when he uh, almost got arrested for moonshine. Never, never got a thank you or nothing. They don't seem to be the grateful type. More no, or less, just want to make sure they stay out of trouble. Yeah, clearly. He pushed me down real quick. Probably... Not, I'm gonna be honest, probably not the smartest people to be working with. They seem like the type to just throw you under the bus so long as they get out of trouble. That's that's my read. That's my read. I, I've known a lot of folk like that, and it may, makes me a little worried that Jim's so easy or so eager to uh, help him out and do a lot for him. But hey, I mean, well, money good talks. Good to meet people. Yeah. They surely got money. Oh yeah, he's got plenty. And these people are hauling ass. I saw those two in Valentine, then they followed me to Rhodes, and there they go. I don't know what the hell their deal is. Looks like just a couple of nice ladies. Probably. Probably just wanted to talk to you and see if you're as rich as you look. <laughs> no, they didn't want to talk to me. I think they were just on a journey themselves. Maybe just to rent a carriage, I suppose.
Good lord, how does how does one man hold so much piss? I truly have no idea. So how do you know, Jim? Uh, he was, uh, one of the first faces I met, him and Miss Daisy, when I kind of first arrived in Blackwater. He, uh, kind of, you know, told me a few things and kind of sold himself, said he was, you know, trying to start up a, a group of like-minded folk who were just interested in kind of making a quick buck and, uh, Kind of went from there, but, uh, yeah, it went pretty fast. So his charisma got you? I'd say so, yeah. And, and, There's one and, uh, thing that man is, he's damn good at talking to people. Oh, yeah, that, that, that much I've noticed. He's, he's made a lot of friends in very, very short time. And we both love poker, so that's an easy friendship right there. Oh, God, I yeah. fucking hate playing poker. Oh, no, yeah, it's usually So bad at it, too. the amount of money I have lost. Blackjack ain't bad here. No, blackjack. I can I can work with blackjack. That's what I started with, and I think yeah, that's where I met him actually. I started playing blackjack, and I was the only one at the table, and then they uh, showed up, and we just started chatting. You ever play dominoes? I have not. I've I've seen it, and I I, I don't know a goddamn thing about it. Pretty fun. It's just numbers and math, and if you. Even though just like a little bit more than your opponent, then you basically win. It's like chess, but a lot less complicated. Chess is another one that I, I feel like I don't have the patience for. Chess is just a stupid game <laughs> for poets and little fluffy idiots. Yeah, something something some aristocrats can fight over. Mm hmm game about killing pawns and making sure the queen lives like good lord that is for rich people they do have uh craps and roulette in the casino boat but i don't like games that are just luck did you see that bird yeah just you know doing a little sniff on the ground <laughs> as as birds do they like to yeah. stay real low to the ground and smell sometimes i've seen crocodiles just jump through the bridges holes i swear in the to bridges. god i was looking at a horse once and it just vanished yeah sometimes you can see a horse in the sky ghost yeah. horse yeah there's there's been a church worshiping it that's been popping up lately <laughs> are you serious yes yes i'm absolutely <laughs> serious that is ridiculous. You'll see uh, ads for it on the uh, Telegram stations. The, I think it's the floating horse. It's like the Sky Horse, Church of the Sky Horse. Okay, I'm I'm curious. If I ever meet one of those people, I need to ask them a lot of questions. Sure, we didn't die over. He didn't die over there. Pass a kidney stone and bled out. Oh, it's possible with his luck. I swear, if the man is either I've either gambled with the man, or done a job of some sort with the man. But the only other thing I've done with that man is he says, "Hey, let's go hunting," and then he takes you on a hiking trip into the mountains, and he falls down the mountain. That happened to us once. I've had to rescue him many, many times. You missed your uh, best friend. What's that? We met Tony your boyfriend, Tony. Yeah, your boyfriend. Oh, did you know? <laughs> you said they were Italian. You did not tell me that they were Italian. Hey, oh, horsing what, around. What did you want me to say? They sounded fucking hilarious. Hey, listen, they're Italian. Italianos. That's right. I did. I didn't tell you. I know you Water did fire. tell me, but I was expecting, you know, like, a little, a little bit, um... Uh, isn't he, isn't he lower on the totem him. pole, though? Well... For that, for that crime family, or... or he seems like kind of a meathead. Yeah. Well, you know, he's, he's definitely on the lowest scale, but he's rising up fast. But he's the lowest on the totem pole right now, uh, so No, no, yeah. he's not. 
a Wu is. So Wu is his buddy and he just joined. So it's a Wu and then it's Tony. So Wu's a minnow, Tony's a trout. <laughs> yeah, basically. Then whoever's at the top is a fucking shark. Big fish in a small pond, if you ask me. Mr. DeTinzo himself, yeah. Oh, so the whole family's named after the guy that runs it? Are they related yeah. or they just call themselves a family? Oh, they call themselves a family. Gotcha. That's how it goes. Oh, did he just, did, did he, uh, just, did Dunder come by to tell you that he says hi to me or something? Uh, they were riding by, I recognized the voice, I said hi, he said hi, uh, and I said, oh, Jim's, uh, behind the fence taking a piss. And, uh, he took too long, so he ran off. He said he'll say hi to you later, I suppose. Fair enough. Guy has more important things to do. What? Bear yeah, Pierce again. I don't know what the hell he was doing. He was riding with some other guy. And the second I brought up Moonshine, he got all uh, shy. Oh, why'd you bring up Moonshine? Because I covered for his ass it. the last time. And ah, uh, got arrested. That makes sense. Are you down for a little bit of gambling, Jesse? I ain't <laughs> playing poker. Who said poker? You said gambling. Yeah, but that, that means we're playing poker. I'll play, I'll play blackjack. I'll play roulette. Right. Yeah, yeah, that's what I meant. Sure, but I'm not stepping foot near a damn poker table. But I love poker. God, I love it. <laughs> you must be lucky. Why is that? If you win at poker, who's not winning? Luck, you're just playing it to lose. I'm playing it to have fun. What are you talking about? I will say it is a valuable source of information gathering. You learn a lot. What, just by playing poker with people? Yeah, just, you know, doing minimum bets, just staying in for as long as you can, and, you know, the later it goes, the more people talk, they start drinking, great. They start telling you about all sorts of heists and jobs they do, and then you learn who's who and what's what. I try never to come here. I hate Sandini and Rhodes. Yeah, I tend to stay in Valentine uh, and Blackwater. Let me ride and I'll show you around. I'm trying to avoid uh, Valentine right now. Trying to avoid what? Because I, I, I rode through Valentine maybe 15 minutes ago and I saw Jimmy there loudly talking on the bathhouse porch and I decided I don't feel like dealing with that right now. <laughs> To be honest with man, we can go back to Valentine and meet up with Jimmy, and since we're here, he's not going to lay a hand on you. Oh, yeah, no, I'm not worried about it. We can go about our day, and if we run Well, I mean, the thing is, right, the sooner we do it, the better off we are. What, does someone want you dead? <laughs> not uh, dead, I, more showed him beat up. Yeah. You do something to him? Uh, no, uh, long, I thought long he's, story short, yeah. yeah, long story short, Robert thought that he was, uh, that he, Robert thought that he was uh, uh, setting him up for jail time, and then Jimmy didn't, and then now Jimmy wants Robert dead, or beaten up, or whatever. It's a whole complicated mess. Men just seem to get themselves in the worst tangled fights I've ever seen. That's what it seems to be. I thought we sussed it out. Uh, he told me, he, he explained his side of the story. I lowered my gun and it was good. We were, we were square, but then the law came and arrested everyone. So you could see how they the situation- They just ruined all the fun. Yeah. Gun, suddenly, oh no. Everyone's well, no, terrible. it was more so, I'm not sure how they recognized me. I didn't talk or nothing, um, but- See that damn eye patch you wear. Well, I'm sorry, I can't really fix that, can I? Wear goggles. You can be goggles. Wear man. goggles. Or like some tinted glasses. I wear the damn iPad so. I don't want anybody to see my damn face. Well, my I suppose. Speaking of which, Jesse, it seems like you're more comfortable. I mostly just couldn't find a mask. Oh, could that you not? Was, no, I couldn't. Okay, I just thought you felt more comfortable in the, your own skin. Oh, whoa. Hey, yo. Oh, get to the left. Good lord. The 
they just could just just maintain it in air quotes. If we, if we enter on the property, technically they can tell us to leave, or they're gonna shoot us. Technically they're allowed to do that, but if nobody's there, we can technically enter it without being in trouble. If that makes sense. All right. Again, squatters rules. I see. Yeah, exactly. It's it basically a numbers game. If if like, if like five of us rolled up on the uh, descendants' house and there was only three of them, if we told them to leave, they'd have to leave, or else they're gonna get shot at. Them. So basically, yeah. It, it, but people respect the uh, descendants, considering how many there are. And that they're a valuable asset if you can use them correctly. Yeah, I'd so, be, I'd be real scared of fucking with a group of people that are, you know, apparently running this entire side of the city. Oh, well, funny you mention that because right in front of us, that right there is Mr. Sam Bass's house or uh, the, the Sam's Club. Oh, so they're neighbors. Like I said, they're really close together. That house right in front of us, a big, humongous house. It's bigger than the... So, what's funny is, Sam Bass has a bigger house. However, the Dicenzos are a bigger group. So, funny how that works out. That is funny. I guess they couldn't get this house fast enough. That's a damn pretty house. Yeah, Mr. Sam Bass is such a... It is a gorgeous place. And, um, I believe we're allowed to enter this one, because I don't think anyone's here right now, so if you guys want to do that, we can. Uh, I don't know, I don't want to get caught running around. Well, I mean, the worst, the worst that's going to happen is they tell us to leave. But if you're not curious about it at all, we don't have to enter. Yeah, enter. I, okay. I need to get some equipment. I ain't got a horse or a gun or anything, I don't think. Right, well, let's do a little bit of gambling then, shall we? <laughs> you, right, want, don't you don't want to set her up for basics. <laughs> well, I'm not going to give you a damn cent. If, if you... I don't break even, I'm going to strangle you to death. You strangle Robert and shit, he likes that kind of thing. What? I don't know about what? that. What? <laughs> oh, come on now. So it's a little bit of roulette, like I said. Um, the thing is, I'm not real too sure on how to play roulette. All I really know is to put it on even or odds or black and or black and red. Always been on black. Yeah, it's, it's easy enough. I mean, I mean, I, I don't, I don't know why people place oh, chips on specific Richard, numbers. Man. I don't get that. It's either a lucky number, or they're smart and thought of the logistics and how likely it is to land on that number, or. They're seems, drunk and stupid and are just picking a number. It just seems fucking stupid. It is stupid, but it's fun. There's, there's, well, listen, first of all, like 10 numbers on the board. It'd make more sense. It's a night on the town. I think there's 50 actually on our lip. Reminding people that Robert's yeah. alive. <laughs> hey, hey, some horses. I forgot uh, Robert doesn't have Richard's no, telegram. He would have been sending updates. He's supposed to have a. Uh, oh, I know. My first bet's always red even. Uh, I'm sure he'll be here. It's in Valentine's and he was avoiding it. There's some, bet some gentleman that wants to beat him up there. It usually works. Alright then, I'm gonna go straight to the left table and put a bunch of money on red even. That's right. And you're gonna be a... You are not me if I should be able to get it. Just up and left. Yeah, my if I my horse stayed here, they would have just kept kicking and getting scared and just becoming a nuisance. All right. That's uh, just Robert who sent me a thing. Like two hours ago, yeah. I think. No, it can't be two hours, surely. Um, two, wait. It was an hour ago. It's, it's, it's oh no! Okay. Just straight right? And past a, so basically, go along. I I don't know. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, Richard's too nice. Right behind us. There we can. We can walk there. Yeah, it's just over there, right? We got a meeting tonight at ten thirty. 
Meeting? Another meeting? Yeah, this is uh, Saints Daily. Apparently we're supposed to talk about having an interview with a notorious outlaw by the name of Dr. Creed. I see. But he oh, leaves he le he a gang of cannabis. This man, uh, this man here is eloquent with his words and has used a lot of big ones, so don't let him confuse you. All right. He didn't even look like he could read, honestly. Yeah, I, I don't know how to read. Oh, wow. But you can write. Yep. Ain't you just a marvel? I am. I do freelance writing for the Saints Daily, which is the newspaper in town. You can buy it from the general store. Huh. Do you write anything specific or just whatever they tell you to write? Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm new to it, so I, I do a lot of current events for now, but I've been on the lookout for a gang of cannibals that have been kind of hiding out in the bayou. And I've been doing, God damn. I've been doing a lot of work out there, just camping and reading into clues. There's a lot of cults out there, cannibals. Uh, You're willingly putting yourself in that sort of situation just to write about it? Oh, I mean, if... According to everyone you walk up to, you'll ask where are cannibals, they'll say tall trees, but no one knows about the ones in the bayou, so I feel like people need to know about the ones in the bayou. The question is, is do they want to put themselves out there? What, what's the one thing everyone wants, in the, everyone who's an outlaw? They want fame, and then they want money. And I want money. You, I don't give a shit about fame. kind of shocks me that a group of cannibals, people who eat other people. Yeah, New York City. Too. They want to be known that they eat Eastern other time. people. It just kind of blows my mind a little bit. I mean, if you're robbing something and you want to become a notorious outlaw, that's fine. But why on earth do you want to be known as somebody who eats other people? It's, it's kind of strange. Yeah, it's it's not my forte, but uh, I, whenever I introduce myself as a journalist, people seem to uh, smile real wide and get all excited. Oh, hey, hey, just about this one. I mean, Robert, what you should write about is... Uh, you know, tomorrow you're robbing, you're robbing a bank with me. You might as well write Notorious Outlaw, Robert Fletcher. Robert. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and you got like the inside scoop. Re really uh, push myself up there. Yeah, something like that. <laughs> yeah. You wouldn't even have to interview anyone. You just write it firsthand. Exactly. But I feel like bank, bank robberies happen a lot. Yeah, robberies happen all the time. All right. If I don't win... But th think about think about the think about the amount of journalists that actually get themselves involved in the robbery itself. That's that was kind of my idea, like a man on the ground, a man right there in the in the thick of it. And then once you get caught, you write down your experience in a, in a little paper. <laughs> yeah. Red was... even. What no did I say? Fucking uh, way. Oh what did I say? You Red actually, even. Are you every serious? time. It works every. I have not had it not work once. Okay, well, now what do I do? Uh, at this point, I just kind of wing it. You can go black even. Maybe black even will work. All right, all right. I put Can't five on... that fucking worked. Five on black and then five on even. But I had made 50 bucks just then. I do. Like I said, I've been to this relatively, like, maybe 10 or 11 times. And every single time I've come here, red even always works. As not family wants you to. That is so fucking funny. Absolutely. That, that's ridiculous. I was honestly expecting to lose all my money. Mrs. Jesse, come on now. Have a little bit of faith in me. What you putting yours on, Robert? <laughs> you silly bastard. <laughs> That's Honestly, smart. I just carry 20 on me at all times because of this certain type of thing. Nope, 20. Come on, black even. Black oh even! Oh my god. <laughs> Alright, I'm quitting while I'm ahead. 50 bucks. Yeah, that's good enough for me. Um, I'm pretty sure you can trade him in the stable and get some cash back, but I don't think so. Why do you have that many horses? I 
Yeah, well, let's let's go to the uh, to the bank real fast. I'm gonna get some more money. <coughs> Last horse I had was a Shire. I'm pretty sure. Is that He's what Bourbon was? He's a redback Shire named Bourbon. Oh my God! It's nighttime already. Do they got volcanic pistols? How do you do? You know how much those are? God damn. I'll just yeah, poke sure, it and we'll, we'll, see what I can get. There, then. Look, here's it. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, I forgot Speaking water. Of which... Yep. <laughs> what is it in this barrel? Is these potatoes? Uh, don't drink out of that lake. Probably full of parasites and dead bodies, if I had to guess. Exactly. They seem like the type to throw you in with the fishes. I only know where to get water in Valentine, that's it. There's a big barrel behind the bathhouse. I ain't drinking that. That's more mud than water. Oh god. What? Couldn't have waited until, you know, we probably got somewhere with... There Lord are literal... Jesse, listen, I there are fly. fish bones I, I, in that I, water. I, yes, and, I, and I'm pretty sure I've eaten horse shit at one point in my life. Listen, you're living out on the lamb all your life. Things don't taste as gross as they other would, otherwise would, you know? Notorious outlaw, Jim Scott, dead to tapeworm. You're gonna see that in the papers. Sure. Hopefully. I don't live a too good of a life anyhow. Well, I get caught more often than a thing. Write a book. You can write a book, be a millionaire. I, listen, I, I can barely read, let alone write. Hey, see? Go under a real cool pen name, like, uh... I don't know, I can't think of one. Robin- that's a really good name! Hmm. <laughs> you want to become a writer under the pen name Robert- Robin Graves. That is hmm. real silly. Robin Graves, that sounds like a silly name. You'll never guess oh, what he I was before- he was I bet you would think that would be a perfect name, huh? Wouldn't you, Robert? Mm hmm. Ro Robin I'm Banks. Sure. Robin Banks is a good one. Yeah, Miss Georgia, yeah. Robin Banks is funny. Right here. Here's, here's the gun store right here. I want a volcanic pistol or a Lancaster. I'm gonna see how I'm gonna see how, how how I can't customize this damn gun here. Good fucking lord! All right, well. I need some more money. Lots of it. Yeah, welcome to this state. I don't remember guns being this expensive in other states. Well, you're here now. Hopefully here to stay. Yeah, probably. I ain't got anything better to do. Six 
sixty dollars. Or you can, or you can do a moonshine, which is what we do, which is three hundred dollars per run. No, you flew right off a fucking edge. <laughs> This shit's fucking boring. The moonshine run is, is exciting. You, just don't know, you don't know what's gonna happen. But did you oh, get yourself a fun. gun? No, I have hundred and twelve dollars. I can't. Yeah. I don't want to well, waste money on a cattleman. Well, it's something to put in your holster. It's like a temporary thing. Hold on here. You buy the bullet, I'll buy you the damn cowman. No, I got my own money. I can do it myself. I just bought you one. Don't you, don't you dare God buy it. God damn it. it. Did okay. you buy it? No, I didn't buy it. And here you go. Go buy yourself like, I don't know, 25 bullets? But I was gonna tell you to shut up when you were talking about moonshine. Like I was just sitting here staring at us. Ah uh, well, you should have told me to shut up then. I don't think he cared. No, oh, he, he probably didn't. All right, come on. Let me go to the bank and put away my goddamn money. Yeah, anyway, there's there's lots to do around the state. Just gotta find out what you want to do. Are you? You gotta find out what you want to do. I like my, animals taking care of horses, but I don't think I can get paid for that. My ex my extracurricular activities is spending money on poker. <laughs> Whoa! Uh, All right. Because alive or dead. I was always a there it is. put on horse duty. Make sure everyone horses didn't kick each other, bite each other. I'm putting, I'm putting some away. I mean, something we can do, I suppose. Yep, so I have 50 bucks for gambling, and I have 500 in the bank. Hold on, I'm trying to do math. Fuck it, I mm, give up. We might hit, but yeah, I might be here a little while. No, I'm, I'm done. I give up. No, I don't. Oh, sure, I'll take it. That book is good for writing down things like a telegram numbers and things like that. I'll never, never turn down free shit. Thank you. What's this one say? The Crow's Nest Pub. Yeah, some raggedy ass. Who the hell pub. would go to Annisburg for a pub? Uh, someone that's insanely lonely and doesn't want any company. The O'Shea's Pub. Oh
so tired. I don't know. I'm gonna be honest, gosh, I have no goddamn idea. Probably all the parents. You said you were going to show us what? Uh, no, I thank don't want to hide. No, I don't want to hide. We're cannibals. Not only would I have to worry about cannibals, I'd have to worry about alligators. What do cannibals do? Wait, no, I want you to feel more comfortable, and I know you feel more comfortable with one off. There he is. Up here, buddy. Yeah, not a problem, man. Well, hopefully, hopefully, God damn it. Hopefully, Daisy will uh, be here, and I'm hoping. Four hours or so. Maybe, but remember, I gotta, I got some stuff to take care of around. Oh, yeah, so. I know, I know. Hey, I buried. Might be back some... again later. What is going on? Well, I Which hope so. You know, you like know, it, it, it's been nice hanging out with you. Twenty minutes. It's been so, it's been such a goddamn long time. In all your money, are you now? I bet five dollars. I'm not betting all my fucking money. Ah, shit. This bastard has a ten. He probably has a ten underneath, but it doesn't matter to you. You'll just yeah. I'm... You'll break even on this hand. That's good. Yeah, yeah That's there good. it is. Are you serious? It's been a very chill oh, day. You haven't seen some of the bullshit he pulls. Is he fucking cheating? He cheats you. He, he can have a 14 and turn it into a 21. Three hands in a row. Everybody knows what I'm talking about. Yeah, some of these uh, blackjack dealers, uh, they definitely hide some cards under those hats. <clears throat> what? Three blackjacks in a row? The bastard in Blackwater got me? Shit. You're all kinds of fucked up in the head. Yeah, he's always he always gets a black eye. God damn it! He's gonna I'm give serious. me a ten when I'm eighteen. He's gonna screw me. 
Actually, hey, that's not bad. You can give me a 10 now, friend. I believe in the heart. All of a sudden, you're my best friend. Come on. Yeah. Oh, you're such a great guy. <laughs> I like this guy. How could you hate him? I'm scared. <laughs> Why would you? It's, it's a nine. You are in no I... kind of. See? Oh, there you okay. Go. So I'm, standing. I'm standing. Just, yeah, now you're just break even again. Me and Robert are on the other already, you know, on the up and up. Oh my god, Robert. Holy shit. <laughs> you son of a bitch. As expected. Are you cheating? <laughs> I'm pretty sure he's got an extra card up there somewhere. 17. Hell yeah. Beautiful. I got the heart of the cards, clearly. God, this is, this is great. You know what? I feel so good about this next hand. I do. I really, really do. Robert, put in 20 with me. 20? All right. Put in 20 with me, my friend. I feel, yeah, I feel real good about this hand. Put in 10. Yeah. I feel uh, real good. I don't oh. feel good. Oh, oh, I'm fine. Hey. Hey. I'm, I'm pretty good. All I'm gonna do now is put in another tick one, another ten. You are a bastard. But I feel like he's gonna bust. <laughs> you, I feel like he's gonna bust. Okay. I have this feeling, and it's in my bones. Did I hit or stay? I'm at seventeen. Stand, a hundred percent. You're not gonna risk that. No. What if I got a four? How Listen, many I need to get to twenty-one? Yes. If he gives you anything higher than a four, you're screwed. I wouldn't risk that. Well then. Well. <laughs> Yep. He's, He's gonna bust. Uh oh. Oh no. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Okay. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Oh, my Come on. God. All right. That's a serious? little. Hmm. I don't know. See, see, that's what I mean. It's, it's the look how many cards he has, and none of them are ten. That's oh, what. That's just, I'm Hold on. Watch this. I want you to watch. Yeah. I know you're. I know you're not. I know you're not gonna put yourselves back in. Oh, you are. I didn't think you were going to. I'm putting in my all thirty dollars because I'm feeling good about the hand. I'm just putting in five again. I got a fucking two. Blackjack! Holy shit! Are you serious? Beautiful. I put in thirty dollars as well. That's sixty. See, Robert's getting mm. drunk as per usual. Mm. Uh, or attempting to get drunk. I'm at 15, you'll, you'll, I you'll know when I'm drunk, no worries. J J Robert, I know when you're getting tipsy, my friend. It, I'm, not th I'm not even there. I'm nowhere near it. Quit flirting with each other. Am I hitting or standing? What do you mean? Oh, at 15. Hey, the last time Robert got, dr got drunk, we were at a poker game. 15, and this, uh, you could stand. This man would yeah, stand at 15. And this man would literally jump off of a like a two like a like a like a story long fall. You got drunk once and you went missing. That's yeah. true. Well, I also got drunk in Valentine. Oh my, oh my god. god! Oh my goodness! What? All right, that's enough. Excuse me, sir. I'm out of here. Uh, I'm not quite gone. Yeah, I'm putting in, putting in thirty dollars again. I'll watch. I'll go all in. Got left. Yeah. Yeah, but I did jail time for that one. Apparently, I got into a fist fight with some fella named Speedy, I think. And you just didn't remember? No, no basically, remember he stole he stole a guy's cart. Claimed he didn't. Uh, he stole a guy's cart, and then that guy started beating the shit out of Robert. Are you talking about Valentine? Were you there for that one? No, no, for Blackwater. Oh no, I was talking. About, there was another time too. <laughs> okay. If you get a ten, you'll be in good. There it is. Hey, all right. What are you going to do us for, mister? Are you going to screw us? Yes! Fuck you! Beautiful. Now I'll start putting in tens. Or I can put in $60, home for the best. I think you should do that. All right. Put in 30, Robert. Do it. Make some money out of this. Absolutely. Yeah. You're 
gambling man, and that's what I appreciate about sheep. What? Oh, like, yeah, exactly. Look at that. Well, you know, I, got, I got a good system here. I keep a lot of my fuck. money in the bank, and whatever's in my pocket, free to gamble. Well, I hope he busts. <laughs> Cause yeah, me too. He's got six. He'll bust. You know? Yes. Yep. Yeah. Oh my God, that's one hundred twenty dollars. Holy shit. Beautiful. Well, time to put in uh, 20, because I can spend eggs. I'm going to go get a drink. Sure. My, uh, my $100 limit is reached. This will be, uh, 20. We're, we're winning towards uh, uh, your friend, uh, your friend's fun coming to the crossing. Let's help her out. <laughs> yeah. That sounds good to me. You know what? I'm going to double down. There you go. Where'd you get a button? Fuck! Uh, no, I, I got a 9. I was hoping for a 19. Uh, there we go. Jesus Christ, man, you're doing real good. I haven't done poker in a long time, so maybe all my luck's uh, stacked up. Yeah, there it is. I'm putting it, on, putting it since I lost, my logic is I'm going to win. So I'm putting in all my money again. How about you? 80 and 80. Let's do this. <laughs> why why not on. 40 and 40? Fine, we can do 40 and 40. 40 and 40, here we go. All right, give us your money, mister. That's not a good start. <sighs> Christ. Christ, please don't give me a, a 10 or a 9. <sighs> okay, asshole. <laughs> he didn't, I guess he didn't give me a 10 or a 9. I grabbed you a beer, Jim. Thank you. There it is. So basically, Robert and I agree that this is our funds to help you get things settled. Oh, so you're going to use your winnings to, uh, to help, help me out? out? Yeah. Yep. But you said you weren't going to give me a damn cent. Who, me okay. or him? I put you. in a good word. Oh, well, I'm just, I'm just messing around with you. All right, Robert, let's put in 20. 20? Okay. Joe, let's put in 10. Let's put in 10. So let's let's leave a hundred bucks, so we at least have two hundred dollars to spend on her, at the very least. Yeah. Let's just, let's just keep playing until we lose up to a hundred. Bastard. Mm, oh, soft. Yep. I recommend you hit because you have a you have an ace. Oh, absolutely. Yep. There it is. Well, I see. So now that we'll raise money for you, we'll just put your money in now. Yep. <laughs> I'm willing to lose it all. Oh my god. Are wow. you fucking kidding? <laughs> see, that's the bullshit players are talking about. Oh, that's about. so annoying. That's It's it's such bullshit. Alright, putting in 10 again. This will be the last 10 I put in. Uh, because I'm, let's have 100. So it's Robert, presumably. So you don't, you don't even have a horse, right, Jesse? No. <laughs> well, Damn. she says she wants a shire, so that's like, I think a hundred. Easy one. I have to hit. Uh, oh. I ha oh. No, I, I had to hit. I had to. <laughs> you did, you did wow. a single fucking spot. Where she goes. All right, let what you get. Yes, yes, nineteen hundred Oh my goodness. Oh. Oh my. Yeah. yeah. I feel. Uh, listen, I don't know why. I think I ate some salt right now because I feel very <laughs> angry. I don't know. Just this weird salt taste in my mouth. Is very annoying. Do you? Twenty bucks, Robert. Twenty bucks. Listen, I'll pull some out of my bank if I have to. Twenty bucks. Okay. I feel good about this hand. Twenty. And I'll split it as well. Got to help the new new people to the to the server. You well, know. I'll tell you what, that ain't a bad thing. Plus, I feel like it. it this is his friend. Stick with that. And he he spent Thank a bunch of money on some other guy. And then when she's like, I don't have a horse, I'm about and he's like, why ain't you? Oh, come on, you, you spent money on a Jesse stranger. Move. You're not going to help out your friend. Hit me. Here. 
Give me a five. Exactly. Give me a five. Fuck! <laughs> uh, well, I don't ever want to play the Jess movie, to be honest. You don't ever want Come to play on! The game. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck this money's, game. I'm out of here again. Busted. <laughs> Are you serious? Uh, listen, I got some money to spare. Hey, listen, I feel we're good about the next hand, Robert. 20 bucks. <laughs> do it. Do it, Jim. You got it. I got this. 20 bucks. Because if I can raise $200 for Jesse, that's $300 she could spend on a horse. I'll put 40 in because I feel so confident. <laughs> Please don't lose it. This is my horse fund. Okay, here's a 14. He's gonna bust. Oh, well. No. Hold on, I could put, so listen, I could put in a hundred bucks, Jesse. I could. No, stop. <laughs> stop it. it. Hold on, I'm doing it, I'm doing it. No, oh my I'm doing God. it, I'm doing it. Why don't you just quit while you're ahead? I am not ahead, Jesse. <laughs> I am not ahead at all. Uh-oh. You stupid bastard. Uh-oh. This ain't good. Oh my God. Uh-oh. Oh my God. Uh-oh, this, this ain't, oh, this got, ain't good at all. He's got a 10 showing. Oh no. Well, oh see. no. He's got a 10. Oh, God. There it is. With a 10 underneath. You should have wow. just listened to me. Well. Well, I still have $5 left. I can make it back. <laughs> you could. I could. Watch this. I'm gonna use the bathroom while you claw your way to the top. Yes, all right. Oh, I don't even know there's a bath here. Leg, arm, arm, head. I don't even know how this is how you do this shit. Get out of here. This is one day of K. Oh, my clothes is permanently dirty like that. You're back. There it is. Don't worry, Jesse. I'm making back the hundred bucks. From five dollars, I have to sit here and watch you climb your way back up. Well, I'm for gonna, five dollars. I'm gonna bet maximum every single time. All right. I will claw my way out of this little hole I've made myself in no time. Uh oh. Well. Get a 10, and the likeliness of it good. another 10 is very, very light. There it is. Excuse well, me, just a quick question. Oh, sorry. What's that? No problem. Uh, do you guys know any of the Ben? Ben? Mm-hmm. Uh, no, I have not seen any European fella. Yeah, afraid not. Oh, okay. All right, thanks for your time, anyway. Thank you. Yeah, no problem. Thank you. Best of luck to you, lady. Did you lose? No, no, I'm still am because I won, Jesse. Alright, fair enough. Alright, just waiting for Robert to get out so we can uh, get you. I, I'll get $100 out of my bank account, it's not a big deal. Robert! Way. Right. <clears throat> Robert, I got a 20. <gasps> you got a 20. Oh, good. Stay. Jim's getting money out of the bank. Oh, no. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Hello. What are you doing, Jesse? I just won $10.
Oh, I'll tell you what, I'm gonna win fifty dollars. Oh my god. <laughs> Robert, get back in here. I got $120. Yeah, you can bet it all. I mean, the, the 100 is going to go to your fund. Yeah, 100 right. bucks is going to you. Just put, just, put, just put in 20. Come up with a <clears throat> crossing care pack. Oh, go fuck yourself. Yeah, that sounds about right. All right, let me, let me put in all my 50 bucks. Sure. All in. Wait, is that your first hand after sitting back down? <laughs> yeah. No, the first hand's always the flub hand. The first hand you always lose. You gotta just throw piss at that. Oh no, Jim. It's looking pretty damn good to me, Robert. <laughs> oh shit, Jim. Maybe it's it's looking real good to me. Twenty wood. Mine's not bad. Oh Slug in my ass. Honey guy, are you in here? Yep. Great. Hi there. Hello. Haven't you ever seen a man with a big hat? Uh, yes. Funny guy? Yeah, yeah. He was going to the bank. Oh, okay. Perfect. Good lord. Tearing through doors. Did I win? I wasn't paying attention. Uh, did you make, did you yes, make that you busted. Is there really someone going to the bank? I made it up. Oh, nice. <laughs> <laughs> Why'd you I her? I am an asshole. That's yeah, you why. are. What if that was her <laughs> husband or something? Well, I hope she realizes how much of an asshole I am. God damn it. I hate getting 16. Am I hitting or standing? I'm hitting. He's got a 10. I don't know. <gasps> Thank it God you out. did that. Thank God you fucking did that. Because as I wanted to double down. Take a seat, fella. I can't believe that worked. That so, was a Jesse special and it actually I, worked. I am going to double down. That's what a terrible decision. How's everybody oh. doing? Oh, oh beautiful. I'm doing real well. Fella, how are you? Not, not doing too bad. Good. This Can dealer is uh this dealer is not on his uh he's not doing too well tonight, so we're doing not well, real well. Oh, it's good to hear. I might actually bring back my money that I lost. If you lose all right now, I'm gonna lose my mind. Okay, I'm gonna hit this. Cause he, cause he might have I'm lighting this place on fire. Thank God you did that. Cause watch, now you will not have a 10. Whoo! All right. Thank God I did that. Fuck you. <laughs> what do you mean? Use my failure as your success. Well, Robert, you either, you know, either you, you win or you push, honestly. Uh oh. I'm gonna win. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> this I, guy is this such sucks. <laughs> bullshit. <laughs> Robert, no, I'm, not, I'm out of here. <laughs> no, no, no. You have to. You have two bucks. You have two Are bucks. You serious? No, I'm done. You have two. Just put it in. Oh my god. It is two dollars. Fine. It's two. It's seven dollars even. All of it. Stupid. I would too. You should have not to. Come on, give me a 10. Give me a 10. Okay, Are you fucking kidding me? Ooh. Damn, should I hit her stand? Uh, definitely stand. Are you sure? But the chances of me getting a five, they're up there. What's your I'm gambling gut telling you? I think I should hit. All right. What a terrible gambling I'm gonna that kill you have. myself. <laughs> Actually, I can, I can split these, can I? Yeah, beautiful. Yeah. All right, well, one's a blackjack, one's a 13. I'm gonna hit him the 13 see what happens. Give me a 21, baby. Yeah, oh, I hate you. Doing it again. 
I hate you. That's good enough. Stop, stop, stop. Don't, yeah, don't. yeah, I'm not going to. I'm not going to hit. Yeah, I wouldn't either. Robert, double down, my friend. Oh, you do know it, I already do am. It, do it, do it. <laughs> there, it, that's a beautiful double down, too. It pays off. There it is. So, I, I mean, I, you know, I didn't really lose or gain nothing. I think I won 20 bucks, actually. How much money do I have left? I'm, I'm going to keep putting in 10s, because I, I want to make back the 100 that I lost. That's not looking good. It's not terrible. Uh, hopefully there's no 10. I hate oh. you. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. He had two 10s in a row? You sounded so defeated. Is there three 10s? Is there three 10s? Come on. Hit, Show hit, us hit. what he got. Should I double down? Yes, do fuck it. Might as well. Do fuck it, go. <laughs> I don't know. Three. Ah, oh he had three 10s in a row. Hey, there's a big habit. Yeah, see, he would have won either way. He's a cheater. I'm putting in 30 bucks. It's that big... Hey, there's a lady dressed in all pink looking for you. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Some, some lady dressed in all pink her, looking She for didn't you. say. She just said hello, so... Oh, oh well. Oh. That's what's strange. What's You're a guy with a big... That's his thing. What? The big hat. 30 bucks. Would have made it. Why, she was, look why that she was looking for particular? a man with a big hat. He keeps uh, his well, under there. I do have a firearm in case of I get cards. robbed. Um, I'm going to split but, it. But, I mean, it keeps me warm when it's cold out, and vice versa. No, I think he's here to replace this blackjack dealer, and he keeps all the cards under that hat. <laughs> keeps the rain, keeps the rain out of my eyes, too. There's a lot really of cards to me in a crib. That hat. <laughs> it's just a silly hat. You can hide a rat under there, or a squirrel. Hell, maybe even a raccoon. If you Why did you split it, it Robert? Oh, you can't, can you? Oh, yeah, I, I disagree that it is a silly head, and uh, well, I'm taking this blackjack spot. Well, go ahead. It's all yours. <laughs> yes! Yeah, Holy nice. there hell! Go. I just won so much money, I think. Sounds yeah, 60 think. bucks. And another 60 on top of that, I think. Yeah, holy hell. Good lord. $190. I'm going to bet 10 more bucks, and I think I'm going to stand right there. Not only did I make my money back, I'm also made money for Jesse too. So Ten more bucks in them down here. Come on, Mister, don't, don't, please. I'm begging you. Let's give me, give me something good. Oh, you're a bastard. You are a bastard. Actually, hey, you're a pretty good guy. I like you. Huh? Hey, listen. Tell you what, I like you now, but I'm gonna love you if you give me a ten next time I draw. Give me that beautiful ten. See, yeah, I'm not going to split a five. That's stupid. Oh, I love you. Oh, goodness gracious. And I think I think Robert loves him too. No, we know he doesn't. You want those thirty dollars? <laughs> 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 This guy's cheating. Hey, that works for me. Yep, I'll take that. Fucking beautiful. You know what? I'm gonna spend ten dollars because I can. Because I have the funds to do so. You know what, Jim? Treat yourself. Well, just hold on, because I might be losing his hand. No, I'm. I'm... Eleven. Beautiful man. Mm. We're splitting it. Mm -hmm. Not a terribly wise decision. I think this guy might have a 20. Oh, I did not mean to hit shit. Oh, yep. <laughs> oh no. You know, that's happened to me before the blackjack. Sometimes so I don't you're just not you. paying attention. You're like, yeah, sure, whatever. Yeah, you're, you're, yeah, in the, yeah. you're in the zone. Mm -hmm. Like I said, I've had that happen on a blackjack before, so I feel the pain. Oh, you're a 
bastard. I Gosh. spend enough money here that it don't matter in the long run. Fair enough. I don't enough. have much money to spend. Ah. Yeah, I doubled down to two. Oh, oh my, it worked out. Holy <laughs> shit. Listen, I'm gonna keep going until I, listen, oh, I'm, not, I'm not going below 200. <laughs> I am not going below 200. Just, uh, I refuse to do that. I didn't right lose now, anything, so I'm good with that. 230 I'm gonna, bucks. I'm going to grab a whiskey dollars. with my last dollar. Where are y'all from? I don't think I've seen you come through roads before. Roads low. That's right. Sorry, I'm real bad with faces sometimes. I see so uh, many no, folk around through them. I understand, friend. Don't worry about it. No need to apologize. I always feel bad when I can't remember someone's name. I try to keep all my customers' names. Keeps those under his hat, too. I mean, technically true. I keep my logbook up there. All right, well, I think I'm going to stay on the path. <clears throat> I'm going to hope he busts. Robert, Damn do you have any water? With six cars. Uh, yeah, one one last sip if you want. Yeah, can I have it? Mm. <clears throat> yeah. Sorry to make you chug it, but <laughs> I'm really thirsty. I thought drinking a beer would help. I'm gonna put in forty dollars. Twenty-five. <laughs> Appreciate it. <laughs> that was for Jim. You can have uh -oh. it. Don't like Ooh. that. Hit the back, Jack. Right? Nope. Okay, good. Thank God. Thank you. Yeah, you can keep that one. I can show you where to read. I think it. you might oh, have. Oh, thanks. To be honest with no you, I, I, I'd keep hitting until I'm at a 20 because yeah. I, I think he has a 20 under there. That's it's what I'm almost, thinking. Almost definite. Yeah. Oh, I think. Close. I think don't feel bad. I think we're going to lose out of the way, to be honest. That's why I did small bets. <laughs> well, that's beautiful. I like that. And give me a, no, give me a 10. Give me a 10. Fuck you, man. You're God, you're an asshole. <laughs> this guy is the fucking worst. He's actually the fucking worst person on this planet. I mean, you, you're safe. You're fine. You're, you're, you're going to push. She has a tan. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Oh. How unexpected. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, fella. He usually has a tan under there when I have Yeah, no, no. I, I was feeling the tan, honestly. I was I'm feeling it. I would say wait till 100, man. I would always wait till nah. I get 100. I yeah, might as well put it in. I might as well put it in. I'm not Fair 35 enough. bucks. Fair enough. Putting in 20. I'm going to make a $300 in my pocket. I don't think I made any money. I think I lost money. <laughs> That's how it usually that. goes with these things. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to double down and hope he gives me a 10. I'm pretty sure he's nice enough to do that, right? No, you're not. Oh my god! Why are you so- you're lucky Jesus shit. Christ. Never leave this table. I don't want to, I keep winning. Just leave the table before you lose everything. I'm not gonna bet more than- uh, Listen, right now I have 320. I'm gonna put down 10. Cause I think this next one I'm probably gonna lose. God damn, I have made so much money off this fucking table tonight. It's stupid. And of course, I'm gonna. I'd recommend you hit that. Obviously, <laughs> hit it again. Yep. Are you fucking okay, kidding me? Okay, probably don't. I mean, here's the thing, right? Is it, <laughs> the worst he has to give you is a ten or a nine. That's the worst he has to give you for you to bust. But I don't see very many tens on this table. Yeah. How often does he shuffle? I'm gonna hit. Fuck it. Oh shit. I don't think he shuffles at all. There oh my, we go. There it is. Okay. <laughs> Perfect. Of course, I'm going to stand. Because he's playing four. It's four decks. Six. Fifteen. Busted. Oh my god. god. Damn. I'm going to keep going until 
I lose. <laughs> I'm putting in 20 bucks. That makes it 350. Actually, I'll put in 30. Fuck it. See what happens. I'll do 15. All right. Let's see what happens. Uh oh. <laughs> oh hey. Uh oh. That's, that's still pretty not. Still not good. Hey, for you it's fine. Yeah, I'll be fine. I'll stop at 18. He probably has a 10 under there. Oh. Okay. All right. Yeah. I didn't lose 30 bucks. Didn't gain it either. I'm putting in another 30. Oh, you put in 15. Because yep, at least you'll leave 100. Do. 30 for me, mister. My wife made a thousand on this goddamn table one time. What? She did multiple. Wow. Really? Yep. So, what did she get negative but made a thousand on the table, or? Uh, she started off with ten. Okay, gotcha. And she just kept rising. Yep, yep. She must have spent. No, she must have spent a long time at the table. Yes. No, we spent a night. We maybe had some alcohol. And we just spent the night at the table. Okay, well, I'm, I'm gonna hit this. I'm probably gonna lose, which is fine. What the hell? Jesus Christ. Oh my god, I just got a twenty-one. Don't leave this table. Just keep playing. I, I don't want I don't wanna hold my I don't I don't wanna hold no, my two friends. I don't know Russia, I'm thing. curious. Just don't don't just don't do it all in. I know I, know, I, I think keep, it's keep... I know Jesse is, that's my problem. Oh right. No, I'm having fun sitting here like genuinely. You have the best <laughs> luck right now. <laughs> yeah, right, right, that lady keep, luck. Keep on keep on going. Huh. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna go forty, fuck it, why not? That makes yeah. it four hundred dollars if I win this. Just make sure you yeah, keep some money aside. There you go. Of course, obviously, yeah. 18. I'm gonna stand on 15. Yeah, I'm gonna stand on 18. Now, I'm sure he's gonna do a bullshit move where he has 21 at one point. It's gonna happen. I'm surprised he hasn't gotten a blackjack yet. Oh, yeah, there we go. There's All 20. right, well, I still have $20 to spend, so I'm gonna do it. Eh. I'll go Major? big on this one. I'll go big on this one. You are? Go 40. Yeah, I'll go 40. Hell yeah. Make, make that money, my friend. All right, $20 on the table. Right. Yeah, I'm standing on that. Ah. Uh, I want to feel like he's going to bust. I don't want to risk him giving me another tan. I think he's going to bust. Oh, gut Holy feeling. Holy shit. Oh gut my god. feeling. Oof. Now, I'm going to bet low this time because I feel like he's like, well, holy shit, he's going to take a lot of money off of me. I'm going to go to real low. Way. I'm only putting in a tan this time around. I'm just putting a five. Yep, not two good cards. Oh, double down, why not? <laughs> oh no. As to be expected. As to be expected. Yep. Putting in twenty dollars again. <laughs> now the twenty is well. Daddy. Howdy, howdy. Y'all playing some blackjack? Oh, yeah. I believe we are. Yes, ma'am. Anybody winning? This guy with the eye patch. Everyone's winning at this table tonight, apparently. Oh, jeez, yeah. do I hit on oh, this shit? Although he is starting to take some money from folk. Yeah. I'd, I, for you personally, I would, I would go off the basis that he's going to bust. I, I wouldn't risk it. Yeah. Especially with his number he has. The four, yeah. It's been a bust. Now, I'm hoping he gives me a 10. I'm really hoping. Shit. Well, it's not bad. <laughs> now, hopefully he gives me a 10. Fucking <laughs> ass, you are an asshole. He is the fucking worst. Oh, You're a dick. There, well, there's the 10. I mean, at the end, I guess. Yeah, well. Uh, Holy shit, he busted. Yeah. 
Now watch, all of my luck's just gonna leave when you, uh, you're gone. All right, well, I'll see this next hand through. Put it on the big. As your last hand for me to see, I want to see you do something big. Something big. All right. Something big. It's two thirty. There it is. Let's see what happens. Oh, Twelve. Twelve. Uh -oh. uh, I'm going to have to hit you as a nine. There's no way. Yeah. yeah maybe. Sixteen. Shit. <laughs> Nothing's I good here. <laughs> the thing is, I see a lack of tens on the table. Which that's never a good thing. Uh, God damn it. I think you should do what's called the Jesse special and just just bet. Just hit. Do it. You might get a five. Who knows? I might. There is a suspicious lack of five. Yeah, fuck it. Why not? He was money. It's not my fault, by the way. Oh, a four. See? Did it work out? Yep. Well, he has a 20, and that means if he has a 10, All right. he win. 19. Holy shit. You win. Wow. Good job. Nice. Man. Well, you guys take it well easy done. for us tonight. You're here. Yeah, take care. Thanks. Thanks, y'all. Keep winning. Here's uh, open. By the way, um, you're just going to give you 100, and so is Robert here, uh, supposedly. I'm not as much of a big spender as you, but I do want to have a little fun myself. Oh, I got a 20. There you go. And, uh, Robert, so you can walk her down to the stable, so I'm going to go ahead and get myself a, my money in my bank. You can do that, right? Yeah. Yeah, he can. No, no, I'm going to walk myself down to the damn stables. Oh, there Jesus. Enough. As if you're not capable. <laughs> That girly at the table is real pretty. Right? There was a flyer for a Sunday school. <laughs> yeah, yeah, apparently she teaches you how to read, write, and all that. I had a friend who doesn't Aww. know how to read or write, so I thought uh, maybe I could sign them up. That'd be sweet. What the hell is this thing? They're over, yeah, the big empty lot, I'm pretty sure. don't fall for uh, what he fell for and he seems to think the that Missouri uh, breed of horse is the best but I think it's the worst here I'm quite content with my Shire they don't yeah. startle easily and they can take a bullet <clears throat> yeah even better yeah I see a lot of folks or that um the guy has a German name it's like a Claude Claude something Claude Ruben. oh uh, yeah I feel like that's a <laughs> like a, a cousin of the Shire yeah really they're tough. fast I like it's just, it they're I don't know, they, don't, they can't run for super long. Yeah, yeah, that's the issue. That's what I kind of go for. I want a horse that's quick off off the beat and uh, can last a while. So yeah, you want a I, horse that can keep on going. That's why I end up with my uh, Arabian. Hands are small, though. Like, real small. Yeah, very tiny. Yeah, <laughs> I don't like that. But... They, they're cowards. There you go, and this guy will help you out. My hat. I left it at the bar. Minus one. I need to find a hangout and stash this box. I hate having this box around. If I lose it, I lose it. What, it's 50 bucks? Bro.
Oh, road stables. Easy enough. It's just nicer to be able to be like, hey, there's a ride. Yeah, oh my goodness, <laughs> you're right. A little tiny. That's all right. They're fast though. Very, yeah, fat, but la I guess they last uh, a long time. But this guy can ride from San Anita, uh, Blackwater, Strawberry, no problem. Tennessee Walkers ain't too bad too. Yeah, I had a Norfolk that was really good. But I think my favorite was that the Claude. Claude guy, he was, he was real good. But I, I see a lot of what kind of horse I had. I think it was a Chesapeake or something like that. Oh. I don't know what the end all be all is. I think there's the one that's worth nineteen hundred dollars. God damn. Yeah. Might as well just get it for the status alone. Right, but uh, that that big old horse, I see a lot of folk with them. So there's something something good there. That man riding a donkey. I think so. Is Jim talking to him? <laughs> yeah, oh yeah. Is that your donkey? Yeah. Well, I don't own no donkey. This donkey he himself and his own. But uh, we travel in companions for now. So I'll take him to the end of the journey. Oh yeah, we're well, the end of the journey. Is, is, um, a, is it going to be okay know. with you riding on it like that? Yeah, he's all right, eh? He don't mind me riding bare by it. Well, you don't look too comfortable, for us. Or you got to get face where you're all friendly about it. Oh, uh, well, Pedro? Yeah, yeah, Pedro. Yeah, yeah, he's fun. He's not, he's not used to company this much. It's just been me and him for the past few days. Oh, by the way, can you give me that recipe to birthday? You weren't very specific on how to make it. You just told me the ingredients. You didn't tell me how to yeah. put sticks in. Yeah, I, I did give you the specific amount. What you talk about? <laughs> Figure it out. It ain't that hard. It ain't rocket science. I wonder if I can turn off the light. That'd be nice. I suppose he's right. I die. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah, my, oh, my fishing brother from another mother. Beautiful. There it is. Yeah. And of course, Mrs. Jess, she's not going to join us. She wants to uh, go out and about a bit more before she does something like that. So we're not going to mm. throw her in the deep end quite yet. Sure. You're doing like... what now? Robert. He said oh, you're too much hell? of a, a coward to do whatever the hell he wants to oh, do. Oh, heavens no. I didn't say coward. I just said she, she ain't ready yet. Yeah, I ain't even got a gun. So, uh, by the way, for, for if you're not sure, who, I mean, I'm pretty sure uh, who she is, but uh, Mama's gonna join us too. Ma <laughs> yes, right. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so like that's that that's, that's funny you say that because last time I, I did that with Mama, it, it you know. Went out poorly. No, it went great actually. Uh, the best, probably the quickest thing we've ever done. Is that right? Yeah, me and Mama, we hit those. Uh, I'm I'm really good at that sort of thing. Uh, do you know if Mama's around currently? Yeah, I've seen her in Valentine. All right, well, you want to try with, with us uh, over there? Uh, I was actually head down towards San Dennis. Oh, are you now? Yeah. San Any particular reason? Oh, uh, I want to do some swamp fishing. Oh, is that right? Well, buddy, yeah. you know that's in your name, so go ahead and do what you gotta do. But hey, like I said, tomorrow I'm gonna send you a telegram just to make absolutely sure. One more time, it's gonna be I F five five nine. nine. Okay, yeah. I got it down correctly in my little notebook here, my friend. So I'll make sure to actually send you one. But <laughs> sending like it wrong the entire damn time. Yes, I sent you because I was reminding you both of them, like two of them, and you didn't respond to any of it. So I'm like, fine, I guess he isn't around. Well, well, there you go. Now you know your reason. There it is. You are gonna be around tomorrow, right? Yeah, I'll be around. 
All right, because it's going to be me, Robert, Miss Daisy, you, and Mama. So we got five people. Perfect. There it is. You uh, uh, you need me for anything in particular, or am I just there to stand pretty? Um, you said you're good at safe cracking, right? Yeah. Because I, I am fluent in lockpicking. I get that within five seconds. Okay. Yeah. So yeah. I get that shit open very quickly. Who do you, who um, do you normally have working the uh the back? Uh, Miss Daisy and myself. Okay. You guys quick at that or? Oh, we're pretty quick. Okay. So we could probably have you, me, Mama, and Daisy all over there in the back. Cracking the sure. is open. Oh, yeah, yeah. Wait, where's we gonna be doing that at? Uh, probably Valentine. Or, or Rhodes. We're not sure yet. Valentine or Rhodes. One of the two. <laughs> I'm game for whatever, man. You just let me know. All right, buddy. See you tomorrow. See ya. Down, down to you. Uh, Valentine. Uh, what, what, are you, what you writing down, Robert? The uh, forest fish. I gotta get his telegram. Fair enough. Uh, Jesse, so when do you have to leave again? Uh, around probably six. So okay. another two hours. Oh, glad Jim's oh. catching on. Yeah. Hell yeah. All right. <laughs> well, uh, we'll pick up the pace a little bit. Go, go slow through town as usual, and then we'll head off down to uh, Valentine. Stay slow. I don't know. I'm going fast for That was silly of me. I don't know. I, I said slow and immediately started blasting through town like a jackass. Wait, do you need to buy? Do you need to buy a gun over here? Or uh, what's that? Did Jesse want to? Did you want to buy a gun while you're here? Or you oh yeah, like a horse? real gun. Yeah. Oh yeah, a, yeah. Uh, a, how, how much did she spend on the horse? Uh, it was uh, 90. Shire. Ninety. Excellent. Then she'll actually, yeah, she will be able to buy herself a real gun. You can look through the catalog, right? You can look through the catalog, but you yep. don't. But don't buy anything yourself because you'd be taking it from him. Just he'll, he'll get it for you. And you know, sometimes I have something under the counter that someone's traded in. I can get it a bit cheaper. Just look through the catalog uh, and see what he has. Do you happen to have a volcanic pistol? I don't have a volcanic and get one out. I can get one out there. Uh, get a courier to go pick it up. It'll uh, be about 20 bucks extra. I do have some other things, though, if you're interested. Uh, what else you got, then? I have a Navy revolver. All right. I also have a very nice Navy revolver you might be interested in. It's called the Queen of Diamonds. Ooh. It's expensive, but it's How much a pretty it? good deal. It's <laughs> nice. Yeah, I was interested, too. Oh, my oh, God. But Never mind. Fuck. Take a look. Uh, can, uh, so, so uh, can I, can I, listen, I'm not steal from you. No, uh, can I hold ahead. it? No, I can't. Oh. You want to hold it? Okay, because if, if it looks good, man, I like to, like, have it on. Listen, I'm a big poker player. Hey, you want these binoculars to get a closer look? No, I just hold them in my hand. No, Because, God, I, listen, I, I love poker so much, so if this thing looks good, I'm, I might have to. God damn, it's really hard to look at. Uh, you might want to walk over to the light. You can take a few steps. Here we go. Oh, yeah, I see what you mean. Hold on. Is that a uh, pearl me... handle? Woo. Yep, pearl with a big <laughs> cat. Get your thumb on it. You got to gamble for it, Jim. It's either nine or a thousand. Nine hundred. <laughs> Normally, really a gun like that it. to make with everything in would be twelve hundred. So that's three hundred dollars off. Uh, it looks it looks real nice. You think you could just set me up with a shotgun, double barrel, or yeah. whatever? Yeah, without it, without doubt, I can do that for you. Uh, I'm just gonna take another look. We also have uh, bolt action rifle. Oh, good. Oops. Uh, and a navy revolver, just a plain navy revolver. How much is the navy? Uh, two twenty. Two twenty, and how much is the uh, bolt action? Uh, six hundred and twenty. Six hundred and twenty dollars. God damn. Uh, how much would the shotgun be? One hundred and seventy-five. Hell. One hundred and seventy-five. Oh, oh, uh, I'll, I'll go ahead and just take that. All right. Yeah. Uh, what's you, what's you buying? I'm buying a double barrel shotgun. Yeah, double barrel. 
How much is a double barrel? 175. Okay. You could afford that, Jesse? Yeah, I have 180. Oh, there it is. Oh, fantastic. All right. Yeah, you can just pass me money. I got to hold it. Until, uh... yeah, we also got the raffle going on if y'all are interested as well. Uh, remind me again. I think I saw the advertisement, but. Yeah, it's for a pump action shotgun, one of the few in the Krausen. Let me grab this for you. Why is it so hard to get pump actions? Uh, because uh, most pump actions are marked with Saints Cross and Sheriff's Department. Only a few are not and are le are able to be legally owned. And, Isn't uh, it? Is it two hundred a ticket? I think. I'll I think it's two hundred a ticket. Five people per ticket. Uh, you buy five tickets, you get the six free. That's right. It, so it's five. two hundred a ticket. Mm-hmm. You know what? Odds are pretty good right now. How, how many yeah. people are how many people are in the raffle? Under twenty five tickets have been purchased. That's, that's still a lot of tickets yeah. though. Mm Take it whenever you're uh, available. Sure. Thank you, sir. Uh, let me just take the book out from underneath the counter. Ah, right, get your name and details first before we do any money. How exchange. is that, Jesse? Uh, name Robert Fisher. Well, pretty nice. Traditionally. give you my telegram whenever you Yes, want. your telegram number, please. That's uh Curious Zoo 014. And just the one ticket? Yep, just the one. A uh, fantastic. All right, I can take your money now. You're all written down. Wish I had darker grain on it. Now, what's going to happen is that we're going to do the draw on uh, 10 p.m. on, you know, the 4th. Yeah. Uh, and then we're going to contact the winner that. anonymous. Uh, no, so we're going to contact the winner so it's anonymous. And you, you don't get one uh, looking to relieve you of that big shotgun. Oh, I all right. Perfect. Look, are, you, hold, are you doing the drawing anywhere in particular? Or oh, just, I haven't, just I haven't be uh, No, no, because we, if we do, horse. people are uh, who won, who won, who won. Zero you know, and that kind of defeats the purpose of anonymous, right? right Robert, we'll that's back. true. That's a good point. All right. Yeah, in the past we we did it here, and then you know next it's day we had some too. gunning for someone for the rare weapon that they got customized. You know, you know what? I can I can absolutely see that. It makes sense. That's smarter this way. Uh, yeah, but if you ever want to buy more tickets, uh, this counts towards your five. So if you come by and f buy four more yeah. tickets, uh, you get the six free, just in case you know you change your mind or anything. Yeah, hey, if I uh, start winning more at blackjack, uh, I'm sure I'll be right here uh, buying more tickets. Oh, fantastic. Well, thank you very much, Robert, and uh, best of luck. I appreciate you. You have a great rest of your day, okay? Yeah, you as well. Take care of yourself now. <laughs> you too. Tell your friends uh, farewell for me as well. Will do, will do. Ugh. Mall talk. Oh, 
hey. I'm picking up a I'm walking like a damn fool because I'm hungry. <laughs> oh, I need to get a water canteen. If you don't mind being a little rascal, you can. There's usually food behind the the bar in the saloon you can grab. Oh well, then I'll go ahead and do that. Thing. Get food? Uh, yeah, we're good. Um, All so right. uh, next Thanks up, we can, we can we can go to the wheat fields if you guys want to. All right. Robert, oh, you really did get a shotgun. Huh, that's nice. Yeah, sure, I'll help out. All right. So next up, we're going to go to the wheat fields. I need to pick some wheat anyway, so let's do it. Wheat. Trap. Right. Clothes all dirty. like both a curse and a boon that I can like disappear at the drop of a hat and those those two will never see me again. They have no like reasonable way to contact me except via telegram. 
but if this was like GTA 5, we'd all be in like the same car. <laughs> and I could be called to myself. I don't like how it's, you know, I could be mysterious, even though my character just didn't want to get his fucking clothes dirty. dollar horse I'll have you know and it's a wonderful horse it's Arabian Shoot out the other I go with Mario Kart stats, so I wanted the most speed and acceleration, and this one had it, had it in spades with the health and stamina. I thought they would just go to the wheat field and get his meat there. I don't remember how much wheat you needed for moonshine anyway. It was like 30 or some shit. Not 30. Uh, 100. 110? 120? Is that them? Hey. Hey. I changed clothes. I didn't want to get dirty. Holy shit, where did you go off to? I just, you guys peeled off, so I, I, I went back to the general store to change clothes. I see. I don't want to get just, dirty. Just going to freak out because of how much we has to get. Uh, I, I was trying to remember that. Was that 100 or 130? Uh, 200. Oh, God! What? Well, I've already been picking a little, so... Uh, you need to pick 200 wheat, Jesse. And how much do I get for coal? Three. God, It's awful. You... Welcome, welcome to hell. Welcome to Jim's hell. <laughs> hell yeah. See, I, what I do is I just think of... I don't know. I don't know if this... I, I'm, I'm willing just, to assume this part know. is not illegal. Oh my God, because, look at all these like, people running wagons. I don't... I don't know if this part's illegal. Oh, I know shit, the act yeah. of... 
like the Oregon I think trail. Th once you distill the moonshine, that is when it's illegal because then you're holding contraband or whatever. <laughs> I, I didn't sure. even think moonshine was illegal around this time. This isn't prohibition, right? And prohibition was like I don't what, think about it. the 1910s or 1920s or some shit. But I guess making your own alcohol would be illegal. Um. Oh, yes, yeah, so you had a great immigration to have in 1843. Yeah, you, okay. you're good. Yeah, I didn't. It, of course it happened. Yeah, of course it happened. That's silly. What are you talking about? Oh, another thing that's real fucking expensive in this stupid goddamn state is clothes. What, $50, 50 bucks. for a nice outfit? That's not bad. Even if I just want a shitty outfit. She said I look like a hobo. Oh, <laughs> I've, I've already. My coat rack's full and I'm miserable. I need more. Really? Well, you know me. You're always complaining. I I'm always changing have outfits. 30 grams of weed. You know, I remember the first day, man. You, you know, you picked yourself up. You, you had some. You had some nice going on for yourself, and then you went to all red, which I thought was kind of ridiculous. But you wanted that style, so you had it. Yeah. I wanted to match the hair. And then I was told the Saints Daily folk wear blue as like a sort of uniform. So I was like, oh, well, let me try blue. Maybe it'll match my eyes. It's going okay. But now I like now I like the clean cut look, kind of like how Jesse has going. I've been going for that. Thank you. I take pride in how I dress. Yeah, yeah I like the I like a cleaner look. Uh, Jim, you look great, but you look like a, like a, a dad of a rancher. Well. As she put it, I look like a guy who doesn't have a home. <laughs> oh, you know, you don't look homeless. You. Oh. You, you, you look like a successful, uh, uh, uh outdoorsman. <laughs> yeah, see that, Jesse? A successful outdoorsman. Is your horse on planet on helping, or is he just here to cause trouble? Uh, that's both. Not, that's something Jim likes to do. He always likes to whistle for Alfonso every now and then. It happens regularly. You know, once Jesse peels off to go do her thing out of state, um, me and you will go through the plan. That's the reason why I wanted to pick up Mama. Yeah, I just have my thing at 10.30, but I don't imagine that lasting long. Abigail always runs off real quick. Okay. I don't know if I'm going to meet this serial killer. That'd be interesting. What do you say to a man that you know eats other people? Um, don't eat me. Can I interview you? Yeah. Well, Ask him how they head. taste. Uh, apparently they taste like pork. Like someone told me that well, pig, like pigs, are very similar to humans. And like taste and texture and all that. No, no, I've, I've, Boy, I've you been... you want to donate your finger to the Sky Gang, Jesse, to figure that out? Uh, no, I'm good. I've lost half my face. I don't need to lose my finger. I know a witch doctor in the bayou. I'm sure they can give you a preview. I'm not gonna be a human being. What if you're stuck on an island? I'd probably eat a human being then. I don't know. What if someone would give you a million dollars? That sounds like a good deal. We have to eat somebody that I know or just someone random? Uh, you choose. If who's a random person then? Absolutely. Would it would it would it be alive beforehand? I have to kill myself or or uh, What would be the deal breaker? If you had to kill them yourself? Probably. Uh then they're pre packaged, pre prepared. <laughs> Do I need to cook them myself or <laughs> yeah, they cook? cook them. You need to figure out a way to eat them. That's Put disgusting. Them in a stew. Probably just chop off a finger and just nibble on it a bit. <laughs> technically, that te technically, that's eating it. No, it ain't. You gotta eat the whole thing. Oh, an entire human being. I could, I couldn't even, I couldn't even eat an entire cow if I wanted to, let alone a human being. What kind of psycho shit is that? Maybe just the eyeball. What? Why an eyeball? We're, we're going based off of the meat, not the eyeball. It's still meat. It's like a grape. People eat cow eyes. Some, yeah, some cultures really like uh, hearts and eyes and brains. That ain't for me. Alright, so next up, 
We need. Oh God, I forgot about that. We need money for sugar cubes. I'm um, waiting for y'all to be done with your pickings. 200, like I said, so three stacks of 30, one, one second. Look at him sitting on his horse while we're picking weed. Wait, I, I think his math was wrong. That didn't make sense. What, 30, 60, 90, 120? I said we needed over 200. I'm not good at math. I'm I don't not know. Either. Wait, how much do we need? Because I've got, you said what, three stacks of 30? Yep, three stacks of 30, one stack of 20. That's, that's 110. No, it ain't. It's, it's 30, 60, 90, 120, 140, 180, 120, or 100, or sorry, 200. Okay, well, I'm good then. Yes, yeah, three stacks of 30, one stack of 20. I don't know what the fuck he's saying. Sorry, no, I'm an idiot. I've got six stacks of 30, one stack of 20. That's what I thought. Yeah, six stacks of 30, one stack of 20. I'm sorry. I don't know why I said three, four. Did you just have wheat in your pocket already? Oh, I'm a little bit tired. <laughs> Come on. I wonder if I can sell this wheat. Because I'm not, uh, like, the next part is buying sugar. The good thing about Moonshine is, despite his team effort here, his team builder mindset, uh, kind of a solo thing. Drive your own shit. But I don't believe I'm stealing this. Yes, you can. You can absolutely get struck by lightning. Uh, this is this is this is my favorite. This is the window screensaver shit I love. Seems okay for now. Looks like something's breaking.
Alright, finally. I close you, you see. What's that? $60. Well, uh, your cut will be, will be paid back to me. Oh, by the way, speaking of which, um, I need, I need $100 from you, Robert. I paid for your ticket. That event. So, so actually, as a matter of fact, here, how about this? I'll, I'll give you a discount. If you can get uh, Jesse $65, we'll cut it there. Okay. All right, so, go. Cool. Let's go then. So, yeah, Jesse, then you, then you don't owe me anything. Then you're fine. All right, off we go. Shit. I keep fucking muting myself. I muted myself so I can grab a fucking drink. And I keep forgetting to unmute. Like a dummy. I'm saying that horse is a fat fucking ass. Speed. Fucking. Why did I quell Dore? Oh, he's beating me up. He's fucking up some cops. Part of me wants to get into horse racing. It's really, really fun. Yeah. Oh, we were neck and neck for a while. I was trying to catch up to you. You're fast. Bye. All right, nothing from me. That's a telegram to open up. Uh, you can take Jesse's horse. Uh, Miss Charlotte Toussaint wants to have tea with me. Aww. Who? Charlotte who? Uh, she gave me rumors about the cannibals. She's a French gunsmith in training. Kind of new to the Ooh. crossing. That's a fancy name. You can just hop on whiskey. Is that? Yeah, okay. I don't know where mine went. I see. So you need more of your goddamn horses that <laughs> alcohol. Wow, you're big! Whoa, this is a big horse! 
You can do this, Robert. I have some faith in you're gonna you're gonna be fine. He's coming back. <laughs> Robert. He clearly just doesn't like you. He keeps bucking me. He hates you. <laughs> Jesus. Sixty-five, right? Yes, sixty-five. That's right. Six eleven. Never forget. You owe me some money, fella. I guess I do. all there now leave my family alone for your troubles <laughs> oh thank you you're welcome Jim, tell us to buy the sugar. I don't remember. Uh, yeah, but I don't remember how much. I, to I don't. Check that. I don't yeah, know. I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna wait. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. I appreciate it. Have a good one. Schmoozing. You schmoozing. All right, I'm gonna send a telegram to mom. Good lord. Pure, she, pure, she ain't here. Grr, angry. <laughs> This dumb bastard, get in here, please. That's that guy that wants to beat me up. Don't go back out there. <laughs> yeah. Just hide in here. <laughs> go hide behind the counter. Blend right in. Oh, yeah. You won't even notice it's you here. <laughs> Completely casual. I'm just here to buy Good general morning, goods. <laughs> oh my god, what is he screaming about? He yeah, asked someone's horse's name rotisserie. <laughs> we're, we're acting natural. Alright, so. Hey flash. there, mister. <laughs> Jim, how much sugar do we need to buy? For um, what? 100, 150. Excuse me. It's 250 for a whole run. Alright, 250, that's Excuse right. me. Well, what? You want me to lie or you want results? Well, I wasn't um, talking to you, fella. I was talking to him. Uh, Jimmy, this is Jesse. Jesse, this is Jimmy. Hello. I'm going to shake my hand, please. Oh. I'll put on my uh, gloves if you think my hands are too dirty. You know how to shake There you hands? go. I, there I you don't go. get... I'm Cry shaking up. it. Yep, okay. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. Oh. I also, excuse me. Could you, Jim, could you move for a second? Uh, if you punch him, Jimmy... Uh, I am going to punch him. No, you're not. He pointed yeah, a gun at me. Him. I, I, gonna, think I, I think yeah. I get one punch. But then you explained yourself and I put the gun away and then we were all good. That, d that didn't make it go away. Just, Why not? Jimmy, Can you see it me? from my perspective? Is you, you, Hey, go hold up that guy and it's a goddamn sheriff. It was a, it was a no crazy badge, situation. No badge was hurt. Yeah, so yeah, no yeah. one was hurt. No one got hurt. No one got nothing. Yeah. So I, you got, can just... I got hurt. I got hurt financially. Well, right. Well, we'll think, we'll think about Jim. And Jim got, and Jim got hurt actually. <laughs> I did, but the thing about it, right, is that it's irrational anger, but people have it. it was right. Do you want? Do you want to just square this out back and then? I we'll, quite we'll literally just that. want to sock you once in the face and then forget about it. But I mean, we can go out back and do that. Yeah. I sure. mean, I'll just do it right here right now. All right, fine. Let's go. All right. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Oh my god. Fuck. Thank you. I'm over it now. Over it, sure. If I wasn't over right. it, I I have I have a shotgun, so I, I could have done worse. Okay, that's true. 
Okay, so, so are we all friends again? Are we all good? Yeah, we're mm -hmm. good. Okay. When do you, when do you give each other a hug? No. Okay. No. I'm dirty. You a hug? I like the if beard, who, though. Well, well not, not, like he said, not like he said he's dirty. I don't want to hug no more. Uh, what are you doing, Jimmy? J no. Jimmy. J uh, uh, <laughs> what is happening? <laughs> no. uh, I'm going to squeeze your fucking spawn out your body, Jim. Let me go. Oh, yeah. I gotta, I gotta message Charlotte back. Do you remember how much I'm supposed to buy? I don't remember. Two fifty sugar. Two fifty, thank you. Oh. Took sixty dollars worth of sugar or something. Like a damn bear. Music's too exciting. I wanted Final Fantasy this Nine. This is the like jazz. the least fastest way. Never pick sugar. Never pick sugar. It takes so long. Yeah, that was, that's what Jesse told me. It's one sugar cane every time you pick it. It takes five sugar cane for one sugar cube. You do the math. Are you doing it that too, equals Jimmy? Too much time for this shit. <laughs> if you yeah. had like ten people doing it, maybe it could be profitable. I got extra yeah, weed if you want it. Money. Yeah, I can't fit any more in my pockets. I'm over Why are you encumbered. freaking out, Hyperion? Why the fuck are you freaking out? I think what? I hate you hard. I know, that hurt. Shit. I'll be well, honest, least... I've, I've never fought really much in the crossing, so I thought I could get a little uh, practice in, but he just hit <laughs> he me. He didn't want to, he just wanted to hit you. Uh, yeah. I can't fit any more sugar in my pockets. I bought 200. Well, you can also put stuff in the bank or on your horse, too, if you feel like you're, you're too much. To oh, wait, on. yeah. I have some cigarettes holding. <laughs> yeah. Any sugar cubes because I'm not doing it. Pointless to rat on a fucking moonshine delivery, though. Y'all motherfuckers need to park your horses. Cause this dude's gonna bit me in the fucking dome. Nope. Ooh, this is uh Promesia. Promesia theme. Alright, come on, let's go. Oh. That was weird, we were all going the same direction. Okay, uh yeah, let's it was very awkward. Yeah, it is. <laughs> Stop. There you go. Yeah, anyway. Does not make it less awkward. <laughs> Fonzo, where are you, dumbass? He was down the the, wa the alley over there by the water. By the water. Water. The left. Oh, there he is. Oh, wait. The fuck you freaking out, Hyperion? Horses oh my god. Robert, you wanna put away your horses up on mine? Yeah, I'll hop on your horse, John. Excellent. That sounded really creepy the way you said that. <laughs> oh, horse champ. I'll put on your horse. <laughs> <laughs> Creep best if you are. Yeah, you know. Anyway, um, yeah, so everything squared away was Jimmy, you okay now? Uh, my face is a little sore, but yeah, we're, we're clearly good. Okay, because if he was going to get into a fist fight with you, actually, I was going to hold him back and choke him out. Uh, it's not, it's, well, yeah, maybe, maybe this is the whiskey talk in a bit, but I, I, I haven't fought really anyone in the crossing, so I thought I could so, do it with a little, uh, ex, you know, So if he, if he punched you a couple of times, you would you would have gone after him? I, I would have rather, you know in you know the, the horse stables or somewhere and then you know one of us gets knocked out and we help help each other out and it's well, see, well he's no longer after you he's over it 
Yes, yeah, so now we're good. All right, so there's some good salmon here. Oh, for fuck's sake, Jesse, do you have a camp thing? She does. Okay, ex. All right, so go ahead, fill, fill up that bottle, Jesse, if you haven't already. And then comes the next fun part. Where are the fish? It is now, so if you open up your pockets, right? On the top right of your pockets, like close to like the top of it, you'll see a little hammer, a little chisel. Well, you want to go ahead and get that. And then you want to put you want to put in the sugar cubes, the water, and the wheat. And then you'll you'll be crafting yourself a little bit of a moonshine. Or, sorry, sorry, the uh, the what's it called? The mash for it. Are you understanding what I'm leaving? Mm -hmm. Okay, then you want to fill the water bottle again. Are you not doing it, Robert? No, I am, but I thought I could catch the salmon real quick. I thought I saw one. Oh, fair enough. Yep, and now you do this. You did have 10 bottles of match. Like I said, this is $300, Jesse. At least you're getting a free 300 bucks, right? This is going to take so long. The law do get notified, I think, so be careful. The law does get notified, so you need to kind of be creative about how you get to your destination. As long as you get to your destination, you can just fast. And quickly. Now, I'm not allowed in tall trees in Blackwater until tomorrow, so... I thought that was today. I thought you were good nope. today. Nope. It's tomorrow. And last time I went there, Daisy was not very happy with me. So, I'm not going to go back to Blackwater or tall trees because I don't want to yield at. However, I'm not allowed to go to Blackwater or tall trees. I am, however, allowed to go past right in the middle of it to get the thieves land and things like that. How many mashes did everyone have so far? I have, I have three. Are you creating your first one, Robert? Oh shit! Okay. I said I have two, but I made it up. Of course, we'll go. We'll, so, so Jesse will do our first one. Robert will do a second one, and I'll move on to the third one. There's five more, and I'm good to go. So how many do I need? You need ten. Ten, okay. Ten mash, and you're good to go. By the way, Jesse, in this state as well, you need to maintain your gun, which means you need to clean it as well. Gun oil. Are you serious? Yeah. All right. And trust me, when it gets real dirty, it is very ineffective. Normally, my bolt action should take out a grizzly bear with one headshot. It'll take about three if the gun's real dirty. Oh my god. It, yeah, it becomes very, very ineffective. Really? That's happening to you? Wow. Yep. I noticed mine was getting dirty. I barely use it. Yep, and gun. It's, it's stupid, man. Gun oil costs so much money. Yeah, isn't it Three dollars, I think. Three dollars. Three dollars? And you need to use. Listen, I imagine if there's like five parts of the gun you need to clean, about ten gun oil will clean one part of the gun. I think. Or is it two parts of the gun? Point is, it's uh, I'm not too sure. It, it, it takes a lot, a lot of gun oil to clean and maintain your gun. I had to order P90 
computer. Well, ladies and gents, I'm nearly done. Does anyone need food? I got extra. Oh, well, I'm fine. I'm good. And then I filled the water bottle. Did you know there's a, a woman out there starting a, uh, a rehabilitation sort of like health clinic for those who are, uh, you know, suffering from addictions and ailments and all sorts of that. Oh, oh my goodness. Oh, I think you need some of that clinic, Jim, for, you, for that anger, that temper of yours. Yeah, that. What do you mean? I don't have a temper. You turn around and stop me for no reason. I tripped. Yeah, uh huh. And I was trying to stop myself from my, my fist laying on your face. Oh, uh, Robert! Whoa! Jeez, I'm, I'm tripping, Robert! No! No! Oh. <laughs> oh, you're a sly dog. No, I don't want to do that. God what the hell? It. I'm sorry, man. See, that's I don't have the experience. I don't know how how uh, maybe we gotta do a little like wrestling in, in the stables at the ranch or something, so that we get a little combat experience. Because I have no. Fucking clue what I'm doing. <laughs> you missed. I didn't miss him. What? You might be friendly right now. I don't think I am. No, he might. Oh, there it is. <laughs> now you're all dirty. <coughs> Was that, is that right? You're coughing over that? Oh, he's dead now. Oh my god. I gotta save him. Oh, he's fine. <sighs> I'm kidding. All right. Oh, that's how you break. Okay. Yeah. You just try to tie, get the ropes out of your feet. Okay. I get it. I get it. That's good to know. In case anyone tries to get me with a rope. Well, hey, Robert, you want to practice a bit of punching? Yeah, we can. Well, oh, hold on. I got a doctor bag on me. Okay, whenever you're ready. Wait, Robert, can I have some food? Uh, Wait, actually, I have pears. Never mind. There you go. What do I just, just punch him? Yeah. Uh. 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 Jesus Christ! You're gonna beat the shit out of it. Whoa! No, oh, my cowboy! Do do? Hey! There we go. No, I'm trying to put it away. There we go. <laughs> hey, Robert, Robert, hold on. No, no, no. You, need, you need to, you need, you need to reflect my attacks. You know, or, or, or reflect. Oh. You know? Yeah, like oh. that. Oh. <laughs> Did you? Are you serious? I thought it was out. <laughs> oh God. What a hook. I knocked his <laughs> ass out with one punch. <laughs> You're stupid son of a bitch. I don't have a doctor bag on me. What oh my the? God. God damn it. Can you take him to the doctor's office, Jesse, and come Are back here? Oh, fine. Can you go through my pockets or no? I can't, no. Just take him to the take him to the doctor's office, Jesse. Fine. <laughs> There's Thank some you. smelling salts in the in the back, I think. I'm just gonna oh. take you to the doctor. Yeah, I'll be I'll be here. I'm bringing Alfonso. Okay, or not. <laughs> Robert, are you okay? <coughs> that fucking horse kicked you out of my hands. I'm sorry. It's hard. Don't fall off. I'll hang on. You hang on for dear life. I 
I don't. I, I don't. Oh, know. you really are holding on for dear life. You haven't slipped off at all. <laughs> nope. I don't know shit about Red Dead fighting. So I'm glad I know R yeah, is you guard. Need to, uh, you need to practice your fighting, like blocking, and yeah. uh, not getting knocked out with one punch. Well, he punched me many times before that one, but then it was one big punch. Oh. <laughs> Watch out, I don't want to hit you. The other mine, though. My god, he's dead. <laughs> They're gonna think I killed you. Yep. That kit? Huh? That kit? No, that's. It's Robert. me, Kip! Help me! Oh, no, you're not kid. Okay, have fun. <laughs> Throw him in the mud. Alright. Throw him in the mud. Who the hell is Kit? I have no idea. <laughs> Like you caught on real fast. Uh, do I just throw you on the floor in there? Hey, hey go in the back. There's a little bed. Oh. Toss me on. So I shouldn't just throw you on the floor. No. Okay, I won't. I'll aim for the bed. This? This is a table. No, in the back. In the back, right. Oh. <laughs> And you should be able to give me some smelling salt, I believe, maybe. What? Yep. Yeah, the doctor usually has some stored around here. He's a gambling addict. His name's Doc <laughs> Calloway. He's always Aww. playing poker. That's sad. Gambling, all his, gambling all his money away. No, he seems to be rolling in the money. He's a very fancy man. Really? Yeah, extremely. How you know, do you even get your doctor license? Uh, I don't know. I think he's been running into trouble with that. He said he got in trouble for practicing without a license. Okay, well, I'll keep in mind to never come here. No, I try not to come. I feel like you'd break, make my arm worse if I broke it. Maybe, but I don't think I've met many, sir around here. The only qualified doctor I think I've ever met is uh, an indigenous fella in Strawberry. He was very kind and good at his job. Oh, this takes a while. Just smell him. Smell him harder. Oh, I just, I just need to smell it some more. <laughs> Give me that salt and vinegar. <laughs> That pepper. Wonder who Kip is. Why well, that guy was so worried about him. I don't know. That's half the fun of Valentine. People think you're someone else and you roll with it. Yeah, that Tony guy. I thought I was a lady named Peaches. Do I look like a Peaches to you? Oh, not at all. You could be uh, pineapples or oranges. <laughs> Cherries. Oh! Uh, 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 Give me your hand. There you go. All right, let's get wow. out of here. And when you when you first get up, you you you, you feel like I feel incredibly dizzy right now. So I know I can't run or jump or do nothing for a bit. You good on? Do you need a drink of water? No, I'm I'm all right. Oh, that's a stampede of horses. Oh my god! See, no one fucking hitches their horses in this goddamn town. Where's yeah, my horse? no one does. See, that's why I tell my horse to get it, get away. you are. Hop on. Is this whiskey? Yeah, this is whiskey. Whistle. Well, I mean, it came when I whistled, so. If it ain't mine, then, well. I thought whiskey was lighter, but maybe it's the rain. Might be the rain. He's a dusty, little dusty brown one. Was it this way? I think so, yeah, some body of water, the river. 
Oh yeah, it was down here. He's on the floor. Oh, no. What the hell? Go on, Jim. What happened, y'all? He's sleeping. Oh, uh, Robert, stand back. Oh, oh you bad. I have a doctor bag. Come on. I think people are eager to practice fighting because fighting can be a little scuffed, I think. It's going to go somewhere, Jesse. This is what it- this is two masters! Oh. <laughs> Alright, wake him up. Yeah. yeah. There we go. Oh, he's got a muddy butt. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's how you point. <laughs> yep. Alright, let's get you up here, Jim. Looks good on you. I know, I was thinking the same thing. Kind of looks like a big mushroom. <laughs> Maybe that's your style. A mushroom? A uh, city girl mushroom? It's a weird aesthetic I never thought of. <laughs> Why is your belt so low on your waist? How's that I'm holding up your pants? I'm a skinny girl, don't worry about it. <laughs> I don't know why that made me laugh so hard. Not enough stew in my diet, I guess. <laughs> Not enough anything in your diet except for cigarettes and whiskey. Cigarettes and whiskey. And cigars. <laughs> Seagulls? Yeah, that's all Robert does is cigarettes and whiskey. Cigarettes and wild and women. Well, I don't know. I met Wild men? What, 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 what was her accent? In Australian? New Zealand? Something like that. Uh, that's Australia. Probably. Yeah, she rescued us off a of mountain, and I got her telegram number, but it didn't work out. Oh, well, you're gonna have uh, tea with that French lady. Yeah, yeah, that's right, tea with the French you're lady. You're taking them over every continent. I'm a world traveler. What can I say? <laughs> they call you the town bicycle. Everyone gets a ride. <laughs> <laughs> Did you wake him up it. already? I'm trying. I'm trying. Smell these salts, Jim. Smell no. the bastard. Ah! <laughs> Jesus. There you go. Mm, let, me, let me wash my shelf off quickly. That's my last uh, doctor bag, so. Oh, something I want to do, as long as it don't hurt me too bad, is I kind of just want to float down river see a park and get. You can, you can, I think there's a canoe you can rent. Oh, there is. Ri there's someone down river over there. Should we go scare him? <laughs> Let's do it. Fishing pole. What? Uh, what were so you taking out? Just go in the middle of the river and just float. All right. <laughs> okay, you can't do it. You hit the shoreline. <laughs> oh, wait, wait. Wait. Oh, they're locals. <laughs> Jesus Christ! Howdy, y'all! Howdy! Got my nice little time in the river. Crash, we're not going fast, are we? Oh, we're cruising. Oh, there's a waterfall. Watch out, Jesse. Oh, hell yeah!
man. Oh my god, oh my goodness, Jim. You gotta look through your look look through your eyes. Through that's a whole different experience. That's a, that's a full on experience. Did you do that, Jesse? Yeah. Wait, what? Look your Go eyes. back in the water and look through your eyes. Oh, again, God. I'm doing that again. That, oh, that was fun. No, 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 no. no. Jesse. I know, Jesse. This is scary. Go to the very top of that waterfall again. You know, see, the good experience, go to the very top of the waterfall and do it again. Go through your eyes. It's... It's <laughs> God, do it no more. You should do it on the strawberry. The strawberry one's fucking crazy. Like the one that runs through the town? Uh, yeah. Really? I started, you like, that, drowning or? a lot when I was going through. Oh, uh, yes, but that was in the old state. It, it doesn't do in this one. It's in the oh, state. Thank God. Yeah, go, go, yeah, go up there and do it again. <laughs> I, I want to, but it would take it too long for me to go up there because I'm hurt. Oh yeah, oh shit. Between me and you, I let her do it. I let her beat me. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna let her do it. Okay. Oh, wee! Ah! The stream is brought to you by Fireball Whiskey. <laughs> what you think? This is kind of fun. <laughs> <laughs> Why travel by force when you can travel by lake? I'm pretty sure this is. <laughs> Bob up and down like a fish. Hell yeah. <laughs> This is how we're getting. <laughs> this is how we're, this how we're getting to where we're going, baby. Oh, the fact that Robert. <laughs> and he's just dead. This is still an experience. and I'm being a jackass. Yeah, Robert, you're not, you're not moving very fast, buddy. Nope. Head off. Oh shit, do you? Yeah, I, I need to leave a little bit earlier than I thought. Oh shit, okay. Oh yeah, it is around that town. I think next time we should find a big waterfall and go down it. Absolutely. Well, next time you're around, if you are around later, later Probably tonight, later even, tonight, yeah. Yeah, then we can I'll show you around that, that uh, moonshine thing. Oh yeah, yeah. I was gonna I say your pocket's full of mash. You should either store that in the bank or something. But she has to go right now. Just go ahead and yeah. take, yeah. take a nap on those bushes right there. Okay. All right, see you around, Jessica's not meeting bye up bye. with you again. Bye-bye. All right, Robert, come here. We're going we're gonna, to we're gonna find like a, like a little lake or something. All right. Because I didn't realize how fun this was until I've done it. <laughs> so what are you going to do with the lake? Well, no, no, not a lake, sorry. Like a, like a little str like a little fast stream or something. There's Cumberland Falls, or is that what we just went down? Is this it? 
Yeah, this is I don't... Cumberland Falls right here. Yeah, this is the fall right here. Oh, it shouldn't be that big, right? Uh, it's, a, it's a good size. I mean, it's good for salmon here. All right, well, let's do it then. Let's, let's, let's look at it first. Robert, listen. Don't spoil it. Just do it. Don't spoil it for yourself. Just right, enjoy right. the ride. There's a secret cave behind the fall. Is that right? Yeah. It's very tiny. Uh, yeah, yeah, very tiny. I know some big ones, though. I'm not scared, <laughs> Robert. I think I know what waterfall decisions I'm scared because I'm afraid it's my hurt us real badly. Oh, uh, I hope not. All right, here we go. All right, I can't do it. Oh, no! <laughs> Oh no! Oh, no. <laughs> what did I have on me? I had a gun, knife, a book with notes on the fucking bank robbery. Jim, I don't feel so good. No, Robert, I don't feel no, so good. No, no. No! no! I'm coming! No! Did it just sink? Oh, I learned this trick. It's gonna make me float up. Oh, Jim, where are you? Oh, hey, there you are. <laughs> Great minds think alike. All right, let's go. Uh, hey, let's... buddy. <laughs> hey. Oh, another rock. Ow! Uh, uh, I think I'm sinking. Am I sinking? I could try this a couple more times and hope I get noticed so like someone can pick us up at the doctor. Um, but otherwise I can just respawn and um, lose everything I had on me, which truly wasn't much. My meeting's not until 10.30, so I got plenty of time to go around. Ah! I'm flowing! Things happen to good people. Why? <laughs> Any fisher oh, people no. out there? Help. 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 Help us. Help. Help. I'm sinking. Oh no. Sandbar. Oh, I appreciate you. Look at that clip. Oh, about a rock. Hell. Uh. I'm inside of a rock. I think. Oh no. God damn it. I'm floating. What could have happened to me? I'm 
made my mistakes. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> serrated jazz journey. <laughs> Oh, I don't want to keep doing this. It's just sketchy. All right, I'm gonna have to take the L. Up, up, uh. Offer a bit of fun. Woo! Oh no, I'm sinking. But am I? Is anyone out there? A good Samaritan. Last attempt. Oh, oh come on, shallow. This is where we're at. Let me find out about some elevator music. What is this? Oh shit, what did we go on, dude? I don't fancy. F what the? Oh!
You're never gonna believe what time it is. Is anyone out there? Hello? Oh no, I'll lose all that wheat. Shit. I guess if I was doing the, the moonshine run, I'd... I need to make a criminal. Because I really want to keep playing with this crew, but it'll be hard to if I if Robert becomes up. But I think it would be really hilarious to have like just like a you know chaotic kind of character. I just gotta come up with a good concept or personality or ambition. And a voice. Pretty much a voice makes it. A single death that wasn't, I mean, wildlife kills me, like, yeah, wolves, bears, um, just my own stupidity of, like, um, riding on the tracks, and there's, like, narrow parts of the track where you can, you know, your horse will lose its footing and fall off. Um, but yeah, I've never had, like, I've never been robbed and shot or killed by any players or anything like that. Hey, Valentine. Hey, Strawberry. I mean, I love Strawberry, but... I mean, that's okay. That's why I travel light. I just had a shitty notebook and, like, nothing in it. I had a notebook. Smiles like Josie. Uh, I had a notebook, like six bucks. I had my canteen, that's annoying, and my gun and knife and all that shit. But beyond that, it's a little bit. Yeah, okay. Just, Can you hear me? Yeah, I hear you. Um, just one check in. You didn't look like you're walking all too well. Um, yeah, no some uh, local mountain fella helped me into the, the doctor's office. I took a spill down uh, the river, I think, and yeah, I'm just not feeling too good. Oh, shit. Do you need any money for telegrams or anything? Yeah, you're absolutely right. Yeah, do you have two quarters, yeah. please, actually? <laughs> you're, you're okay here. Oh, you don't, you, you don't have to give me that much. Yes. Oh, I thank you. I really appreciate it. Of course. It. Is really it? Wait. Mm hmm I forget your name. Robert Fisher? Yes, yes, yes. That's the one. Yep. Mm-hmm. Oh, um, did we run into each other in the bayou, maybe? Uh, no, um, I was playing piano that one time that Valentine. Yes, okay, yes, that's right, yeah, that was awesome. Yeah, yeah. That was yeah. wonderful. Thank you, yeah, um. They, they've, they've had a talent show recently in San Denis, but it seems to run infrequently, not really on a normally mm -hmm. slated schedule. I, yeah, um, I missed the first one. 
Mm-hmm. I went to it. I think, I honestly, I think you you would have done amazing because I think they had one fellow on piano, but he was more of an off stage personality, if you catch my meaning. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Well, um, happy that you're okay, assuming that a local doctor looked at you. Um, don't worry about the 15 bucks, you know, just. Make sure that you're uh, able to get you some food, some water, you know, telegram, whatever, you know. Yeah, absolutely right. No, I, I, I truly appreciate it. Thank you so much. Of course. You stay safe. You too. Uh, I'm such an asshole. I never remember anyone's names. I would love to see. Yeah, more about the snipe folk cover. That's how, that's how it's done. You hit him with the flowery language. Robert's the uh, Mexican cowboy. Uh, he gave me money. Uh, what do I need? Shit. I got a knife.
We just had pizza coming up. Oh boy. Fuck is even
black and white, and if they are gray, the coin gets You missed the question us. earlier as I was getting introduced. Everybody. How they need ballot, bro. I think things will go well tonight, bitch. I do. Alright, let me see. Let me take a look. My my mother is uh, also a trick, so. You got a <clears throat> you got a RSVP. Uh, I did, so I'm sure I'd probably be at a stomach. You okay? Yeah, I'm fine. <laughs> All right. Thank you, cousin. I'm gonna eat my pizza. Uh, I'm gonna make Robert right again. Or whole again.
or something because I feel like there's a certain etiquette for a tournament where they won't do that to you. Oh, it fell asleep. Well, well, yeah, I mean, or being somewhere close. Marathon, if you get things wrong now. Hello, mister. Whoa. Whoa, is that Richard? Uh huh. Oh, what's up, Richard? You being a poker shark? Mm hmm. Richard, card shark. But, yeah, but losing. Do. What's with all the two pairs on the board? Yeah. It's like the third time that's happened in the last five hands. I'm going to have to say no to this one. Richard didn't really have anything. But Richard only bet a dollar, so it's fine. Yeah, some smart betting there, Richard. Richard likes his new Rhodes deck. <clears throat> you got yourself a deck? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I got the Rhodes and the Animal one. They're real nice. I like the clubs on the Rhodes. Yeah, I feel like you always I'm have to go ahead and clean up the red line. Too. Don't need no pass out people here. Fearless. 
Uh, yeah. Mr. Gambling Mr. Here, Big Hat going to play the poker? Let's see how this goes. Mm. Oh, no. Tempting. Tempting. But I actually got business too tonight. So, uh, Just going around advertising the raffle. Uh, $200 a ticket. A uh, chance to win a pump action shotgun. For uh, Garrett's gunnery there. Figured I'd go around advertise. Had business. Crumple that hat and maybe I'll take you seriously. What's that? You crumple that hat. Crumple it. Why? Crumple that hat. Check me. No, I don't think I There's win, only friend. one big hat around here and mine's bigger. <laughs> Wait, technically, yours is a headdress. Well, Jimmy's say, wearing a, a dress mm, on the head. It's a headdress. It's got you there. Yeah, Jimmy. Don't you know we'll the die. difference? We'll die. I'll, t I'll crumple your hat. That's where your organs are. I know why your hat's so big. Uh, no, actually, you, keep you just have a loaded gun inside. inside this hat in case someone tries to I have a loaded right. gun inside my arm. Uh, I put it in there with a knife. Ooh. That's that's yeah, a not a doctor for that. Yeah. It hurts. It hurts. Um, it, it pisses some kind of white ooze every now and again. So I uh, really I just need to poke you in that arm then, and you only got two arms, so I get two chances. Richard will pay to see the ripper. Yeah, you know that doesn't sound too healthy. Anyways, uh, yeah, if you gotta want to do a ticket on, stop by the gunnery. Otherwise, uh, just stopping by, seeing who's here. Oh, yeah, unfortunately, it's a little too expensive for my taste, but maybe once I get some more money, you do another raffle in the future, perhaps I will. Oh, yeah, we, we do raffles every two months. Well, oh, we okay. We did something different this time. Figure, you know, pump action shotgun. Figure some people might want it rather than selling it outright. Uh, good odds so far. So, y'all want one? Stop on by. I'll take much of your time up. Y'all have a good night there, Jim. All righty, sir. Is the pump action shotgun yeah. customized? Yep, heavily customized, about two thousand dollars on it. Oh wow! Sweet yep. Jesus, that's it's good a deal. Beautiful thing. We, I call it the Golden Eagle. It is a uh, blue Ooh, steel with nice. the gold accents. Oh Ooh. wow! This sounds really nice. Richard just doesn't have the monies. <laughs> no, that's completely fine. But hey, maybe you win big at poker there. You never know. Hopefully, Best hopefully luck, Richard takes all the monies. Hopefully you do. Take care, see you there, Richard. My. <clears throat> I entered that raffle, so I better. How many you? How many tickets you buy? Just one. Yeah, I was thinking about maybe buying one, but he said uh, twenty-five people are bought in so far, so the odds aren't that. Well, uh, twenty-five, but how many of them bought five tickets outright? You know. Yeah, yeah, you're right about that. So you got to think. There's at. at at least 25 at most, like 125 tickets in there. Yeah, worth a shot though, who knows? Maybe that one ticket will win it for you. That's right, that, that's my thought, you never know. <clears throat> it's, an, it's anonymous though, so you never know who actually wins until they start flaunting the gun off. All right, right. Mm. Well, that's a mighty raise right there, Richard. It sure is. Richard didn't raise. Richard checked. Thank you. Uh, didn't see Richard knock on the table? You gotta buy the pot, huh? I'll let you. Okay. God damn. You know what? I'm willing to find out. All right. Got to play to win. All right. Oh, sweet Jesus. Let's see where this goes. Might as well. Oh, wow. Well, I'm pissed now. I would have had two pair. I would have had a king high straight if I if I stayed in. God damn it! Let's see what we got. 
Indeed. Oh! Yeah. I should have stayed. I should have stayed. Darn it. Damn it. Yeah, damn. The river! Uh. Take it. Take it. Well, good job there, Richard. Now, Richard, poor. I'm sorry, Richard. Wait. Who won there? You won. Oh, I won. Sometimes I forget how to count. Dang, ponies are going wild outside. Something going on out there. You know, I'll keep it interesting. Why not? push me all in like that. You're going to leave me a dollar, huh? Thanks. <laughs> you know, I don't think you have that full house. I really don't, but I don't know if it's worth $30 to see. Challenge him if you don't think he got it. Yeah, challenge him. Well, I don't like the way he said there it is. Well, you know what? He, 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 he could have been fucking around. He could have not I, He been. might have it. All right. <laughs> all right. See? <laughs> What I tell you, he didn't have bad shit. I, see, I was, I wasn't sure. You know, it could have gone either way. Really. Oh, I was counting on you to fall for that. There it is. God, <laughs> you pulled out the fucking no, I, see, honestly, and if anything, your shit. If you didn't say there it is, I probably would have folded. Oh, oh god damn it! Jesus. I knew he was damn. bluffing. Soon I think it was a bit too. That was a bit too <laughs> obvious. I appreciate the effort though. Oh yeah. You you almost had me there. I was I was literally about to fold out. I, I don't know. I that was a tough one. I'm like someone's got something better to me. And I was right out of crew going heard the fucking the cowboys. God damn, that was a hell of a hand. That was a good hand, hell yeah. There it is. Hey, don't be saying that again. Uh, he yeah. probably do have an ace <laughs> this bullshit. time, though. Gonna, I'm gonna call that right now. Some bullshit. Yeah, no, I, that one's that's too scary. <laughs> I think I think he's really got it this time though. Yeah, okay. It's a Valentine. You don't need to play a big money game every time. 
what? You know what? It's eleven bucks. Just go in on it. Who cares? He's either got eleven dollar all in. Let's see how this goes. Now just check it through for him. Why not? Oh, yeah, oh, we're, uh, I we're I guess we're 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 all right. I hope you go a good kicker. Oh, you got oh, three. Oh, you fucking Jesus. got three of a kind. Yeah, good job. Yeah. Right. You're back in it. What the fuck is that? It's the the boobies, the birds. <clears throat> I think now we have a game. <laughs> you got real lucky on that one. You got the Jimmy hand. Yep. You got the pocket jimmies. Pocket jimmies? And yeah, let's see where this goes. Howdy there. I think we're about to hear some courtship going on. <laughs> Are you enjoying this sunny rain we're having? Do you, do you like music? Are you? Well, I mean... Do you like dancing? I guess. Do you like pretty flowers? It is quite a... Do you like weather? It's raining here, I guess. <laughs> Who doesn't like weather? God damn it. Oh, I knew. I called him. God damn. Richard? Oh, God damn. What the hell? God damn it. Richard? Is that you? Uh -huh. Richard? Uh -huh. Hi. This is when I'm about to enjoy some other folks' no, conversation. Okay. This comes up in my lap. <clears throat> no, sir. We ain't dropping no eaves at this table. Uh, oh, okay. Uh, that's too bad, I guess. Mm. <laughs> what? <laughs> Good God. Sweet Jesus. You look kind of soft, but anyway, you're not that hard. Well, this is more entertaining than poker itself. <laughs> yeah, honestly, it is. Richard ain't hard. Oh shit! Sorry about that. I'm too. I was too entranced by the conversation. I didn't even realize it was my hand. Oh, it's forgivable, honestly. <laughs> Richard isn't hard enough. He called him soft. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you know what? This is interesting. I'm, I'm, I'm willing. I'm willing for this. Yeah. Oh, sweet Jesus. God damn it. Hey. Nice hey, hand. Oh. That's a nice Thank hand. Thank you. I thought someone had that flush there. That was scary. I didn't get yeah. to That hard on the river was scary. That's a good one. Congratulations. But, but, but you have two issues in your name. And rich food. Does one be rich and then ard? He does have a point. It wouldn't be rich hard. It'd be rich odd. <laughs> Rick hard. Rick hard. Yeah, exactly. Huh. By the way, pardon me if I never introduced myself. My name's Lafayette. Who might y'all be? Ooh, I'm Clarence Crudewater. Oh, Robert Fisher. Pleasure to meet you. Likewise. How to miss? Out of there. Uh, I'm doing pretty well. I with this. No. You know what? I can tell you with this kind of thing. Yeah, let's we'll see what's going. Yeah. Had a ma'am. Are you willing to play with us? Oh. You don't like my suit? Yeah. You know what? Let's see where the road less travel takes me. 
Yeah, let's see the, uh, oh, yeah. well, let's travel some roads. Some on it, you know? Oh, sweet dude, that's how he laughs? Yeah, Richard, he a peculiar one. Mm -hmm. That's infectious. I that's reckon Ri is. Richard's harder than most. I've seen him walk up to Banditos and Van Horn without fear. Wait, sweet. Did you fault? Wait, I did. How could you? Not Van Horn, um, Andersburg, excuse me. I just had a pair of eights. Oh, I don't that's think it was going to give him anything. That's even Somebody's got that ace play. or at least a jack. That's even harder. Fellas in Ansburg, the hell with that. Yeah, we were there looking for some cannibals and uh, ran across uh, some fella named Gavin Summers or something. Mm -hmm. oh. Never heard either of them, one of them, but I know fellas in Ansburg, you ain't to be trapped. <laughs> good God. God. Yeah, good yeah. thing I folded then. Sometimes. Well done. Sometimes it feels so good to win. But honestly, what is that, buying? That was a very uh, I mean, we're, we're all kind of all over the place. Uh, two of us are at about 100 and two of us are at 30. You could yeah, start at 20. Uh, I'd probably start at 100 or 50. Yeah, 50 honestly, would be good. I, I mean, plate. honestly, you could buy them with like 20, 30 and still probably yep. make some money. Yep. Or lose it fast. It really depends. Looking forward to playing with you. I literally had a dollar left of my name, and now I'm yeah, you you move, you went up, you went up good. Honestly, I'm seeing where this goes. Oh. Okay, that's nice. Mm -hmm. Sorry. Yeah, no problem. Take you ought back. to be, you ought to be, Jimmy. Okay. Yeah, you oh, I'll take it back then. Yeah, you ought to be. Shame on you. Shame. Jimmy, that man's wearing your hat. And you see that man? He just walked in the alley next to the bathhouse. Well, Jimmy ain't even, he ain't even listening to me, God damn it! The bathhouse scares me. I heard some things going on in there. Yeah, there's always something going on there, I'll tell you that much. Yeah. Makes me nervous. What are you doing with uh, yourself, Richard? Who's, uh, whose bed is it? Wait, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, I was, I'm, I'm thinking. What have you been up yeah, to? I feel like it's faster. been a long time since I've seen you. Mm hmm Huh? It's been a long time since I've seen you, Richard. Is that Rupert? Yeah. Oh, hi, Rupert. Richard hey. didn't know that was Robert the whole time. Yeah, no, this is Robert. Robert is Robert. Richard is Richard. Oh, Richard is Richard. Richard is goddamn Richard, that's for sure. Richard lost all the monies. What? Uh, I thought um, you said you made a good amount of money today. He just lost them, I think. You lost it all. No, oh, just fifty dollars. Oh well. That's not bad. Yeah, you know, I'll see what's going on. Nope. Oh. Yeah, I've been all about to buy you looking for them check. cannibals. Still haven't found much though. You mean Whoa. Wendigos? Wendigos? No. Yeah. Oh, same. Robert. Um. Um. Remember the place that um, Robert and Scarlet, gentleman's chick, and Craig, and Richard went to it's with the with pile of skulls. Yeah. yeah, yeah. That's Katarina's Oh, house. the king took it. Really? And who's Katarina? Oh, you would hate if the queen came Katarina, here too. Katarina, um, she I does the tarot reading. Yeah, I was looking I was, for that oh, queen. You found I was her? waiting on the queen you found too. The fortune you would have me. Uh huh. There, and and man. she took Richard to um her cab and and said that Richard can stay there anytime man, Richard wanted. Oh, I'd like to meet her sometime. She really Bobby, nice. Why is this man naked? Yeah. Wait, who naked, naked? Man, I have need of you. You are. I don't have a problem. I'm not naked. Uh -huh. you, you is looking kind of naked. You're naked. naked. We need you. Naked. We need You're your like services, naked man. Quickly, there's a man on danger. What the, how the hell am I naked? I just I put know. on all my clothes. What the yeah. hell? Well, well, they must have slipped right off you. You, took a, you must have been <laughs> putting Julian. that crude water Julian. body butter. Maybe had a bath issue. Hold up. Yeah, you must have put on that crude water body butter and it was so gosh darn slick, your goddamn clothes slid right off you. <laughs> No, but there's some cannibal uh, calling themselves the night folk in the bayou. So that's what I was looking into. 
Now, uh, pardon me for intruding on this topic. Mm -hmm. but the night folk is scary. Mm -hmm. There's cannibals about. In the That's bayou. probably here. Yeah, north. Yeah, uh, there's some in tall trees that everyone seems to know about, but yeah, uh, that that's what I heard about. They blew up the fucking chair's office here today. They fucking hey? did. Mm -hmm. Jesus Christ! They blew up the side door. What the fuck? They blowing up the sheriff's office for? Who is that? that mm -hmm. Uh, Doctor Creed. Oh my goodness! I have an interview with that person. What? Yeah. I have, I have to interview them for the Saints Daily. Did they sign up for the interview? Yeah. We'll talk after this. When is the interview? I don't know. I have to meet about it tonight. Yeah, let's see where this goes. You want um Richard to come to help with the gun? With the interview, probably, yeah. I don't know what to, what to expect. Apparently, they lead a gang of cannibals, so. I'll raise you. I'm gonna go. I need to go telegram somebody. I'll be back. Oh, he's leaving the money. He's leaving the table with all oh, the money. No, $15. Oh, no. oh God. <laughs> get, his, get his chips. Get his chips. God damn it. That's poker. Nice. Yeah, nice hand. Yeah. So, cannibals are a real problem this year, state. I guess before it's I came here, it was serial killers, but now cannibals are the soup of the day. Hmm. Is that a pun, or is that just coincidentally you? This is a pun. Put it in that way. Yeah. <laughs> man, man soup, apparently. Man soup. Yeah, man soup. I don't know. Me and Richard found a pile of skulls in the middle of the, the bayou, so I don't know what they're doing with them. Probably big soups. Yeah, sweet Jesus. In the mm -hmm. middle of the bayou, That's, um, really? That is Katarina's house, and um, she says that pile of skulls is because um, she feeds the bad men to the alligators. Oh, yeah, she does. She did tell me that as well. Uh, okay. Folks being fed the gators? Think well, so. Uh, we found gator. A gator kept in a cage. God damn. Well, remind me never to. Richard collects the there. plants for Katarina because she makes potions. That's mighty nice of you, Richard. Uh huh. She makes the love potions and the luck potions. Ooh, Wait. love potion. Yeah. Did you say love potions? What the hell's a love potion? Mr. Cridwater could use the love potion on uh, Christine. Yeah, that's well, that's what I was thinking. But I don't really, I don't rightly like the idea of kind of forcing know. someone to love me. I don't know. I, I don't know who any of those two are. Maybe she already loves you. Just need the love potion to realize. Mm, yeah, that's a good point. Richard's a good salesman. Yeah, uh -huh. he sure is. Mm hmm. And she'll do tarot reading for ten monies. I have seen someone with the they were they were guzzling down what they called a luck potion at this very table actually. Yeah, did it do anything for him? I didn't see it. Oh, <laughs> well. Richard need to um go fart outside. Uh, Thank yeah, God you had the know. decency to not do it next to me. Yeah, mighty polite of you. Enjoy yourself. Don't fall too hard now. You might get something extra. I might pull some. <laughs> That's true. That's happened to me before. Trust me. Well, it's happened to a lot of folks I've ever heard of. And pardon me, ma'am. Uh, what's what's with all the pairs off the off the flop today? Getting a lot of pairs. Yeah, that, that's a very bizarre. Well, look who it is. When are you talking with that cannibal guy? When? I don't know. I don't know yet. You should uh, you should interview uh, Red Shirt of Tall Trees about him. 
Uh, Jonathan, he's at the post office right now, but I think he's dealing with something because I just went to go fucking telegram and he was just standing there. Or is he hot on his trail? I know he hunts cannibals. Uh, he might be. I don't know. You should talk to him. There's a fellow that hunts cannibals. Yes. Yeah. I'd like to meet this fellow. Well, he's it. Yeah, I mean, he's dealing with something right now. He said one of his friends might be dead, so I wouldn't. Hmm. I no. would not. I'm in the middle of a game. So I'm not I'll pay fire to see the river. Yeah, you know, I'm interested. Yeah, I'm gonna check. Oh, well, nice. please. Hell of a hand. Good job. Thank you. By the way, I don't think I introduced myself. I need black fire yet. Nice to meet you. We met from the Oh, that's right. That's right. So we it's uh, the other day. Lafayette, yeah, Enola, right. and uh, I'm sorry. What, what was your name one more time? Uh, Robert Fisher. Robert. Robert. That's right. To see you again, Nola. How you been? Um, um, been better. Uh, well, I'm half happy to hear that. Is there a funny little doctor in here? Yeah, is it a doctor in here? No, I haven't seen one. Is it a doctor in here? The no. A fair no. Man is dying. Wait, who dying? Happens Who's dying? Day. Someone named Man? Yeah, yep. I guess so. Man is dying. I hate to see it. Who, who gonna name their kid Man? Yeah, probably and someone named Uncreative. Lady. What was that about pears on the flop? They don't stop coming. And they, and they don't, don't stop, stop coming. coming. And then they hit the ground running. <laughs> well, shit, if, they, if I keep getting these shit of hands, I might hit the ground running too. Yeah, fold on this. Nah, I feel bad. Hands. Can't walk away with all this. <sighs> yeah, check that. Woo yeah, I didn't have shit. I was at three two. Hell of a hand. I mean I'm pretty much just checking it out till somebody raised. Nope. Oh, that is the name of the game. Let's see where it goes. Anybody want to buy a Grand Corgan deck? Uh, I already got one. I got two of them now. I just, I just made just that out of deck. One. Yeah. Oh, you're trying to sell me a dog. Shut up. <laughs> How much you selling for one of those decks? Uh, for Grand Corgan, I, I, I sell it for like a hundred, hundred and fifty. Too rich for my blood, unfortunately. What kind of deck is that? Offering, the Grand Corgan and like a, a red back, and it almost looked like somebody drew on it. But I mean, at the end of the day, if you kind of like the rip off version of Van Horn deck, there you go. Oh, okay. Uh, I'll hold off for the road. But yeah, any like any deck, any decks oh, you man, uh. You can have that one. Any decks you you uh, see around the crossing, it always gonna be around a hundred plus. Yeah, one hundred is actually a good deal for that. Deck. That's very good. Yeah. 
Yeah, the only reason why I say 100, 150 is because, I mean, that 50 going towards the uh, hard on work it take to go grab them. And it does take a while to get them on. I, I mean, I get, a about a, I get about a deck and a half every day. Yeah, I have a pretty good route myself. I just go around uh, in a loop. You know, Valentine down to uh, Flat Neck Station, down to Rhodes, uh, up to Emerald's, Emerald Ranch, and then back up to Valentine. I go from Valentine to Strawberry to Rose to uh, to Blackwater and so on and so forth. Hmm, Blackwater. I only know of one down there. There are a few of them over there. There are actually supposed to be like six or seven of them over there, but I don't know where most... I, I know where most of them are. I don't know where all of them are. I know of nine right here in Valentine, and I think there's like eight, or eight to ten in Rose as well. Yep. I know where all of them in Rose. I know where all of them in Valentine are. Um... There are also some on the way over to Rose. There's also some on the way over to Saint Denis, so on and so forth. If you see that little rundown uh, church over there on the way to Saint Denis, stop there. There are like five of them over there. Oh, all right. I'll be sure to check that out. There are two of them in uh, one of the buildings. Um, and then if you go if you go over that Emerald yeah, Ranch and everything, they're Out on the this. way to Valentine. There another uh there another house right there that have two of them in What's there up, too. Richard? Yeah, you raising again, huh? Um, when is the meeting? So you have what meeting? Uh, an hour from now or so. But they, I'm not meeting uh. with the person or anything yet. I'm just, this is just this is just like a pre meeting where I'm just figuring out what's going. What you got? You got that ten? I mean the the king? What you got? Oh. I don't know what I got. I folded a while ago. Oh, that ain't you. Privets. Yeah, it is you. What the hell are you talking about? I don't know what you're talking about. How is the game going? Lafayette's been right now. Hey, Richard, you're gonna you take to the telegram. Okay. okay. Yeah. Sure. Another what? I got a Grand Corgan from that last deck I made. You know what, fuck it. I think you got a queen or something, but whatever. I got. I'm. Um. Yep, you were right. You the one with the, yep. the red back that kind of looked like Van Horn a little bit, but... I was it, just hoping for that, uh, happen. that 10. Oh, I don't know what that one is. Yeah, that was a chaotic um, flop, I will we'll say. See. God damn. Yeah, I'll go ahead. Things are even I'll go ahead and, uh, I'll throw some money on the table, even and I'll show you I'm at the bottom okay. of this barrel. Uh, gentlemen and miss, do you mind the visor down? No, not at all. Your money's Hello, good here, Clint. friend. Yeah. I'm not How you doing, Dora? I am doing the good, huh? Good, good. Yeah. How much is Barney? This table is there. Oh, you're probably good with it. It's low as 20. It's whatever you want, really. Oh, okay. Well, I have the fun order then. Okay, okay. Alright, we got a full game. You gonna oh, win, Julie? Get up after this hand. Uh, maybe I'd you're not. Yeah, you are, Julie. Julie, you gonna win? I need to get up if you don't want it. You know, if anybody is looking for a card deck to buy, I have Valentine. Uh, not Valentine. I have Worlds and Blackwater. Ooh, Blackwater's a good one. That's the booby oh, deck. This is booby deck. You like the, the boobies? I'll sell what's, it uh, for you. What's Rhodes no, I got one, at? actually. Uh, Rhodes is going at about two to 300 right now, so I, I do, for you, low end, 200. Oh, uh, Fyodor, I love you. Uh, yeah, honestly, I you know what? Uh, I, I, I honestly, yeah, we, we pretty much will. It's pretty much whenever I uh, either bust out of this game or win, I don't know. Either, either way, uh, you know, I Rhodes is your name on. Interesting affairs. Oh, how long? Oh, when was that? It was nice playing with you, Enola. Mm -hmm. Good to see you again. This is nice, nice playing. playing with you. Gee, that's fun. See you around. Do you want to know something funny? What? I say it is nice playing, but I did not play with her, huh? You didn't know you had a funny bone in you, door. Well, of course I have funny bone. I have so many joke. <laughs> do you want to hear one of my favorites? Yeah, I do. I, I really do. Why 
do you want to know why I had Russian dolls? What? Why? They are so full of themselves. Eh. Oh, oh. Oh, I get it. Yeah, because they they uh they no, put they one inside of another and then they put another one inside of that one. Good job, guys. That is good good very good. Very Cannibal good. dolls. Oh, look at look at Richard over there. Look at Richard getting more money out of his bank. Like his oh, his oh, name is Rich. Or... Oh, I think he's just odd right now. He ain't got too much money. Wait, what? What happened? He's telling me he's a poker shark though. He's cleaned out tables. He's not bad. He, he is pretty good. You know the funny thing is, everybody, there, everybody who come to this table and say that they poker sharks and really good at poker always end up busting out. No, him really I fast. believe. Anyone else I wouldn't believe for him, but him, him I do. But I think he's one of those savants where like he's really good at poker, but god awful at everything else. I'm gonna have to fold on this one. No, I think, no. I think that's good. Is he whispering? I can't hear him. He's a little, a little bit, a little yeah. Quiet. Yeah, I'm just saying that I haven't fold and that was that was gonna be it for me. Are you ready for her to come down? Oh yeah, that's All it for you, it. Lafayette. Yeah, she god damn. Right. Oh rest in peace, my friend. It was a pleasure. Wait, pleasure. Yes. Pleasure's all mine. It was good day. Oh nice door, this you. is a door, this is a Grand Corgan. Oh, okay. Oh, How much are you dope. selling this for? This does Take care. Hundred and hundred and fifty. Take care. Hundred and fifty, you say? Yeah. Deal. I will buy it from you. <laughs> it okay. looks like they, they kind of messed up the the suits a bit. No, I mean, to be honest, I like it. I just don't play with it. It's got character, I will say. I mean, think about it. It's it's pretty much a Van Horn deck, but red. No. Hey, I will buy it from you for the absolute sure. Okay. I mean, up to you. No, don't. I got hey. I got two of them, so that's why I'm I'm trying to get rid of it. Oh, what are you I doing, see you what cheeky son of a bitch, uh, Richard? You gonna sit down? Hmm? What are you doing? Mm -mm. Richard, you no. lost enough money. Oh, oh yeah, there's good to know when stop. But if you do want to join, you can lose the rest of your money. We can go fishing and make it back. Mm -hmm. Richard, or you lost the money. What you planning on doing for the rest of the day, there, Richard? Um, Richard gonna help Robert with the meeting for security. Where? Mm -hmm. are you coming? I'm not meeting with anyone that needs to care. I'm just meeting with my boss at the Saints Daily. She's a nice lady. I'm not meeting with Dr. Creed yet. Somebody oh, them, but okay. Then Richard don't know. You're just standing here yes. doing nothing. This is good. You are good company, all right, Sean? Yeah, you are a great company. Richard, uh, has been, uh, have you been doing more Rainbow Rocks or no? Mm -hmm. Richard did a bunch of more Rainbow Rocks and then um got to... Um, got to... Uh, uh, um, 1,000 monies for a new horse. Oh, what kind of horse do you get, Richard? The Roadster. Oh. It's really fast. That's pretty cool. I don't know if I, I don't, I think I'm going to fold this hand, Richard. I don't think this is a good hand. Oh, no. Oh, hey, okay. you do what you need to do, huh? It is good to, good to know when to fold them. <laughs> no. No. So, Clint, you have king? Mm, I don't know. You got the king. I do. Oh, do you? No. Don't drink either. I do not. <laughs> you, you got me. Oh, you called me. What did he... I mean, it's very possible that both of y'all could have. Yeah, no, that's what I was I, worried about, and I didn't I have, have that four too, so I'm <laughs> shitting myself. But I had one pair of eights, so I was really going on the uh, on the hopping, the joking. What is it called when you are not when you are joking but not bluff? Okay, yes, that one. Doing a big goof. Hey, I told you what I have, huh? Okay. Shit. He's probably got like Jack too. No, I, I actually, I, I'll tell you what I have if you want. No, it's all right. You I'll tell, tell you me. after flop. He ain't gotta tell me. Should be I'll tell after flop. Hello, Daddy. 
How you doing? Good. How's you? I'm right, doing. Richie. You Let's know, just you in. Go, Richard. running around trying to find right, some people. What's, what's, your, what's your name? My name is Marianne. You're what's your name? Go, Marianne. Richard's yeah, name is Richard. You call me this sort of trap to good job. You think that I know anything about what's going on anywhere? Well, did you see anything crazy? Huh? Is the game right? Um, Richard was then um, Richard lost all the money. I'd want it to round it down to like even number, you know? Richard's usually really good and takes all the monies, but not this time. No. Yeah. I don't know what's going on here. Who was looking for Maple? I try. I was. Jimmy's He's outside. I know he is very fast. Okay. Maple. Yeah. It's Maple. Maple, one of the uh, deputies or something. I got a friend that's trying to become a deputy or sheriff or some sort. Richard, I'll go mining with you after this game if you want. I'm looking for a sheriff myself, not a deputy. She owns the bathhouse over there. She has Mr. Richard's stuff. What do you have? Okay. I have two pair of ten. I have I have two tens in hand. I'm gonna let you know that you're gonna have to pay to find out. That's fine. Cause I got the nuts. What is the nuts? The he's half flush. Oh, I do not. I do not really understand poker. So this is all new. Adam Maple. Hey, Adam Maple. Yeah, you remember that thing I was talking to you about in uh in in Blackwater? I had a friend that trying to become a a, a sheriff. A deputy, yeah, or officer, yeah. Yeah. Um. What what the proper procedure for him? Uh, uh, I told you they gotta go through the marshals first. Oh. oh okay. Yeah, they gotta go through the marshals, and, uh, and then the marshals will reach out to them. About so he he just got put in his application and everything. Yep, he's got to go ahead and do that, and then uh, then he'll end up getting a interview with the sheriff. Then he'll start as a cadet if the interview goes well and everything. Does he need a reference or something? He doesn't need one. Uh, I think maybe having one helps. But you know, oh, okay. a, you know if there's any sheriffs about Mr. Maple? Yeah, Lewis is here. Oh, is she here right now? Yep. Oh, okay. Okay, well, I'm, I mean, that, that pretty much all the information I kind of needed. I, I f didn't even hear you say all the other stuff. Oh, yeah, no problem. Yeah, they, they got to go through the marshals first before uh, for anything. I got you. Right. Uh, as you a know, side note... Do you uh, know if, if anybody... Lewis is available for a quick chat, by the way? Yeah, probably. Uh, if anybody all can right. hear me right now, uh, we are going to be clearing out horses, so if you do not want your horse roped up and sent out of town, please come out and stable it. I am going. Uh, I oh okay. I was going to go all in, but uh, no. Yeah, I'll be right back. I need to have a quick chat while the opportunity is here. But don't worry, I got plenty of money to spend in. here. I have twenty one dollars. Hold out. Big. Yeah, I ain't know. I'm gonna let you know if you go all in. I'm probably ain't gonna call it. I'm probably. Gonna call it. Oh well, you call. That's fine. City music, you're not doing it. Yep. There we go. Uh, ask that you stable it up. There's a lot of horses in town right now. Like it. Helps keep the dust down. Easy. <laughs> what? From the triangle. Person. Probably be me because I have to go respond to something. Yeah, probably. What's that? What's what? We gotta respond. I don't know. I'm sure it'll be something though. Yeah. I'm sure it'll be something.
Oh, the galley. Oh. Is, that's exactly like my oars, but I don't think it is. Hmm. Oh, sir, would you like to buy the road stack still? Yeah, actually, yeah, yeah. Let's yeah, make it my horsey. How much you buying that road stack from him for? He said 200. Is that good? Yeah, that's pretty good. I've been hearing people selling them for like three, three fifty. Oh wow! All right, that's not bad. I like the look of it personally, but it, you know what? It, it blend in with the felt a little too much for me. <sighs> oh god! What the hell? Why? Why? Yeah, I think fun. I just like need to just check my me. shoe. Y'all right? Yep. Y'all all right? Yep. Sorry. Yeah, I was, I was waiting for my friend to come around so I could buy the. Deck from. Oh, all right. What was your name? My name. Yeah. Uh, Sheriff Lewis. Yeah. All right. Cool. I, I wonder if I was looking for you, actually. <laughs> Where are you? I actually was. Yes. Uh -huh. uh, Maple told me you're in town. Right. What can I do for you? Oh, one second. Sorry, Fyodor. You got that deck? Actually, no, why are you doing that? that? So I got I got a friend that trying to become a sheriff. What's the what's the best way of coming about that? I know he I know Maple went and said something about uh getting in contact with the you marshals. Thank you. Yeah, so he'll need to put in an application with the marshal's office. What the difference between the deputy and the sheriff? So Pleasure, I appreciate it. No pleasure. When you come in, you come in as a cadet. And then you'll eventually get your badge and become a deputy, which means you're a part of the department then. And then if you ever make it up to senior deputy, that's a promotion. And then a promotion from there is sheriff. There's um, one sheriff in every town. Sometimes we have two in each town, depending. Okay, I got you. Sheriff is kind of like the buck stops with us. We're as high as we go in the crossing. There is a few deputy marshals, but they tend to just provide backup and support when needed. Yeah, my friend, my friend was more out of state, um, influence and everything, but you know, he, he, he got, uh, he got pretty much the, oop. he, he got the just of everything, ha. but obviously every, every, uh, county a little bit different. Yeah, of course. But I appreciate the information. Excellent. Well, if we can answer any other questions, just let us know. Yeah. And what can I do for you, sir? Yes. Is this something we can chat a little bit more private? Sure, let's go over here. do for you yeah of course um so i spoke with i believe senior deputy mcgregor earlier today mm -hmm. um it, it feels like clockwork week after week uh i've been invited to the same group to participate in a bank robbery that always occurs on a tuesday and i have a lot of information that is going to be happening tomorrow 
which could be either here in uh, the fair town of Valentine or Rhodes tomorrow with the and same. What group. was your name? My name is Robert Fisher. Uh, I've right. I think worked. we briefly met. Yeah, I think I uh, we briefly met. I was on your horse for a time. Uh, I had been working with Sheriff Cash prior to that mm -hmm. about that group. But uh, and uh, which group is this? Uh, I wouldn't say it's a, an established gang so much, but it, he has the hopes of it becoming. Uh, it's uh, Mr. Jim Sky and his kind of posse he leads, which would include his um, his partner, Miss Daisy, and I guess myself. For some reason, still, yeah. And you but say they rob banks, basically like clockwork, every Tuesday. Every Tuesday uh, after uh, 9 p.m. New York time, yeah, and uh, they're going to be doing the same thing tomorrow with, um, well, myself, I suppose, um, uh, Miss Christine, he calls her Mama, I think she works at the Batos over there, and, um, Mama, Jim, Daisy, Mama, Jim, Daisy, uh, Robert, and, um, Fisher, uh, Fisher Guppy, I, I, I always forget his name. He's, he's Forest Fish. Thank you, Forest Fish. Yes. I even got the rolls too. They're all gonna be safe crackers. Right. So either Valentine or where? Roads. Road. Do you know about when it could happen? Anytime after 9 p.m. New York time, maybe around 10. Gregor kind of gave me the advice to just, you know, dear Claire, send him a telegram, say I'm not going to do it. I, I understand completely no sense of putting myself in harm's way or making myself do anything illegal. But if these people are going to do it like clockwork, they don't have any ambitions beyond the thrill of it. Because I've been trying, I've been trying to stop them from this. And I, you and I both at the same time witnessed a man open fire on a deputy despite being surrounded by uh, I think eight or so others it, it, that was suicide in its purest form uh, I feel as though he's not going to stop unless something stops him entirely and I don't want him to lose his life or nothing like that I've heard I've honestly heard of someone doing some sort of rehabilitation clinic around here but truly I'm trying to think of a, somehow a, some way I can stop them entirely I'd almost say let them get away with it and I'll have them all meet at the same place and there could be an ambush there where they all just get swept up in it and no one gets hurt but who knows they could do some sort of last stand I don't know it's it's a very difficult situation right um and are you the same Robert Fisher that's just come across my desk from the marshals that you're looking to be a cadet that would be correct, yes. All right. I would uh, definitely suggest you steer clear of it then. Um, okay. If you want a chance in this program, you need to keep yourself squeaky. Okay, I can make myself scarce easily enough. I don't want to jeopardize that. I'm just trying to make sure that they don't get themselves killed or uh, some deputy killed in the process. Yeah, which is, uh, you know, always the aim is to keep people safe, but... If you want a shot at the department, then you've got to stay squeaky. Okay. Then uh, that settles that, and I'll make myself scarce from it, but uh, if I hear anything, I can definitely continue to send a message either to you or Anon. Yes, why don't you take my telegram down? Have you 
you're ready. All right, it's U O one seven eight. Right, U O one seven eight. I appreciate it, Sheriff Lewis. All right. Well, I'll get this information passed on to the rest of the sheriffs and. Um, yeah, like I said, I'd try to stay squeaky if you want any chance at the program, so. Yeah, that's, uh, that's my goal. So I'm, I'll keep my hands clean of this one. That's easy enough. Um, but, uh, if I hear anything, I'll, I'll reach out. But beyond that, uh, I won't intervene. All right. Sounds good. All right. Well, you enjoy the rest of your evening, all right? Yeah, you oh, as well. Thank you, Mr. Uh, actually, actually, this might be completely unrelated. Uh, mm -hmm. I'm work. I also do work with um, the Saints daily, and I've gotten word. I guess we might be getting an interview with Doctor Creed. Interesting. Yeah, I'm he supposed is to talk. highly wanted right now. I'm supposed to talk with my senior editor about that tonight. Yeah. Or she she has always advocated for making sure we communicate with the law. Yeah. No. Definitely. Um. Yeah. He's highly wanted. So. So if we have. You know, whereabouts of a location, perhaps, just let you know. Yeah, that would be grand. Beautiful, yeah. Uh, I've heard about cannibals in the bayou, so I've been doing a lot of research on that, and uh, kind of led me down his path, I suppose. Or their path, I don't know what they are, who they are. Well, just be careful with that. I will indeed. Well, you take care, and thank you so much for your time. Yeah, of course. Thank you, Mr. Fisher. Right, you take care, Sheriff. Yeah, wow. Chills. Oh, Jesus Christ. Hello? Yeah. What's up? Another much. Uh, waited a very, 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 very long time. Hoping somebody would save me because I was washed up on the bank. Jim, a local mountain man got me, and then I played a bunch of poker. Yeah, I would have just given it up, my friend. I'm sorry. No, it's okay. No, I, I waited a very long time hoping something would happen. I thought the same, because I thought that was a, a normal path that a lot of folks traveled on, especially a lot of folks fish there for salmon. Gotcha. Okay. All right. Um, cool. Uh, uh, I was talking I was talking over there with Daisy. Daisy's going to wake up soon. We'll go over there, uh, you know, we'll go over the plan. Um, well, I, I have my thing in less than uh, a half hour, um, so, uh, do you... Oh, shit. It won't be long, I don't imagine. I just gotta go to Blackwater to meet with her and figure out what's going on. Okay, you going to head down there right now? You, you, you want to head down there? Oh, no, 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 I'm away from Miss Daisy, so if you're gonna head down there, uh, I wish you best of luck, and would you come back up here? We'll do the thing. Alright, you need it? You need any money? You good? Are you able to get all your stuff? Oh, I, I, I'll get everything just fine. I didn't have nothing too important on me, I don't think. The sweet oh, fella you. sold me the Rhodes deck just now. Is it the road deck? The Rhodes deck, yeah, the one with the birds and the, it's a blue back or whatever. How much, how much you buy for it? 200. Damn! Yeah, people say it's going, uh, uh, Julian told me it was going for about three to four. Go oh. flip it. Yeah, you probably should. Oh, All man, right. well, hey, we'll, co we'll come back here and uh, we'll go over things. Yes, sir. I'll be back All as right. soon as I can. Excellent. All right, take care. I'll take it. Bitch. Oh shit.
I look like horse shit and I should change. Oh, you look fine. You never know if she's the one, Jim. I got to impress, you know? Oh, yeah, is that right? There we go. Little workplace affair, never hurt anyone. Are you actually like into it? No, no, I'm just being a horn dog. <laughs> That's who you are, Robert. That's right. Oh, he's right there. Oh, luck. Robert, you leaving? I'll see you later. Yeah, yeah, Richard. Hey, uh, Richard, uh, meet Jim. Huh? Jim, meet Richard. Uh, Richard helped me Jim? all throughout the bayou looking for cannibals. Jim's a really good fella. He helped me a lot oh. when I first got oh, to the yeah. crossing. Oh, okay. Hi, Jim. Richard's Richard, name is Richard. Richard walked up to a world famous outlaw and, and didn't scoff once. Is that Richard. you, Robert? Is that you, Jaden? Yeah, it's me. Richard hey, Jaden, how are you? We're about to go to the swamps again. Did you want to come? Are you really? I'm about to actually yeah. meet uh, my mm -hmm. senior Richard, editor. Richard, always in a good mood. Um, apparently, uh. we're going to be doing an uh, interview with Dr. Creed at some point. Okay. Who was, I guess, uh. the leader of those cannibals, right? Yeah, we're going to a house where I was uh, raised with my foster parents. Well, it's not, it's kind of like that place, but it's different. Really? Uh, I have mm -hmm. to go to Blackwater to meet with her, and, but then I'm going to be returning here. So if y'all are still here, then, you know, I'm sure we can meet up. But otherwise, uh, I'm sure we'll run into each other. Uh, next time next time you send me a telegram, though, make sure to sign your uh, telegram uh, number. Because I think I have uh, it right yeah. down, but just because I couldn't reply to yours. Richard you wants to Rich go card hunting along the way. Richard, what's your telegram? Do you know it offhand? Uh huh. Richard knows. It's in Richard's head. It is the letter J, the letter A, the number one, the number three, and the number seven. Right. You think of that? That's J A one three seven. Uh-huh. Hold on. All right. Okay, if you want, we could go with you to Blackwater, and then we could go to Swamp's areas after. I'm going to come back here because I have to meet yeah. with that gym fella. He wanted to meet uh, with me about some sort of job. <laughs> oh, nice. And I'm um, meet, meet, meeting the meeting. Land, yep, Richard. Um, how how spell um Robert's name? Uh, Robert's uh, R-O-B-E-R-T. Oh, huh, huh. okay. And Fisher like fish. F I S H, and then E R. So someone who fishes for fish. And what the uh, um, Robert's telegram? My telegram is C Z like curious zoo zero one four. Um, letter C, letter Z. Number zero, number one, number four. You got it. Okay. Richard has um, Robert's telegram and Robert has Richard's telegram. I will keep messaging you both. Along with Scarlet. I haven't seen Scarlet. Have you both seen Scarlet at all? I haven't seen her. No. Uh, Richard hasn't seen uh, Scarlet since after Richard woke up at the witch hut. Yeah, I've sent her a few telegrams, but I'm sure she's uh, off in her woods or something. Mm -hmm. Probably tired of the the towns, cause um, Scarlet lives in the woods and likes the woods. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I honestly don't blame her. Um, um Mr. Crudewater said, uh, um, Mr. Crudewater seen Scarlet maybe a few days ago, though. Ah, uh, oh, okay. Uh, Richard thinks Mr. Crudewater said that. Uh, you Mr. Have to Crudewater, let me know if you you run into the fortune teller. I want to meet her. Oh. Richard's good friends was Katarina. Um, yeah, Katarina, Katarina said good. that Richard can stay at her place in the swamps. What was you gonna say? Um, you um, does Mr. Crudewater know um Kat, um no um Scarlet? Scarlet, I don't believe so. Oh, okay, never mind. Well, somebody told Richard that they saw Scarlet a couple days ago. Well, maybe maybe like four days ago now. Okay. I'm gonna use the outhouse real quick, then we can head out. Whenever you guys are ready. Okay. Huh? Oh, you gonna do some card hunting in the swamps then? Uh huh. 
Oh, you should meet the lady named uh, Faye. She's huh? very marvelous. Who's Faye? I her eyes, know. her Faye? eyes are mesmerizing. Did she, you? Uh, out in Strawberry or? Um, she she hangs around the swamps, I think. Really, I've been I've been actually out there a lot more recently. I've been doing a lot of fishing out there, just trying to see if I see any clues. Well, you know, I'm just fishing. Mm -hmm. um, but it's usually very quiet there, except for the alligators. There's also a small church in the uh, swamp. I saw it. Yeah, I saw the small church. It's very eerie. I saw a note in there. Yeah. But uh, we're going near that church in uh, this house. It reminds me of home or growing up uh, in the swamp. Yeah, I find myself strangely uh, attracted to the swamp ever since our adventure. That I, I want to more lately. Mm. Uh-huh. Richard yeah. moved to the swamp. Did you? Oh yeah, uh -huh. with uh, Richard the lived witch, with Katarina. Uh, fortune teller, rather. I, you I know Zola, right? Zola no. lives out in the swamps. Oh, I thought Zola and Katarina were the same person. Oh no. Uh -huh. Oh, there's a lot of fortune tellers then. No, Zola is not the uh, fortune teller. She is uh She's more of a very wild lady. Oh! Oh, jeez! Oh, 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 dirty. Okay. Yeah, I'm alright. Well. Well, I'm gonna. I'm gonna go Jerry's clean myself and then go to that. Uh, Do you know anything about gems? Uh huh. You wouldn't know knows the... everything there is to know about gyms. I just really need to know basically where is the best workbench to fucking cut these things. I heard, ordered any, one of them. Any workbench and right and, over there in the uh, any uh, horse stable. I'll see you around, Richard Jaden. I'll oh, be okay. back here. In a see, you time. Right. Stuff, see you later. Yeah. See you later. Be safe uh, out there. Say Robert's uh, a little uh, whiskey drunk. I think he had like what five beers, two whiskeys, oh, but then he fell down a river. Oh. 
Uh, well, what the fuck do I do? Jim wants me for a job. He wants me to rob a bank. The sheriff told me to not fucking do that if I want a chance. Did he? Oh, bath time. It's fucking tough. It's not within their parameter, but they're not down for it. Howdy, Abigail. Shall we go talk somewhere that's not here? Yeah. I'm sure to be high traffic shortly, or even less than shortly. So, what have you been up to, Harrow Things? 
Things are pretty good. Actually, things are looking up. Been pretty uh, interesting the last few days. Oh nothing yeah, much, what's been going on? Nothing much in the, the bayou front, but I've just I've been dealing with the moral dilemma of meeting a meeting a group of friends that helped me out a whole lot in the crossing, but they just took themselves down an untoward path of chaos and crime. Oh really? Yeah, so it's just me trying to help them out, and it's not working out so well. That sounds frustrating. Extremely. Especially if it's not something that you're looking to... I mean, surely you're not looking to get into anything like that, so... No. They, I mean, when the first thing they show you is how to how to make moonshine, you kind of question what their, their goals are. And then when you actually try to get in the minds of them, the, the most they can give you is that they're doing it because they're looking for a thrill. It just kind of puts you in a bad mood, so... I don't know. Do, do people really not have anything better to do than make moonshine because it's exciting? That's that's pretty much it. Yeah, I, I met a couple. They were the first people I kind of met in the cross thing, and they're wonderful, wonderful people, very kind. But first thing they showed me how to do was moonshine, and they then they started to learn how to crack some safes from some folk in San Denis, and then. And those folk told them about some bank robberies, and it's just been a, a, a an avalanche, as it were. And uh, I asked, "What are your motivations? What, what is the reasoning for this? Is there a what do you want the money for? Is there a cause? Is there a reason, or justification?" And it's just, yeah, the thrill, as it's exciting. And when you hand someone a gun and say be prepared to shoot at the law or people or take a hostage that's that's no amount of money no gold bars in the safe of roads is worth someone's life so i've been trying to be kind to these people but also maybe point the law towards their direction and i don't know i don't think it's getting me many friends but we'll see well, that's exactly what I would do, and that's unfortunate. These are people who are close to you, and then all of a sudden they've decided that their favorite hobby is hurting people and taking other people's things. Yeah, I don't, that, I'm not that entirely sure you thing. should be kind to them. Maybe you should be very mean to them, actually, and tell them how stupid they are. Well, I've been kind of working with the law, and maybe I got a little poetic, but I put in a telegram that I wanted to put the fear of God into them, and they just mostly told me to... Uh, just not show up and send a telegram saying I'm not going to be there for the bank robbery. I'm, I don't. That's not very poetic. That's not. That's not going to do anything. They're just going to find some other goon, and this is going to be the same thing. Wait, they've invited you along on this bank robbery? Yes. Yes. To be 100 percent. Oh honest, my. Yes. Wow. Well. uh... Yeah, you did. I mean, of course, you wouldn't. Uh, you wouldn't involve yourself in something like that. No. I've, what capacity I've been did they in, want you to uh, be involved in? They've invited me to a few, and I've I've found very creative reasons to avoid it while also currying their favor. Um, but uh, what my role would be, I don't know. Uh, I I I took my hand at a safe. It was some sort of practice safe or something in San Denis, and I was okay at that, but. I think maybe, maybe to negotiate with the law out front, or maybe to. Oh my goodness! They they actually hired me to drive a carriage one time, but I told them I was pretty inept at that. So. Wow. And you wish to keep these people as friends? Not particularly. No, I just there's a certain sort of. I feel like everyone has that sort of kinship with some of the first people they meet in the crossing, maybe for better That's or fair. worse. And, uh, I surely I just, understand that, yeah. Yeah, and I just want to make sure that they, they've already done time in Sissica. I want to make sure they don't do life in Sissica, or, or it's, a, it's a couple, no less, so I wouldn't want to see, you know, his poor, his poor girl die or vice versa, you know? Sure. Well, unfortunately, I guess we have to allow people to make their own decisions after a while. People will be people. Yep, that's true. We can't can't control others any more than uh, we can control the moon or the sun. Unfortunately. Well, I'm sorry you're going through that. It's uh, it, it, it adds to the day, and 
gives me something to think on in between, you know, chasing down these would-be cannibals in the swamp. <laughs> Speaking of would-be cannibals in the swamp, you want to hear what I got? Yes, I'm very interested. Dr. Creed has sent me a telegram. How did that happen? How did he even get your number? Well, tell uh, Clementine, and you need to keep all this to yourself, but Clementine, I guess, is um, working with him on something. He, he says he can fix her or something like that. I don't, I don't really know fix her from what. But she's, she's, uh, she's got red hair, um, pigtails, freckles, young girl. Um, uh, constantly getting herself mixed up in things that she should not. The first story I ever heard her tell me was something about how she was, uh, she went to, to jail for poisoning her, her lover's uh, lover or someone she was interested in, his girlfriend or something like that. I don't know, something crazy. Crime of passion. So I guess so. And uh, but yes, apparently he has said you know he can help her. So she's pursuing this, and I said, well, would you mind if I, I heard her talking about this with um, Jonathan, you know him? The man yes. who wears a mask all the time, red shirt? Okay. He, uh, of course, is, uh, he hunts cannibals, and um, he was speaking with her, and she, they were talking in front of me in the telegram. Actually, we were in the telegram, and they were on either side of me having this conversation. I turned around, and I said, well, I couldn't help it over here. <laughs> and asked Clementine, would you mind giving me his telegram? And she said, no, but I would give him yours. I said, okay, please do. So she did. And uh, he, lo and behold, he messaged me. And um, so I have uh, proposed a meeting, which you are invited to. Now, we were trying to work on a time on Wednesday, but I don't think it's going to work out. So how are you on Saturday? Like, what is that? Are Saturdays usually bad for you or... Because I'd like to bring you along to, to at least listen. And, Weekends you know. are very uh, free and open for me. Okay, perfect. Well, then uh, I'll try to work that out with Dr. Creed. We'll bring an escort with us. If there's if he's not currently wanted, We'll um, I'll probably try to bring a lawman. If not, then, uh, or if he is, I'll he's, probably he's try to bring a coiner. He's extremely wanted, apparently. I asked some law is he wanted right Dr. Now? Creed. Yeah, you did. and they said okay. he's extremely wanted. Okay, all right. Well, so I will have to let Law know about the meeting. Um, probably not exactly where he did agree to a semi-public location, but he did say out of the way, pry and eyes, and I said that's fine. So, are you um, bound to let the law know, or I mean, I know it's smart for your protection, but I feel like maybe I would be afraid if they jump the gun, so to speak. So I, well, yes, I, I would as well. I have a couple of lawmen who I trust in the department who I would probably um, let them know. And then leave it to their discretion what they think is best. I would n probably not tell them the exact location um, unless pressed. But I will I will comply with the law to the greatest extent that I can. I so, and then they would certainly be aware that they would not want to uh, to make any moves um, based on my information. Given that would put my life in danger at least at a later date perhaps. So uh, I, I trust them to, uh, to make the right decision in that regard. Probably what would happen would be... Um, if they knew a rough location or estimation of the region, they would be at towns close by there and just sort of keep their eyes open, um, kind of roam around and try to see if they can catch him out after uh, he leaves the spot. So so it looks like an accident is what I think would happen. But, I mean, me the law, they, well, they constantly advise me not to go on these trips anyway and uh, stubbornly go anyway. I mean, I've, I've noticed something remarkable and I think this may also fuel my desire to pursue life with the Saints daily but the second I mention I do like freelance writing people are all the more happy to chit chat they'll, they'll sit down you bring up bring out the coffee we'll, we'll have a smoke and, and chat about life uh, mm -hmm. I face down Gavin Summers I was surrounded by eight of his people, and I guess he's a hot shot around here. Mm -hmm. And they were plumb ready to shoot us because we were looking into uh, Elysian pools, and I, I guess that's where Dr. Creed hangs out. And uh, the second I mentioned, oh, yeah, I do freelance writing, oh, he, he wanted my telegram. He was all smiles. He gave us hints about where to go to find more cannibals. I mean, it could have been ambushes, but sure. uh, we went there, and there was nothing there, but... Who knows? But uh, a lot of interesting areas. That's that's for sure. 
places where you can get lost. So, uh, he is uh, a very notorious... We, I think we started to talk about him last time we met. He's a very notorious individual, and he was the first one who I sought out for an interview of this sort of nature. So, Dr. Creed's the second. And uh, I have a, a copy of it uh, in the in the archives if you want to read it, but it uh, was enlightening, and I was well, I was advised many times not to go. Uh, well, the way it worked out was I had uh, telegrammed him while he was still in solitary in Sisica, and um, well, he didn't read the telegram until he got out. So when he saw that, he began pursuing an interview anyway. And he would not take no for an answer. Even and he even sent people after me, you know, to come and chat with me and say, wow. "Why aren't you coming to uh, to this meeting? Why are you resisting?" And um, I, you know, spoke with the law over and over again about the the danger to myself because he said, "If I have to pick you up and take you to this interview myself, it's not going to go very well for you, Miss Jones." So, uh, well, I probably could have waited longer, but I got to the point where I just felt, you know, what if I just do it, then he really has no reason to hurt me. So, um, I may as well. Now, the law's of the opinion that if you, you know, it's best if they don't know you, if they don't know your name, if you don't put yourself in, in their eye, so to speak. So, it's a, you know, it's a catch-22. I I want the news, you know. I want the, um, I want to seek and discover what makes these people tick to an extent and why are they the way that they are? I probably need to go to the law actually and brush up on Dr. Creed and everything he's been accused of or put away for uh, before I do this, but I it guess it's um, all this crime. I guess it's just a thing. Yeah. But, mm, yes. but that's what I want to know too. I want to know why. Why? All right. Why? Exactly. Do you wanna, why do you want to lead a gang of cannibals? Why do you want to? I, I don't know Gavin Summers. I don't know his shtick, but I assume it's something bad and, and crazy. So why do you do it? Why are you this, well, in, you this much of an intimidating? But yeah, let me know. Let's, I want. I, I mean, I ran into him, so shit, I should know. So I know that the last time before he went to Sisica and was in solitary for some months, he was. Um, he called himself the Governor Van Horn. So okay. he had taken there. I forget. I don't know exactly all the details of how this occurred, but um, he eventually got to the point where he wanted to make Van Horn a safe haven for criminals essentially outlaws and things like that so he declared van horn to be its own nation or something along those lines or um that it was seceded from the state mm -hmm. and uh the law was not allowed to patrol there they were not allowed within the city limits and they uh he protected it he held it down and um it was kind of a safe haven well i gather from my interview that uh, after or at the end of all this um before he went to Siska, he was betrayed by a very good friend of his and um he has a few other folks who uh he feels deserve his ire and since coming out of his solitary confinement he has a list of folks that he's trying to take revenge on so i asked him one of the things i, I mentioned was you know if if solitary was so bad is there anything in the world that would make it worth it and he said yes if i'm able to fulfill my list then i would go back in there again i said all right and i said would you wish this upon your worst enemy and he goes no so his passion for this list of people who he is working against is uh is so great that he would go back and face the punishment that he wouldn't wouldn't wish upon his worst enemy so that's what he's all about i mean at least that's a conviction and he's sticking to it and that's something i agree can, certainly better can... than it's a hobby of his yeah, or I'm bored. Like something, it's exactly. something. It's something tangible and definitely newsworthy, I would say. Um, but uh, mm -hmm. I just feel like there's a lot of hot shots that kind of come here with, you know, stars in their eyes and they think they can hit up every bank this side of uh, the river. And uh, it, it's just, uh, I think. I think a little bit more uh, caution needs to be kind of put into their uh, their minds because uh, they just they think it's just that easy. Right. And these yeah. are you're talking about men who have cultivated their their uh, passions, I guess, for lack of a better word, over the course of many months and even long stints in Sisica. So it's uh, they're going to they're going to learn, I guess. Yeah, what it's really like out there. Well, you know what? Even the big outlaws. Um, is is that Tommy Two Snakes guy a, a big big time one or no? You know, I've only heard his name a couple of times. I don't really know if he's been involved in anything big. 
He seems kind of big from the way people talk about him, but uh, he's always there at the poker table more often than not. And it just seems, you know, I've he... heard him connected to poker more than I've heard him connected to nefarious. <laughs> yeah. He, yeah, he seems to be quite the shark, but he, even he seems a little bit more humble than most. Uh, there's there's too many men that will sit there at the table and talk about, hey, I did this moonshine run and I got away or I did this bank job and I took a boat to get away. It's, they're so uh, blatant about bragging about it whereas someone like him is a little bit more humble but that's what i like about the mm. poker table it's it's a crossroads of well I, ha I haven't seen many law play at poker but it, it seems to be a lot of outlaws who, who can who are free and easy to talk with folks who are more about that civilian sort of a uh, mindset sure that's wonderful that you have that yeah uh, i had a meeting recently a with uh with some folks, I don't know who they are associated with or if they're associated with anybody at all, but it was Timmy Took, uh, Sam Bass, Peaches, I don't know if you know any of these people, Edwin, um, they were all together and they wanted to, well, they want to start their own newspaper. I don't know if you've heard of this, the People's Press. I published two articles on that, how they want justice reform. I've heard of but, Timmy. I've heard a lot of people talk about Timmy, especially when I started talking about the Saints Daily, like, oh, like that Timmy fella? Um, but mm. I haven't heard about them making their own press. I have heard, did you say Sam Bass? Yeah, he was here as well. Mm -hmm. I've heard that as I well. had a lovely chat with all of them. I had a, I had a chat with uh, that fellow that's doing all those bank robberies and he was telling me about how, or, you know, all right, you know how the Dicenzos are in Saint Denis? Yes. Yes. I was going to mention them. They're together. They're quite to prolific him, out there. Yeah, according to him, the powers that be in that city are the Vicenzos and then Sam Bass. As if this one man commands half the city's power. And I don't know. I don't know what, what merit there is to it. This is something I've honestly heard today. But uh, apparently mm. he has a, a big mansion there. He ha he runs something called, uh, I shit you not, Sam's Club. Uh, and has mm. his own little gang or posse. I guess maybe part of that old Timmy took and all that. Maybe them. it's them, yeah. Yeah. Sam's uh, Club. Interesting. He buys gold bars from bank robbers at a at a high price. Gold bars from bank robbers. Okay. Yeah, Interesting. That, that's verified info from a, a man who robs banks, unfortunately. <laughs> Unfortunate that he robs banks. Fortunate that you're able to verify some info. Well, that's why I like kind of keep. I know, and I'm circling back to it. Uh, they're friends because they helped me out when I first got here. But I also like to keep that relationship because I feel like uh, some of us may have a stronger connection to the law and maybe, you know, good friends with them. And I feel like having someone that has a strong connection to maybe some of the underworld may benefit as long as they keep themselves clean. I'm trying to do. And it's, you are absolutely right. And he and would, Mr. Corner would advocate for that, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Walking the line, finding, finding that tough, are you? <laughs> real tough. It's real stressful, I'll say. Uh, well, I'm sure that you'll find a way to manage it with grace. Yeah, hopefully. <laughs> um, what else? Oh, I would like for you to keep your ears open about something for me as well. Yeah, of course. Um, there is a, a woman known as the Red Kiss Killer. Have you heard of her? I have not. So, uh, her name's Rosalie. And she's the one who's responsible for cutting my tooth out of my head. Well, she's been cited. In, she did her stint in Sisica. I did uh, well, so some months ago now, um, I was, well, I was here at the telegram station and there was a man called Kenway Mallory, who was a friend of mine. Well, apparently he was in love with this woman and she, uh, was an associate of a man called Dr. Cloth and Dr. Cloth was, um, apprehended and put in Sisica and she was carrying on his, uh, his deeds, I suppose. Mm -hmm. And... In, in, in a whole strange circumstance and event, um, Mr. Kenway asked me if I knew of any places that were kind of scenic in the area that we could go and visit because they were looking to get out of the city and kind of do something interesting. They were all from St. Denis. I said, of course, I can help with that. There's a Manteca Falls just, you know, this way. I think it's beautiful. Let's go and look. Well, so this woman and him um, and myself, 
we all went out there and uh, dismounted and we were just chatting and talking and I didn't really pick up the signs I probably should have I was I was still fairly green then I suppose and they they kept sharing sort of like glances between them and I didn't really take much notice of it I did think it was a bit odd um, well I had gone to bush to tie my shoe and when I when I came back um, he was on his horse they had shared the same horse and she was on mine and that was the first point where I realized something very strange was was happening and she said this is a nice horse and then she looked at him and he jumped down off of his I, and I thought I, there's no way I can get away that was a very interesting feeling he jumped down off of his horse he pulled out a rope and he tied me up and they carried me to the shore and uh, she asked me questions about Dr. Cloth and um, I, I, I knew nothing except for that he had been apprehended really and so I explained that he had been taken. She said, by who? I said, by the law, of course. I don't know anything more than that. She said, okay, well, we had to continue his work. And she pried my mouth open and took a knife and cut. She didn't even yank it out. She cut it out. She cut my tooth out. So um, wow. it was uh, obviously very traumatic. So she did this, and I managed to get myself back to thieves landing where i met a man well, I was there's some wolves chasing me <laughs> it was awful I'm bleeding from my mouth profusely and that's, he brought me back here day. and uh, it was very it was very bad yes um but after that happened they worked to capture her obviously and i assisted the law with as much information as i could well unfortunately um they did apprehend her, and she was behind bars, and I was summoned to um, come and identify her. And I was assured by the lawman who um, who uh, asked me to help with this, that if I did, that it was very likely she was going to be spending either life in Sisica or she was going to swing. And I said, okay, well, then I'm comfortable. And so I went in, and uh, th they didn't even shield me from her or anything like that. She was just in the cell in the bars there, and I was on the outside of the bars looking in, and we were looking at each other, which I kind of wish that hadn't been the case now. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And it was a difficult th thing to say, yes, that's this is her, this is the woman, but uh, I did, and then she was sent off. So now I come to learn that she is has been released, and now somebody who knows who she is, uh, and I guess was also involved in the last time that she was picked up, has seen her and spoken to her in St. Denis. She sends me telegrams to make sure that I'm aware, which is why I look like this right now. When was the last communication? Uh, the last time I heard anything from my contact was um, this morning. Um, what does she look like? Okay. So she has kind of silvery hair, looks like maybe it was dark at one point. She wears it up in braids most of the time. Kind of like the way I usually wear my hair. It's like a braided crown around the back. Yeah. Um, that's very frequent. Uh, and then she has like um, kind of small features the way that I do. She wears, uh, last time I saw her, she had a white shirt, suspenders, and um, those very wide pants along the bottom. You know what I'm talking about? Kind of like the long Tape, well, not tapered, like flaring out sort of pants that some yeah, wear. Yeah, I think, yeah, I think I know what you mean. So she wears those. She usually has on bright red lipstick. And I don't know what color her eyes are. They call her the red kiss killer because she kisses people after her and she's done. She kissed me right on the cheek after she cut my tooth out. That's horrible. Does she go by any other mm -hmm. name? Uh, Sophie and... There's one more that I cannot recall at the time. I have to go and look in the uh, in my telegrams. Um, my contact said that she uh, saw in the telegram station in Ansburg evidence of that similar in nature to things that have been associated with the Red Kiss Killer in the past. She didn't tell me specifically what. She just said it wasn't sinister and it was familiar to her as something that, um, that usually would transpire before she would kill. You don't think that trust the contact right you don't think the contact is uh affiliated with them in any way no i really don't believe so because I've, i'm pretty sure my contact's been operating and yes actually no i know for a fact i've seen her since uh while while rosalie 
aka Sophie, was up in Sisica, so I have seen my contact during the time when the other was put away. So it's not the same person. I haven't seen anyone like that, but I'll I'll absolutely keep an eye out. I feel like I feel like anyone who's anyone usually tries to make an appearance in places like Blackwater or Valentine, and especially in the saloons. Was she? Yeah, I don't know. If she's going to look for a new target or something like that, you know? But sure. What, what, well, I'm what happens if very she gets concerned. Sure. Like, what, what happens if I run into her in Valentine right now? Do I just telegram her? Honestly, just, I... yep, just keep me apprised because if, she has, if she's not currently wanted for anything, then there's really nothing the law can do about it. So there's no point in, in telling them. But do you fear for your life? Like she's out to get you? I mean, it's pretty obvious if she's warning you. I would imagine that... Um, if she harbors any frustration or sense of revenge towards me for getting her thrown in Sisica, then yes, I would imagine that she might come for me. I don't, I don't know for sure. I haven't received any communications or anything like that. I'm not a difficult woman to find, or my telegram is at least not difficult to find. So, uh, I don't know. Um, so we'll have to see. Uh, maybe I she's. Mean, I feel like you're you're more difficult than others because you and I have both have the same preclusion to you know change outfits and i feel like a lot of folks <laughs> don't like to do that um, but that is true maybe uh, i just feel exposed i mean do you want to do you think we should take things into our own hands i mean i know folk maybe if i see her to try to try and round her up and then <laughs> and, and then what call the law i mean i don't know well i mean like i said if she hasn't done anything they can't do much we can say she did something Maybe she tried I don't to, know if I'm try to seduce me. I don't know. <laughs> I, I mean, she might. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, I mean, who knows? I mean, maybe I, I haven't seen I, Mr. I, Mallory I, in some time. Mr. Mallory, incidentally, he was in love with her, and oh, when no. she did this, and then yes, that's why he agreed because he was my friend. The only reason I would have trusted these people in the first place was because I knew Mr. Mallory, and uh, I had absolutely no in inclination that he would help somebody do this to me. And he, he went to Siska as well for his involvement, but, um, yes, he, uh, he said to me at the end while I was laying there bleeding from my mouth into the sand right there by the river, said, uh, love makes you do strange things. Yeah, That was I'd how he chose so. to end that conversation. <laughs> yes. The was, strangest was, uh, of all things is leaving you to mm -hmm. bleed there over a mad woman. Yeah, yeah, men, men will do a lot of crazy things either, either for money or for, for, for love. I gather that must be the case. Yeah, I've seen a lot so, of that. So, yes, if you see her, just telegram me, please. You know, keep me apprised of her movements. And if even better, if you hear her talking and hear, you know, what what is she talking about, that's even better. Yeah, do you want me to, do you want me to get to know her, or get closer to her, learn her aspirations? I mean, maybe I can make myself available to her and then subvert her. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Uh, I would never ask you to do something like that. But once again, like you cannot control your friends. I cannot control you. You just have to be careful about the line between. I mean, I've been running through you know. Dubai you for over a week now. And <laughs> I, 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 so I, I'm more than happy to throw myself into danger. If I, if I, if I can come out of it, maybe one or two scars more, but I've learned something about how depraved the human nature can be. And I can put it into print and tell folk about it. I think that'd be well worth the uh, potential trauma that I have to live with. Well, like everybody always tells me, be cautious. And yeah. uh, and I won't ask you to do that, but uh, your curiosity will guide you, I'm sure. And mm -hmm. um, just um, just be careful. Please don't ever mention that you know me at all. And, no, um, I, I, usually if I ever refer to you, I just say boss or senior deputy or something. I mean, not uh, senior editor. <laughs> yeah, sure. senior deputy. Yeah. Senior Deputy Abigail John, oh my lord, I could not ever. Anyway, uh, that's neither here nor there. Yeah. But do remember that there's a fine line between uh, information and vigilantism, I suppose. So people yeah. get people get accused of that for a lot, you know, for about the same amount of things. Like Dr. Rorvid going up to uh, Tall Trees to talk to a cannibal and then ended up getting charged with vigilantism and uh, first degree murder. Really? He, he he approached me, but I was suspicious, and he just introduced himself. It was a very nice conversation. He's an interesting fellow, and he's similar to us in that he likes to go and explore the further reaches of humanity. 
he uh, went with Jonathan Richard to go and talk with cannibals because he was curious about them. And um, the the way it was presented to me by him was that uh, Jonathan became really volatile and uh, was causing issues and not um, helping out with the conversation very much at all. Yeah. And uh, things escalated and uh, Mr. Gout um, became violent and so Dr. Robert had to shoot him with a shotgun. So it was more self-defense, but because of the nature of it, they ended up charging him with first degree. So, I don't know. I felt myself that was a bit of a reach, but I'm not the law. So I'm sure that there's some context that I must be missing or some perspective that... Because I'm, I'm, there's some lawmen I think who are very zealous, but uh, most of them that I've spoken to are rather reasonable. Is there any... I mean, you don't have to answer this, but you've been a lot more seasoned with the Saints Daily, but is there... Would you say there's law folk that are, you know, more than happy to perhaps give us more advanced information than others? Or, you know, they're all pretty straight by the rule books? All the ones, all the deputies and senior deputies are going to worry about whether they've said too much. So your best bet anytime you want information is to talk to a sheriff. The best sheriffs to talk to, in my opinion, are probably going to be Sheriff Winward, Sheriff Cash, and um, you might even talk to Sheriff Monroe. Well, actually, Sheriff Monroe, I think, was just promoted to... Deputy Marshal, so that might not be useful anymore. Um, hmm, I don't really know many of the other ones. Possibly Sheriff Lewis and Valentine, but I don't really know her well. I'm familiar with all three you just mentioned. Um, I've worked with Cash extensively. I've worked with Windward a little bit. Um, they gave me a lot of information about kind of law and how they view things. Lewis, I actually just talked recently. I think that those are probably going to be your best bet for details. Cash is very busy. Uh, he's, his time is constantly being uh, preyed upon by people. So it feels like uh, if he, it's almost like he doesn't have the time to kind of come through and seek out any details. So Sheriff Rabbit might be your best bet as far as finding out what those are. Um, I'm trying to think if there's anybody else who feels very well, comfortable getting, giving details. Well, what I'm getting at is, say, I mean, would you be opposed if there were like, some sort of deputy or even a cadet that would be more to share additional information I'm uh, I'll be honest I'm a little interested in path with uh, law enforcement I feel like I don't really want to squander my relationship with the Saints Daily because I know you, you everyone likes to keep it on the up and up but I also like to kind of give the power of information to the people hmm I would um I would probably not say no to that. You're interested in becoming a lawman? I am, yeah. Wow. Huh. No, I certainly would not say no to that kind of thing. It's That's... very helpful to have people uh, with a like mind, uh, you know, close at hand. Have That's... friendly relationships with them. That's, a, that's my thought as well. I, I, I guess in my mind, if... I mean, Lewis knew my name, which I was very impressed by. I guess my name came across her desk... I got my application, but uh, um, I don't know how fast things will go, but uh, I'm interested to see where they go. But I, I always kind of saw myself as still trying to contribute what I can to the Saints Daily because I, I, at heart, I am still a writer. I am still a wordsmith, but if I feel like I can do something a little bit more, uh, at, you know, a little bit more um, forward to fix folk like my friends who are, you know, robbing banks and such. And, uh, <laughs> Honestly, I was Ew, I was actually considering the, the possibility that you might Eating be ex cereal. much more valuable as an informant than you would be as a contributor. Your <laughs> uh, penchant for speaking with people and going out and getting the story and getting the information and traveling all around and doing all of that is uh, by and large much, much further along than almost anybody else who I've spoken to. And I almost feel like if you were regularly writing and people saw your name in the paper all the time, then they might grow suspicious of that or yeah. you wouldn't uh, have the same, you know, kind of impact. I already, um, I already so thought I'll... of a pen name. I already thought of a ghost name. Yeah. Oh, you're going to use a pen name. <gasps> oh, that's exciting. I kind of like that. What was it? Are you sure? Are you sure? Well, yeah, of course I want to know. Are you Are you planning to keep, keep your, your writings hidden from me? All right, it's going to be... Thinking Robin, because you don't know if it's gonna, you know, be a man, woman, or what. Robin Graves. Okay. Yeah. Uh, 
<laughs> Robin Gray. That's excellent, excellent pen name. Yeah. You know, yeah, I was con- I was gonna write dime novels when I first got to the crossing. That was my whole plan. And my heroine, who was kind of an outlaw sort, was uh, she was gonna be called the Shady Bell. Ooh. Which I definitely ripped from Shady Bell, but and she was gonna have this ne- nemesis who was like a luchador. And uh Yep, that was that was what I was planning to write about. Robin Graves sounds like a, a character in a in a dime novel. Exactly. I love it. Some some sort of penny dreadful, exactly. Yeah. Oh, just just something something in a, in a in a in a sleazy crime novel. That's that's my thought. Exactly. Exactly. I love it. And that's what I was saying actually. So the the article that you sent me, you didn't get my telegram back. I wonder who did. Uh, I don't really know, <laughs> but I, 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 have, that... I have an issue with switching my numbers, and I feel like I do that often with mine, where it's either four one or one four. Mm, may oh, you know what? Maybe I was looking at your most recent Telegram to tell me what the number was, and so I wrote down the wrong one. Yeah. Anyway, but it was it was extremely well written, but it was so uh, it was so dramatized, which is wonderful for a certain audience, but for the paper, it has to be. We have such little space, and it needs to be as factual as possible, and kind of devoid of nuance almost and not Makes telling sense. people you know anything about their opinions or anything so i was going to have you rewrite it to try to be a little bit more factual and in, in nature but honestly if you'd like to you know kind of keep it on the back burner and see how this cadet thing moves forward and then just write me whenever you have some information or we can continue our chats that would be wonderful for me i want to continue the chats absolutely I, i'm regardless of whatever goes on in my life i'm still pursuing this dr creed angle i i, I want to uh, I am absolutely hungry to know what goes into the minds of folk who do the things they do and why they do it. And I want to learn that just for my own knowledge and to fuel my own writing for whether I just want to write a, some sort of novel or some crime, crime drama, who knows. But uh, I, I want to know, and, and if I see something blooming, you know, and I want to tell folk about it and I, I it's all the more better for this someone i can trust who can really get the word sure. out there and the, you're, you're typically i can do that very discreetly without calling attention to where my sources are coming from and things like that so hopefully it'll be a good working relationship yeah i'm trying to toe the line and it's really hard especially because lewis was the one who told me to really tell my friend to go pound the sand so i'm supposed to actually go meet with them and Valentine after this, and they're supposed to tell me about their wonderful bank robbery plan for tomorrow. And oh my goodness! I'm sure I'll tell the law about it. Yep. All right, it's raining. I'm going inside. Ooh. Oh. Oh, it's getting bad. Ah. I'm not uh, above running when it's raining hard. I'm like I like all the, I like all the footprints on Coiner's desk. <laughs> People constantly step on it. D- uh, he invited me to the the meeting on Friday, but unfortunately mm-hmm. I was out of town. Did I miss anything? It was Saturday, by the way. But it was uh, Saturday, no, I was I out of town. It so. was oh, okay. All right. <laughs> I think, uh, I don't think you really missed much. Uh, we were talking about, you know, specific beats. We're having people work, trying to get more news, um, actual news. We have a lot of editorials. I'm trying to spin news from nothing just by listening to these folks about their justice reform information or, or, or it, it, thing that they're working on and, and all of this. And it's just kind of hard to get actual news rolling. Mm-hmm. So, you know, things like that. Um, what else did he go over? Um, uh, we placed Caleb Milton and Crispin Canabile are both on leave of absence now. Well, I guess Crispin's been suspended. We haven't heard from him in a long time, and he's, uh, well, uh, going some, through some things right now. Mm-hmm. So, uh, we did hire on another one. So now we have Elsie, we have Marjorie, myself, and Coiner all working regular beats. So we're about in the same place that we were. I need to really try to brainstorm how to make being a reporter more appealing to people. Well, regardless of what whatever angle I'm working, I'm still 
more than happy to contribute even on the side as far out. like i'll still keep an eye out for current events i really haven't heard much of anything up and coming just yet um, sure there's a, a wonderful piano player who works with the rangers who plays in valentine i, I kind of wanted to work something with there and get some nice uh sob story with that one because i think he plays for his mother it's lovely but um oh um, that is <laughs> wow um, uh, I haven't really heard anything much. Uh, some fellas doing a raffle at a Rhodes for some uh, ostentatious looking pump action shotgun. Oh, I have that in the paper already, yes. Yeah, uh, yeah, Mr. Yeah, yeah, Fisher, that. I'm sorry. I had to I had to cut this short. I have something that I it's come up that's very pressing. I need to take care of. Yeah, you go take but, care of that. It was a pleasure catching up with you. I appreciate it. I'm sorry that our meetings always end that way. But anyway, okay. I thank you for your graciousness. <laughs> Makes it more right, special. Well, best, I guess that's true. Best of luck to you, by the way, on uh, the whole thing. Yes, I appreciate it. You're welcome. You have a wonderful night, and I'll see me you too. next time. Keep me posted on our meeting. I sure will. Thank you. That's all right. I have to piss like a motherfucker. In that suit. I feel like I've seen that name somewhere. I don't know if like a, you're another streamer on the server. What am I doing? I'm hungry. Playing the Shinra music, being a mirror for it. Ugh, fuck, what am I doing? My life? I'm not gonna meet about bankrupt. This is like going from the civilian life to the crime or life. It's stressful. I love it though. I'm here for it. killer
Damn, dude. Sure. <laughs> I appreciated the impromptu little uh, chat we had on the pier in Blackwater. As I was waiting to rat on it. Here again.
Ich meine. Nein, nee. Interesting. Hast du mir ja. Nicht für mich YouTube, wo ich ja nehme. James Kelly. James Kelly. Das ist nice. Should I interest you in some moonshine? What's that? It's like whiskey, but better and tastes better and gets you drunker. Uh, can I drink it without getting uh drunk? Yeah, absolutely. You lying to me? Uh uh. How much? Ten dollar bottle, two for twenty five. Ten dollars? No. Oh yeah. It's premium moonshine. Two to twenty five. Two to twenty five is a stupid deal. Stupid. Yeah, but it work out. I hope someone buys it. But now you don't want it for ten dollar? No, ten dollars is too pricey. I only got fifty dollars in my bank. It's yours. I only got fifty dollars in my bank. What? That's how much you got after you spend ten? Forty. That's enough. No. Uh -uh. <laughs> my man, I'm just trying to find some dope music. That's here. plenty. Nope. I don't want to be poor. I want to be an entrepreneur in my field. I had to break it to you, fella, but you already are poor. $50. Yeah, but what about you? You're poor. Like yeah. you said before. Yeah, I know. I'm not buying the moonshine. I'm poor. That's cool. I do work. What do you do? You're so poor, man. I think outside the box for the Can't reach the bar. Not going to the people. Hell. No, anyway, Skater said it was good. It's good moonshine. It's worth the price. Yeah, well, last time that someone said something was good, my family died. So uh -huh. I'm not taking that risk. Well, did they sell him a bad bottle of moonshine? Sorry? That ain't got nothing to do with moonshine. No, it did they sell him a bad bottle of moonshine? It was okay. cocaine. Well, I've done that too. I don't sell it, but you know, it's good. My family bought it and then they forgot to pay it back. So a man came into the house and killed my dad and then my shipping. That's terrible. Well, that's All over some cocaine, huh? Yeah, it I is good it stuff. No one's over cocaine, apparently. Oh. I need a punch, man. No, no. He wants to sell oh. moonshine, but I, my family wants the cocaine. Well, what if I wanted to sell you cocaine right now? I'd probably punch you in your face. And the boss with cocaine. What the fuck am I? What the fuck's uh, Mr. Man?
the fuck? Where's my bank robber? We gotta get the fucking tea on them. Supposed to be with her. That might be the key. Day, uh, how's everything going by you? Yeah, it's great. going all right. Oh yeah, well, that's better than awful. <laughs> you haven't happened to see Angelica around, have you? No, I haven't. The last time I heard anything from her, she was going hunting with Ned, and uh... they didn't want to.
<clears throat> I have to take a pizza. Hungry. Oh shit, did I lose one? No. Yes, it is me. He's drinking. Ah. Hey, you. Whoa. Oh, Hi. Hi. How are you? I'm pretty good. Um, I've had a bad time with this dealer here, but um, Jim is having a good time right now, at least. He was doing real good earlier. Mm -hmm. Um. Oh. Yeah, he he just hasn't been kind to me today for some reason. Split, look at that. <gasps> he busted again. Oh, again? Yep. How much did you bet this time? I bet 50. Ooh. Yes, I split it. So I bet 25 and I split into 50. So I won an extra 50 bucks. Well, you're doing really good right now. Just don't get reckless, okay? I'm not going to be reckless. Okay. We'll what do you take, take it. me for? A gambling addict? <laughs> uh huh. Just a little bit. No. How much are you betting, Mr. Robert? I only bet minimum for the first hand because the first hand always is it's always a bad hand. Oh wow! Oh okay. okay. I'm gonna split yeah. it again. That's a good idea, actually, to do the first hand like that. And then I'm gonna hit with the other one. Ooh. Hmm. Shit! I'm probably gonna bust because he probably had a ten under there. Well, damn. You should split those. Oh, really? Huh. The first hand's always bad. Yeah! What do you mean? Oh, what do you mean it's always bad? Well, he's playing a lot, and I'm sure he knows what he's talking about. The board the first hand didn't wreck him, though. <laughs> he's fine. I know, what I, I know what I'm talking about, Jim. Okay. Mm-hmm. Trust 
profit, okay? Trust him. There's he a, knows I came in here with a hundred. I know my gambling. I'm gambling <laughs> yeah, the goddamn time. Mm-hmm. And you lose all the time. I mean, what? That's just true. <laughs> Hey, I'll take it. Oh, shit. Please don't give me a 10. Shit. Oh, okay, I guess you... Really? He technically gave me some of my... Uh, well, 19's pretty good. I wouldn't ruin that. Yeah, that's my thought, too. I'll, I'll, and he's got a 6, so let's see. Won't have a 16. Oh. Have a 10. Oh. Uh, yeah! You busted again! <laughs> Why are you doing this right now, sir? Just because I'm not playing. He hates me. Okay. <sighs> Maybe that knife threat's finally getting to him. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> I mean, I was uh, <clears throat> I was just showing him my knife, you know. <laughs> oh, yeah, is that right? Mm -hmm, yeah. It's very pretty, you know, so, yeah. It is very pretty. Yeah. All right, I'm going to double down on that. Oh, you are? Really? 21! Oh! <gasps> Fuck me! Oh my god! Wait, how much did you bet? Twenty-five, so that's fifty. Oh, nice! Oh, and you split, Mr. Rabbit. Look at that! Oh! <gasps> oh, busted! Oh, Wait, even listen. This bastard has to have a, has oh. to have a twenty-one. <laughs> did you bust on both of them? Yeah, oh my nice. god, no! Yeah, you would have lost if you didn't do anything. God damn, dude! How much money do I have right now? Uh, I have 400 something? Three, oh. 400? Yeah, 400 exactly, on the dot. <laughs> now, I'm gonna beer back. I'm gonna put, in, put away 300. Okay. I'm gonna beer back with 100. <laughs> there you go. Daisy, mm -hmm. see, I'm responsible. Yes, you are. Come on. What? Come on. What? Are you gonna beat me? Obviously. <laughs> Fucking PDA, dude. I ain't about that shit. Depression. <laughs> oh. Hey, you know what? You and me, fella. Thank you. After buying that deck, I got like, fuck, what? <clears throat> like a hundred bucks? Nothing, uh, efficient, at all, that's for sure. Life support here. I think that would be fine. I got fifty dollars. I gotta make up with this guy. I have to. <laughs> I don't think that you showing here your knife to him is gonna make him wanna. <laughs> well, I gotta make up. 
with him. You know, that, that's what oh, I'm saying. Oh, is that right? Yeah. We, we gotta be, be friends, sir. Okay, please. I really was just showing you my knife. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at you, man. You're making nothing. Ooh. What happened? Wait, what? Uh, I'm, on li I'm, I'm struggling. I'm, 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 oh, I'm no. hovering at five. What the, what the hell happened? Dang. Uh, I did a $30 hand. Oh, okay. Oh, and that's what tossed away Damn. all your money. Yeah. Ooh, Man, okay. I'm ha like, 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 you know how we fell into that river and we drowned? Yeah. Mm. Uh, I lost, I lost all my, you know, my uh, product. Oh wait, what? Robert was there too? Yeah. Oh gosh. Uh, how yeah, did we... it go for you, Robert? Uh, some local, some local fishermen found me and took me to oh, shore and okay. took me to doctors, but it was oh, fine. Damn. Oh, damn it! That that is to be expected. Really? Oh yeah, that's very much to be expected. <sighs> Told you your first hand's always bad. Yeah, I should have trusted you. But your first hand? What do you mean? It's always bad. Well, my first hand. Well, his first hand when he first when he, when he first dropped in was perfectly fine. Well, I suppose, but most of the time maybe it is. <sighs> You're a bastard. Um, I hate that number. Really? I mean, it ain't terrible, honey. <clears throat> Fuck you. I mean, 17's a good place to, to be. Mm -mm. I guess it's fine. I'm seeing a noticeable lack of 10s. I'm not gonna go any further than 13. Have a 16, then pull out a 10. Oh, no. oh, come on, come on. Okay. Ooh, yes! yes! <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Yeah! I see you pulled out 100, Daisy. Wait, what? Or was it 50? No, it was, it, it was 50, yeah. Okay. Oh, by the way, uh, what do you, you think of uh, Miss Jessie, Robert? I like her. Oh yeah? It's funny. Yeah. <clears throat> By the way, after this um oh hold on. So after this game you wanna do the thing. Yeah, what what Because we uh, you know Planning, right? Oh planning? Yeah, 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 yeah. I just don't want to say anything out loud. No, I understand. Um as a, as an uh, as an aside to that, have y'all ever run across anyone named Sophie? In your travels? I have not. Sophie? No. No, okay. There's oh, we uh, busted, yes. Apparently there's someone named Sophie, or she goes by the Red Kiss Killer, and he's been plaguing some friends of mine, so I'm trying to look. Oh. oh okay. Yes, I oh, have, shit. unfortunately not. That's it. Right. What, uh, what has she actually done, though? Or, uh, I, I, well, I saw assaulted, I guess, people oh. uh, across the crossing and like done like physical harm and like maimed them and stuff. Jesus, like, kind of, kind of one of those like, uh, shoot, what do you call them? One of those like lady killers that kind of get close to men and oh, like them in. take take them take them to bed and then yeah, try to kill one them. Of them. Wow. Holy shit, that is frightening. <laughs> I mean, I guess they were gone for a while, and now some men, back, some so. men are desperate. Hmm. Anything they can, they can take, you know. <clears throat> Beyond that, that's it. I might have a meeting with this um, cannibal guy uh, in the middle of the oh, week. We'll see. Really? By the way, yeah. um, oh, God. J just so you're absolutely sure, this whole media thing ain't gonna get in the way of you doing what you need to do, right? No, I keep the lives separate. Okay, as, as long as they accept it too, because I mean, you know, I mean they don't, but uh, you know I, that's why I really stress disguises and um, right, yeah, they, they you know, really throwing my too. verse, <laughs> well, my voice rather, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, man, I just know it's something you like to do, and I don't want to oh, screw it up for you. Oh. Well, I would have lost either way with that damn hand. True. 
50 bucks, maybe. <laughs> Do you know what this uh, so was? Is it Sophie or Sophia? Sophie. Oh, do, do you know what she Allegedly. looks like? Silver hair, braids, uh... I know, are you making any money off this story? No. It's just something to put out there. Bright red lipstick, long pants, uh... She left evidence in Ansberg, so maybe if you're around there. Oh, okay. But she only, like, uh, well, if I say she <clears throat> preys on men? Uh, I, I think she goes both ways, or she gets men oh, to prey on women. Oh, shit. Oh, okay. Hmm. Well, I am not in oh. any danger. Heck yeah. Well, I think, I think she's on a more personal mission rather than looking for any victims. Okay, so her, her, nor her normal status quo is to go after any guy willing to sleep with her. Name is Debray. Shit. That's what I was expecting. Wow, look at that. <laughs> <laughs> you bastard. You oh, absolute God. son God, of a bitch. A yeah. I'm, going, I'm going all in. One. Daisy, go all in with me. What? Go all in with me. If I lose because of you, <laughs> I'll be so I'm real surprised you got that uh that fishman guy. I thought he was uh, a good boy. A horse? Yeah. I don't know if Ford's been around the block. Really? Wow. Sure. Kidding me? That guy's son of a bitch is a lunatic. I didn't realize. Wait, I thought he I thought he was just like a nice little fishing boy. No no honestly. He, no, he no he's a lunatic and I love for it. Huh. Well, I guess we're all hoping he busts. Uh oh. You better not. You better Come on. not. Yes! 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 Holy <laughs> shit! See that, Thank honey? You, Tim. Thank you. That's the power of love right there, sweetheart. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I won back some money. Thank you. Yes, you did. <laughs> oh, cause of me. Yes. I'm just betting ten. And Robert though. knows what he's I'm doing. Scared. I know what I'm doing. Oh. Let's see if I know what I'm doing. <laughs> Fair enough, Yikes. my friend. Come on! Come on! <laughs> you all right there, buddy? <laughs> no! Wait, you a black... Oh my god, you just saw that! <laughs> you shit me! <laughs> no fair, sir. I'm going 50. He's, he's, he's gonna lose. He has to lose. Mm -hmm. He has to lose. I got a 19. He has to. He has to have a 10. Come on, man. Oh. Okay, so I mean, if he has an 18, you, you push at the very least. You don't lose any money. <laughs> Come on, Robert. Oh! oh, no. I mean, it's only 10 bucks, right? Oh, I, oh, it was, okay. <sighs> it was literally your only 10 bucks. Yeah, I mean, I got bank money, but I'm come getting back, real low. I'm getting real low after uh, buying that deck, that Rhodes oh. deck. Oh, you could buy a deck? Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah the, the Rhodes uh, deck with the, the Rhodes wow. deck. Yeah. Was a Rhodes deck? Yeah. Oh, nice. I thought the Rhodes deck went for a lot of money. That's like, uh, well, I know Blackwater because of the boobies. <laughs> one. For, for no specific reason. Uh, it's a good deck, Daisy. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> so it is. Right. It's beautiful. It, it, yeah. <laughs> she always. Uh-huh. I like Getting this Getting all nervous now. This sure saloon's a lot better than Blackwater. <laughs> I like the, the sunlight. Oh, oh no, it's, ah, uh, it, is, it, is a, it is a nice one. Plus, I think the dealer here is less of a scammer than one of Blackwater. Yeah, yeah it just looks like it small. anyway. Different feels like it. Oh, well, well it pushes that one hand at least. Yeah. <gasps> Dang. So when does that? Uh, when does Jesse come around? Same time as you usually? Oh yeah. Yeah, she's she'll be around a lot. Nice. We got yeah, T. She's, she's a good one. 
We gotta teach her how to safe crack and things like that. I can't right. wait to meet her. Oh, she's very mm -hmm. nice. Oh, hey, Robert, by the way. Um, this time around, man, I want you to talk to the deputies. Because I know, cause, uh, reason being, I don't want Mama to know that um, that people know that she's there. Uh, Forrest is a bit too explosive, so I'm kind of afraid of what he's going to say. Yeah. And me and Daisy are going to be in the back. Right? Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I would like you to talk if you're willing to do that. Yeah, I can do that. I, I can. I got a few voices uh, in uh, in the chamber. All right, excellent. All right, cool. Can you uh, portray some right now? Uh, maybe after this fella. <laughs> oh shit! Yeah, good. yep, good thing. And guess what? I just won 150 bucks. <gasps> hey, you did. Good job. I did. Damn! I didn't I'm, even see that. I went down, fella. This oh dealer's my hot. God. Privet. Oh, I'm just here to. Oh, Fyodor. Oh, hello, hello. How is it going? It's going good. How about you? Uh, good. I'm looking for Magnolia. Uh, we haven't Ooh. seen anyone come through here. What's up here? Okay, well, she used to buy some tarot cards off of me, so I'm trying. I like the vendor, you know, the money would be nice. Maybe the telegram <laughs> station <laughs> or the bank, I maybe. Oh, this is a good idea. Um, that being I'm said, split this I tape. have cards for sale, mm -hmm. uh, playing cards, if anyone interests. Yeah, I bought the Rhodes deck off of this gent. He's a, he's a good oh, salesman. Oh. Oh, I have, okay. Uh, I have I have two decks now. I have two more decks. I have Blackwater deck and Red Cord again deck. Hmm. All right. Now, how, Do you how want much one, Jim? Sorry, uh, what, uh, one time. How much is the Blackwater? Uh, Blackwater I'm selling for three. Oh! We're selling for oh. three. Yeah, I'll take it. I'll Set take it. three. Three. <laughs> three hundred. Oh. oh, okay. You got me all excited. No, it is between uh. 300 and 400 the normal price ask, so I I like to go low end because uh. I like people. Oh, wow. oh, how many it's chips you got there, Jim? 350. <laughs> hey! <laughs> hey, uh, hey Daisy, can you split the can you split the money with me? Yeah, split the money with him. Wait, what? Split can you it? split? Can you can you split? Uh, you give me 150 and because okay. 150 150 is 300. Uh -huh. I appreciate you. Uh, is that mm -hmm. how the math is working out? I don't know. I think you it said, is. You huh? said 300, yeah? No, 300. Yeah, 100. yeah, 150. yeah. 150. Yeah, so 150. Yeah. And 150 I, I am, is pretty. I am salesman, not mathematician. Okay, fair, fair enough. enough. <laughs> how much is the red corrigan? Oh, the red corrigan, uh, I've. I've heard many mixed things. I thought it could go upward to 2,000 or it could be like 500. So I'm thinking maybe I say 1,000 and you t you work me down from there. 1,000? Oh, wow. God, that it is, it is amazing. Is, uh, it is just red. It is red oh, version Van Horn deck, essential. All right, let me let me do this last mm -hmm. hand and then I'll get to you. Duh, no worries. Because yeah, I definitely want the black water one. Da, da, yeah, absolutely. Who wouldn't want the boobies on the car? Exactly. <laughs> Even exactly. I would like that. Right? It, it, it is. <laughs> what? Know, it's so They're like. beautiful. Everybody likes the boobies. Mm-hmm. They're do very like the perky boobies. and go poo-poo. Boobies are beautiful, so. Oh, oh my what God. What the damn. fuck? Twos? I don't even want to split those. That's not even worth it. No, it's not. Yeah, let yeah. me go get deck uh, while this right. so you yes. so there's Perfect. no uh, yeah. Nah, nah. Please do, please do. I'm assuming that's a no on red corrigan. Uh, yeah, no on red corrigan. Okay, thousand, uh, uh, yeah, thousand, huh? thousand a bit too pricey. Oh, I get it. <clears throat> well, so this would be my first deck that I ever bought. <laughs> uh, yeah, that red corrigan deck looks like shit. I saw I saw someone play it. And it just oh, yeah. it looks it looks like a free deck they kind of give everyone, but really like, cr like crudely what? drawn. Okay, who would want that? Yeah, I don't like it. Hmm. Blackwater's nice, though. Yeah, but it is, isn't it, Robert? <laughs> yeah, Blackwater's <laughs> nice. Uh, I like the animal deck because it has bears with swords on it, and that's kind of, that's pretty... Uh... Oh, I still haven't seen that one. I'm curious. Yeah, uh, ironically, Jimmy plays with it a lot. He has that Oh, as, as deck, okay. Yeah. <sighs> Valentine deck's uh, nice too, actually. Oh, yeah? Oh, Valentine deck, very nice. I just sold one <laughs> recently. Oh, that's there for this. I'm, I'm gonna do another hundred, and then I'm ending there. Of course, absolutely. Take your time. 
sure. I will, I will never rush uh, such fantastic customers, huh? Well, thank you. <laughs> would you try How to sweet be you as, are. Uh, you try to be as high spirited as possible. Yeah, oh. singing praise everywhere, Fyodor. Oh, that, well, you know. <laughs> calm down. You calm down. Okay. <laughs> hey, you know what? We love a man who can tell himself okay. Okay. Da, oh uh, look, I know, God. I know when to fold them and when to hold them. Huh? It is that is the song of America. Yes, it is. Do you know when to walk away, my friend? Oh, oh no, gosh. that one I'm still working on. I, I know that is the <laughs> I know this is third act of song, so maybe I get there in uh, third act of life, huh? Maybe. Hopefully, Hopefully but because it's either I've learned to walk away or I die. Huh? Oh, you gotta be kidding well, me! Well, the fucking bank. <laughs> Oh, this guy. Oh, this guy, huh? Uh -huh. Yeah, let's the bank one. Okay, okay. I follow. <laughs> right, Please so... do not rob me. Uh, of course not. Oh, dude, no, I want, I want to buy the titties deck off of you. Yeah. That would, that, that would, I think that would hurt. <laughs> Alright, if I, I get my, my hand to your chest and just... Oh, that, God. That would have felt too good, now would it? No, I don't think it would have felt too good, huh? God, no. I'm probably gonna put 50 more dollars on the blackjack table just to make my count even. Oh, yeah? Yeah, I don't like seeing it with 50, but it just bothers me. It bothers oh, I didn't see that, too. actually. I, I understand there. Yeah, I mean, mm -hmm. if, it's like, if, it's like, if it's like 350 bucks, I get it. I'm 50, I'm 50 dollars closer to 400 bucks, but I don't care. It just exactly. looks ugly. It looks it's weird. Them. Yeah, and mm -hmm. so well, currently in my bank, I, I just withdraw. Two uh, twenty-four dollar and thirty-one cents. Because just like, you wanted to even. No, I wanted to see zeros. I did not want exactly. to see. Exactly, it's much more pretty. Mm -hmm. Right, it is so many numbers too. Yeah, plus, uh, plus uh, I take the cents out as well. The one making it. So, so I want to. I want to be a hundred dollars and zero zero cents. Oh mm -hmm. yes, zero cents. I I thought you said different word. I did not understand. Oh. All right, let me go. <laughs> 200 is it? Yeah, 200. Oh, I thought I had way more money. Wow, I thought I had more money in the bank. Oh, oh I feel sorry, that, Robert. huh? And my love, if you <laughs> could go ahead and get me. Well, Robert, you... if you need money, I spot you, huh? <laughs> I feel like you'd be a man who would really yeah. chase me down. Thank but you. you I owe you. Maybe, maybe. <laughs> All right, my friend. Thank All you. All right. No, oh, thank you. I appreciate Heck you yeah. buying it. You are both very nice people, and your eye patch is very nice. I have the same <laughs> one. Oh, oh really? Right. No, I can't see it from my left eye. I just I, this is glass. Oh, okay. Yeah, for me, I got scratched by a little house cat. Oh, I got shot in head. Oh, oh my Jesus! Goodness. No, I'm. You're no. lucky to be alive, then. No, I know that. It's wow. You should probably say oh, that God. instead, Jim. So you got shot. Yeah, I, I got shot, and, and the bullet, and the bullet scratched down my see, eye a little bit. Is that right? Uh, I Robert, look at my face. Huh? Oh, that is. Uh, how much? How much? How much to describe about the bullet that's going down? The scratch going down. That makes no damn sense, man. What? Oh my gosh! Uh, they have to take out uh, and a pack of wolves came after me. I only had a knife, so I fended off ten of them. Perfect. Yeah, right. But you were you were under when they did that, right? Or didn't feel it? I had I had vodka. It was what? You gotta be kidding me! No, I had I had the vodka in the snow. It was it was painful, but I got through, huh? Come on. That's impressive. Whoa! I want I want I want to look at these new cards. Oh, okay. Well, yeah, like I said, fun fact, my, my first deck of cards. Uh, Robert, do you want to buy a deck of cards, huh? Yeah, you <laughs> son of a bitch. Okay, okay. I, I think we're going to do our try, huh? Where the hell did they go? Oh, they went back to the black deck table. They do not know how to stop. They, they don't. But I'm curious to see the Rhodes deck in action too, so. No, no, to get you. Oh. oh, are you going to play the poker? Uh, I always play poker, but I think they're going to blackjack. Oh, fair enough. I was going to say good luck, huh? Yeah, I'm right. to try find Magnolia. 
Uh, yeah, I've heard the name before, but I don't know where they are. Uh, I think there is a camp somewhere around here, but uh, oh, she has is... she has a house nearby. Uh, duh, duh, maybe that is where I think it is. Uh, to yeah, there's the north or north. Yeah, I think there's a ranch on it. There's at least two stables uh, there. A friend of mine, Scarlet, lives with her or is friends with her, and she showed me that around before, but I've never met her personally. Oh, I get, I get that. Huh? Uh, do you patterns maybe know where? I do not. I think it. I think it is just like a little bit north, but I'm not sure. It's either one of those houses to the north of roads, the uh, uh, or near like Matic Pond. Yeah, the ones near. Uh, yeah, or near Matic Pond. Yeah, or okay. yeah. I think it's one of those, honestly. I appreciate you have good night, You as well. Be safe. Good luck in the next two years. Fucking bitch. <laughs> I wanna play I wanna play blackjack. <laughs> I wanna play blackjack. Because, you know, I threw in 50 bucks and I gave you my luck. And now I'm going to lose because I gave you all my luck. That's well, it. I appreciate it. Yeah, no problem, fella. Oh. I don't think that matters much, but it helps. Oh, my. See that? See? 100 bucks, baby. Oh, my. Dude. Holy shit. Amazing. Hey, so listen. crazy. Put in Don't all your 50 bucks. All of it? All of it. Oh my. I know it, oh, and I'll, I'll, I'll match you 10 more dollars. So I'll put in 25. Don't advise him to. <laughs> oh, we doing it. We doing it. We doing it. Oh my gosh. I hope you know what you're doing there, sir. I, got I have no idea. Oh this god. Is this is my deck. <laughs> Hitting, though. Should I hit again? Oh gosh. Uh... Um. Don't. Okay, listen. I may have fucked you, cause I think he has a tin under there. To be completely honest, um, Damn, I'd how say could stand you? and hope for the best. Open. Here's the hope. So. Come on, come on. Now, I have a blackjack. I'm not scared at all. Oh Either shit. I'm... What? You have blackjack. Oh, yeah, I can't lose. All I can really do is just. I'm know, bust. Push. Bust. So, hoping here, here's an open. Fuck. Oh, damn it. What? I'm broke. Oh, no. Oh, That's no. my life savings. What? What'd you do to no, me? I, I, it ain't. It, it ain't. Oh, okay. Hey, Daisy. Yeah? If you give him 15 bucks, I'll give you 20. What? Wait, what? Uh, if, you, if you give him 15 bucks, I'll hand you over 20. But I don't have anything on me. Oh, don't you not? Damn. No. I could go get yeah. some though, if you want me to. I got like hundred dollar in the bank. You don't gotta give me fifteens. What's up? It's up to you, honey. If you wanna go down there. I mean, yeah. Okay. You give me fifteen dollars? Sure. I'm the one who told you to go all, all in with it. Are you rich? No. I was like, I ain't either. Man. You know anyone selling guns? Um. If you're talking about the folks down at the gun shop, yeah, they shoot guns all the time. Yeah, but they don't really sell like the nice ones with like longer barrels and stuff. Um, I don't know any folks that do that, no. Good job, Robert. Now, I want to What's your name, Mr. Oh, my name is Jim. I think we've met, hasn't we? Um, how long ago? I don't know. I got a lot of concussions. Fair enough. Now, watch this, boys. This is how you get $200. Boom. Oh, my good lord. That's how you get $200. Okay. Uh -oh. oh, blackjack, Actually, blackjack, blackjack. Good job, man. Now, 
watch me get a 21 rally. You bastard. Well, here's the hope of buses. Are you sure to hit again? No, not for, no, I'm betting this much money. I play very carefully. I'll hit again, Robert. Get a 21, you bastard. I hate, I hate nice. this dealer. I hate this fucking dealer so much. Please bust. Oh. You can keep that 15. I'm doing it. <laughs> oh, no. I'd say no, some too no, if you ever want that. How much do you have on you? Well, I. I, I sold out in Valentine. What was your name? My name is Robert. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. What's your name? I'm Skeeter, the man beater. <laughs> hey, Skeeter. This guy's about to beat us. Let's see what we got here. Where did Jim go? He He's ran out into the ring. Yeah. Wait. <laughs> what? He's just screaming he, about he's the upset. money and Miss Daisy's is gonna beat me again and. Oh my. Yeah. It's, 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 <sighs> a, it's a big thing. My goodness. Oh, <laughs> see, now he's all uh, upset now. Jim, what did you do? Yeah, what did you do, Jim? What did Robert tell you I did? I know what you did. <laughs> what did I do? You know what you did? I did not find the butter. I figured I'd come check one last time, huh? No, no magnolia here, I'm sorry. No, it was all no. good. You know, I have to go sleep off this money made, huh? <laughs> uh, <laughs> <laughs> Dream about uh, how uh, rich you are. Well, I'm in Nebbe. Look I at the cards on the rich. table now. That's the Rhodes deck. Oh, is it really? Yeah, they're looking beautiful. Thank oh, you. Looking beautiful, just like everyone at the table. Aww. Except the dealer. Does the dealer look me? Thank you. you. What do you say, Komi? Yeah, so the dealer's an asshole. Oh, I thought you called me an asshole. Oh, gosh! What did what the you know. do? do? What did you do know. to you? you Damn, <laughs> I get it, but like, why? Okay, I'm gonna go into bed. Good night. Right. Good night. Good night. night. <laughs> I like him. Yeah, he's a good sort. <laughs> he's usually at the Valentine table, just thrown down. Oh, okay. <sighs> ah, it's my dick. Oh, look at you, two kings. Look at those. Beautiful. Yep, yep. <laughs> <laughs> what? Yeah, look at those, huh? Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, instead of breasts, some of these spades and everything, you know, like, like the. Uh, look like butts. <laughs> Okay. Oh, well. There's your school. What? Oh. I don't want to be here no more. Oh. Do I stink or something? Deal just stinky asshole. Yeah, you hate that dealer. Uh huh. Well, Robert does. Pick and wheat, What? 
What you doing? Uh. <laughs> Lost all my money. No, I have thirty dollars. Aww. You okay? Yeah, I'm okay. Thirty dollars okay. left. Uh, no. To my name, I have about $150 overall. Oh, all right, well, let's, do, let's do a moonshine run, Dan. I'll help you, yeah. Oh, Excellent. thank you. Come on, get up. Okay. I got questions. Questions oh, we can yeah? answer, I'm sure. How much them runs give you? About 300 Really? <laughs> That's a good idea, Dan. It is, isn't it? Yeah, I, I always just set them to people's so I get the word around because I have really good moonshine, but I need to do some of them. Oh, yeah, it is definitely a quick money maker. You need to watch out for the law, that's all. Yep, yep. <laughs> well, you guys be safe, be careful, don't get thrown in jail. Thanks, Thank Feller. I appreciate you, man. You have a good day. Yeah, you tease. Well, I'll put, I'm putting $500, $500 back into my account, which is over. <laughs> well, mine's just going down. <laughs> God damn it. Well, I have 1700 today. Or was it 1600 actually? And that was more than You should, you should put away your deck if you didn't. Well, Dan, we should buy money to buy sugar. We should buy money to buy sugar. Okay. Yeah, I was, I was worried about losing my deck, so I wanted to put it oh. in the bank. You know? That woman's yeah. not okay. That woman crying. Okay, what? The one that's passed us? What card? The cards in my bank? No, they don't. These things? Playing card. I need to find 52. Oh, no stack. My bad. But these don't, because these are playing cards and tarot cards. So just these two stack. <laughs> but that was. Next up, we appreciate field. the tip. Thank you very much. <laughs> what? That's how you say it. No, I would never make fun of you. Are oh, you just admiring it? <laughs> All right, come on, Robert. You got the sugar? Hey, Robert, do you have the sugar too? Yep. Or didn't you buy it yet? You bet I do. Oh, okay, perfect. I don't have shit. I don't have any sugar. Let's <laughs> buy it so we can make it immediately. Right, that makes sense. 
Alright, we're, we're, we're gonna be like a snake and, we, and we're gonna take the uh, most direct route. Wait, where are we going, though? The most direct route. Really? Okay. Yeah. I can snake this thing. Wait, 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 come over here, come over here. Oh. I came across this place in my travels. Oh, yeah? This might be a, a good, um, you know, hey, uh, we're lost and we're all gonna meet in some location area. Oh. Oh, yeah, shit, you're you can right. go <gasps> mm -hmm. That's not, Ooh, that's not all, that's not place. all. Really? What else is there? Oh, there's a fireplace. Yeah, uh -huh. there's a little door here that you can open up. Oh, hey! Wait, what? <gasps> what? What the hell? Yep, 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 yep. This is this is what working for the paper gets me. What the? Knowledge. Fuck? Tell me, Robert. This is crazy. There's a lot of people come this way. Between us girls, who told me about this place was Christine, <laughs> uh, Mama. She really? told me about this place. She was held hostage here and kidnapped here. So I think what? this place is this place is used as sort of a you know place to keep someone off the grid. I oh, I, I, oh, I was gonna say God. it seems all kind of off the grid. So I was wondering if we could meet up here after tomorrow and that's yeah. Oh. So this could absolutely be used as a staging sort of place or a hideaway or. That what would be you. perfect. What, Look at this place. What I'm thinking is, okay, yeah. So I'll tell Mama. The thing is, I don't want to be here because Christine. I don't want her to be. Oh. I know. I know a lot more places like this. So, um, we all gonna find a perfect spot because I, I want. I want us all to meet up somewhere. I mean, the rest of my places that I know are in the Bayou or north of the Bayou near Annisburg. So, really far oh, away. Oh, okay. Well, I, I, like before, like before it happens, I'm gonna make sure everyone knows exactly where they're going, if they do get split up from us. Because ultimately, I think my next plan here is once we get up into the mountains and run around on those a little bit, uh, which is what my plan is. I want to go up into the mountains, not the mountains you hate, Daisy, of course, but uh, okay. the mountain, the mountains where we get to run around and and hopefully they fall and we don't. Um, Wait, so which bank are we actually doing? We do have that. Uh, plan, right? I think it's roads. You think it's roads. You should know. It's okay, I'm um, positive. Okay. Yeah, so we'll do roads. Mm -hmm. uh, so like I said, it'll be me, you, Robert, uh, Mama, and Forrest. Okay. And me, you, Forrest, and Mama are gonna go into the back. We're gonna we're gonna crack it because all four of us know how to. Oh. And Robert okay. will be the one talking. Right. Yeah, that, that's good if we have many people cracking, actually, because mm -hmm. they're going to be done a lot quicker. And mm -hmm. yeah. Because that one robbery, I felt like I just heard, like, two deputies outside or something. And because it took so long, four more arrived. So it would be good if we were as fast as possible. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. So what I'm, what I'm thinking here is that, um, with that being said, uh, we need to find a place that all of us can be together. So where where do you, where do you guys reckon a good meeting spot is? Because I don't want to bring Mama Christine here because I don't want her to get that, you know, that um, frightened sense that she'll probably get when she comes here. I, well, I where do you? What's the, the what's the general vicinity enough. you want to be? You, uh, so so if, gonna, if you're gonna, doing roads, I highly suggest the swamp. I know the swamp. Actually, you know what? Uh, Hold on, we'll, we'll switch it. We won't do roads. I'm, I'm realizing how far away roads is from any mountaintops. 
Oh, okay. Well, I don't know why you got uh, it. it's such a, a fondness for the mountains. Well, well I mean, I'm, 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 try, I'm trying to be a bit. I'm trying to be a bit creative. I don't know if that's creative. Uh, continue, continue. Sure. We could take. We could take on Valentine. <laughs> um. Yeah. I mean, it, it would be a weekday, so maybe not as busy in town. Um, mm-hmm. I mean, if you want to be real creative from Valentine, just run north and maybe someone can rent you a canoe to go down the river. <laughs> <laughs> that is a possibility. So maybe we should start thinking about up north and what we can do up there as I like the snow. I went up there once and it was miserable up there, so I imagine no deputy is going to go up in the thick snow. The, th the thing is, my, here's my problem with it, though, is that ultimately they're going to shoot. If it, I mean, literally, we were three seconds from Black from from Oat. They said immediately they're gonna shoot. Immediately, it didn't take them a second. They said we're gonna shoot you. We're gonna shoot you. We're gonna they shoot you. Kept saying that though, over and over and over again, and they never shot. Only when I started shooting did they do that. So, I think they're just saying that to be honest. They're pressuring you to do it first because they they just can't do it. Before you uh, act, I don't think. Honestly, you know what? I think it might just depend on the deputy themselves. Yeah, you're probably right that that has a factor as well. Because uh, I know, I know for a fact that a lot of lawmen, um, some of them have come back, come from outlaw okay. backgrounds. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. So here, okay. So what we're gonna do? I don't give everyone a telegram tomorrow, uh, but. I'm gonna tell you guys personally, so I shouldn't be shouldn't too. Uh, so we'll meet up. Okay, so Emerald Ranch, right? Mm -hmm. There's a saloon there. We'll meet up there. What time are All you? Right. What time are you available, Robert? Uh, I've got some folks out of town I have to deal with, but beyond that, I should be uh, around six p.m. Oh, okay. Perfect. Okay, six six about six p.m. Um, you know, in the New York time. Yeah, if, so, if something comes up, I'll, I'll send you um, an express telegram if you catch my. Oh, I do. Oh, yes, perfect. about six p.m. is when you should be available. All right, yep. I'd say at six thirty, everyone meets up at the saloon. Okay. So six thirty, we'll meet up at the saloon, and then around seven o'clock, we'll hit it. Unless anyone here thinks we need to do it later or earlier. No, I mean, I feel like. Uh... That's a good time. Mm -hmm. Okay, so uh, so uh, I say I say around seven, maybe seven thirty. Make sure everyone's absolutely ready. But you just just make sure you smoke smoke your cigarettes, drink some whiskey, just breathe. There's no rush. If we can't do it tomorrow, that's okay. Yeah. Oh, Miss Miss Daisy gave me the whole spiel. Mm -hmm. Okay, then we're good. Then we're absolutely great. Yes. I, w I mean, I mean, more or less. And I was talking to Miss Daisy about this. I was just stressed out. Yeah. No, I get it. Attention. Which, are when it comes when it comes to shooting those deputies, that was all stress. Yeah, I was just really stressed out that day. Uh, normally, that ain't me. It was. I gotta tell you, Jim, I, it, it was poetic. It was beautiful. Just the the way that the smoke came out of the guns and then the tree lines. Oof. That was, that was is that right? I'm glad yeah. You're well, okay. But well, I mean, me 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 robbing that bank was out of stress, and then me running with all loot we just had was out of stress. And uh, my fight or flight instinct came in, and I chose to fight. Once again, out of stress because I wasn't breathing properly, and I yeah. thought and thought my fiance was really hurt. So, you know, that added to everything on top of that, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, if you're still thinking roads, yeah, I know a lot of places where you can be safe around roads, as close as the swamp or as north as Ann's. Okay. I know in that places. case, we are going to rely on you then. Yeah, I can do yeah, that. Yeah, because I really do think that he's got a good idea about okay. it. Okay. So we could try to And I, and I can show it to you tomorrow. If, if, if I'm around more early, I can show you all the places that I know. There's a lot of wonderful places. Yeah, okay. Oh, we, yes. we, yeah, we, we can do that. So, so and, and the way I'm thinking it is will be you and Mama, because I want Mama to be out safely because she is pretty damn important to make sure she doesn't get caught. She told me specifically that she doesn't want to go back to Sissica. So. Yeah, she's plus, she, plus she, yeah, exactly. 
Yeah. Uh, it would be Miss Daisy going under the horse and a forest on his own. Mm-hmm. We'll have forest in the back, me and Miss Daisy second, and then you, Mama, in front. That's how we're going to plan it. We'll follow you. Once we're inside of the bayou, you will let us, like beforehand, you'll let us know where safe spots are and we'll all split up. Yeah. And then when we split up, we are going to meet up. How does Moonstone Pond sound to you guys? It's just above Heartland Overflow. Above Emerald Ranch. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Looks like there's a house there, I think. So, yeah, we can meet up there. If, uh, worst case, Ontario. Perfect. So, oh, okay. Uh, at the pond itself, you mean? Yeah, the, at, at the pond itself, yeah. Yeah, oh, but, okay. there's a house there. Mm-hmm. Mm. But there's, you'll be with me anyway, so you'll be fine. Yes. Mm-hmm. So, the, the best sure. piece of advice I can give you for the bayou is that the alligators, they don't give a shit about you, but the second you're in the water, oh, that, that's yeah. when they're going to come see, for you. Jim, you see? And have I had a problem with it here? Not Stay yet. Stay out of the water, or if you're going in the water, make sure to look for their eyes on the surface, mm-hmm. and then stay your steer clear. You listen closely. Now, my, my, now, now the thing is, is should we now i'm starting to re- rethink this a little bit what? should we have everyone on different horses instead oh you th- yeah. hmm. it might be wise i know it's not the most i know you want to do a little bit uh, more creativity and such but i think for the for the it's the, easier to split up that way if we have to yeah because i'm thinking firstly it's not to slow down the horses as much mm, not too you know, I just I just want to make sure everyone is packed together just in case anything happens. That's my thing about it. Yeah. Because usually when it comes down to everyone being split apart, it, it usually goes down poorly. Yeah. Well, cool. mm-hmm. we got to think about that. Well, we just got to think about the, the harsh lessons we learned last time. So st- steering clear of populated telegram stations, uh, mm-hmm. uh, coming up with the, you know, a place where we can meet up. And if we can't meet up there, then at least we can, you know, if you have a notebook, you can leave a piece of paper. Or maybe, you know, mm-hmm. leave your own details in the area, so to speak. Yes. Um, and all that sort of stuff. Right. Okay. Well, um, yeah, Moonstone Pond is where we will all... Meet up at uh, Robert be talker, me, Daisy, Forrest, and Mama are gonna be the crackers. Um, and then we'll all uh, are we gonna agree on you know, I called you, you know exactly what I called you. (laughs) What? Uh, (laughs) called him a cracker. (laughs) 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 I know. Anyway, um, are we all going to agree on different horses as well? I, I just bought a $1,000 horse, so yeah, of course, I'm all for my horse. I thought it was a new horse. I was going to ask you. Another, another new another horse. New horse? You yeah. were getting a lot of money. My goodness. It's just fishing. I just fish and then save it. Huh. All righty. All right, excellent. Uh, and everyone, an, everyone should have a decent-ass payday from this, too. It's oh, an Arabian, yeah. so he, he goes for a while. Oh, wow. Excellent. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So, different horses. Everyone is. Uh, Toby can run quite a distance, can he? Yes, he can. Okay. And then we're all going to the, into the bayou. Uh, as a matter of fact, we can go down there right now. You can show us some safe places. If you want, yeah. Um... Yeah, so we'll go, we're all going different things. We'll follow Robert's plan. Um, and then, um, the moment of Moonstone Pond, everyone gets, uh, everyone every doesn't get paid. I have to I have to meet up with Sam Bass. Mm. Don't rely on him. Make sure keep Kim at like what? Didn't you say Emmett? Emmett seems uh constant. I've I've seen that Sam guy once, but I, he maybe he's one of those Saint Denis people. He is. So I'm um, yeah. actually on only on with Klaus too. So Klaus Oh yeah. He wrote that little poly shop down here. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah, no, I don't know about him, but hear about him. You make me are you bitch. <laughs> <laughs> all right. <laughs> all right. Well, let's go to these places you know about. Yeah. All righty. All 
All right, let's do this thing. Yeah. yeah, this one's real interesting. It's uh, it's in. Yeah, I've, I've never seen any sort of notes or nothing, so I don't think anyone lays claim to it. Hmm. Excellent. I think this one, this one, I think was another lead from Christine. Uh, oh, this place to meet up or to be locked to lose me? The, the next one I'm we're headed to. Okay. Oh, okay. Oh, by the way, i uh, Robert. Yeah. So, uh, I mean, this yard knows best, so it's not really a secret or nothing, but I'm setting up a, I'm setting up doing things for the wind between us. <laughs> yeah. And, um, I wonder if you'd be able to attend at one point. Absolutely. Hey, awesome, man. Absolutely, yeah. I love that, man. Yeah, <laughs> uh, of course. I mean, I, I know, like, a little girl usually is a ring bearer, but you can be our little girl. <laughs> I'll, 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 I'll be beautiful. Don't worry. I want, I want you to like a pretty little dress and things. You get oh, to be the flower girl too, huh? I tried to I tried to find a, a nice dress for our last heist. I thought it'd be oh, real yeah. funny to yeah to be in a dress and, and do a nice little uh, voice. <laughs> that would have been so hilarious. Right. Oh, and uh, and um, I'm um, trying to get Tony to give me a few contacts he has for for the wedding. Um, <laughs> Told him like, at uh, his mansion. That's oh, the Dicenzo's mansion, and I don't think yeah, they'd buy that. I, I really don't think they would care one bit about us, you know. Even if it is for Miss Tony's sake, you know, they're like doing him a favor or something. Uh, you don't. never know. You never know. I'll ask him. Where Daisy wants to get married at is uh, at that flower uh, area in the where where near our home is. Yeah, oh, yeah Big it's beautiful out there. Yes, it's so yes, beautiful yes. all around you. I just I love that place. So, so yeah, I was thinking you, you're the one who could bring the ring. I think that'd be real nice, you know. Yeah. <laughs> and then um, and uh, I'm not sure this works. Can I have two best men, or is there only one? I mean, you can have as many wedding. as you want. Is, is yeah, that right? You, you could have ten yeah. if you want. Okay, I thought, I thought I thought it was only one. No, we make the rules, all right, at our wedding. <laughs> Oh, this one. Oh, this one. Okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh this one. Creepy. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna. I'm, I'm, okay, okay. You two can check that out. I'm gonna take a take a fish and leg. Oh, okay. I'm taking my gun out. Give me a moment. Careful. Ooh. What the fuck? Alright, we're good. This is creepy. There's a note on the door, by the way. Oh, there is. What the heck is by Robert M. Tama or something? What is this? Huh. Where the, where the fuck Jim go? Because this area is not somewhere to be lost in. Oh, there's Jim. Okay. Oh, okay, okay. There should be a news. Yeah, there's a newspaper clipping here, which is pretty interesting. Yeah, by the I saw mirror. That. Yeah, um, and that warning. I, is it the same warning? Yeah. Oh, the, oh, yeah. The there it the is. Bayou. Yep. What the fuck? Huh? That is really creepy. What's really disturbing is kind of down here. Wait, what? There's some more? 
This poor guy. <gasps> yeah, I don't think he's on. What the f I, I came here with some rangers and we, we checked him out and we don't think oh he's alive, God. unfortunately. Yeah, but we what think he's... Thing? He looks so... Yeah, it seems like people oh. are feeding. Feeding him, like people and stuff like that. Oh my gosh. I mean, I know they're kind of aggressive beings, but this no, is they're, really oh, they're not even awful. aggressive. They're, they're, they don't mind me at all. Unless I'm, if I'm in the water, they get they get pretty pissed yeah, off. Yeah, I guess but... you're intruding on their home, and that's understandable. But oh my god, this poor yeah. fella! Look at him. Oh, dang! That is really creepy and wrong. But yeah, this uh, this is a good spot. It's an interesting spot that I I've not Definitely. run into anyone here necessarily. Mm. I've just run into these warnings. Yeah. Beyond that, um, really it. Mm. Oh, and there's a grave here. Oh, of course there is. Oh, then, oh yeah, look at that. Corey Claim. Hmm. So when I was here, so when I was here, I came here with a, a group of uh, fellow and oh, oh shit, my head. Oh, 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 no. um, oh, you're okay. Yeah, I came here with a group of investigators, and uh, there were some rangers here too. But they had heard of this fella, and they had heard of that newspaper clipping in the in the uh, building. Oh. There's a, a, a newspaper clipping near the mirror here, and there's a, a stern warning against the bridge. Final toll will sound my greatest coming. Huh. It's the last line that really gets me about the maw and the. Well, I it's... know you. Yeah. What the fuck? This is. And here's some more. Wait, did it what change? The... I didn't read it. Oh. From the snow to the cave, I gave everything for art, and I learned too much and nothing at all. Huh. Wait, what is new? Wait, where? Above this window here, two of them. Hmm. I don't see Wait, anything. what? Here's another one. The moon will shine on in the darkness. What the? I I could swear I didn't see this a second ago. Is this place haunted? Is this cursed? What? Could be. I know of a few witch doctors out here. Really? Fortune tellers, yeah. Oh, God. Yeah, I'm officially creeped out. <laughs> Welcome to my last <laughs> couple weeks. Uh-huh. You okay, Jean? Oh, Jesus Christ, with this warning. Wow, this is quite the warning. Yep. I think it... Uh. I, I can't tell if it says Gang of the Bayou or Bane of the Bayou, but... Uh, I can't tell either with the I think it's uh, Bane of the blood. Bayou. Yeah. 
think it's, I thought it was wine. Maybe it's both. Oh, maybe it's... Oh, I, I don't even want to know, to be honest, right now. Seems really creeped out himself. Uh, what I will, what I, what I can say is the alligators are more dangerous than the cannibals or anything else out here. Because I've yet, yeah. to, meet, I've yet to meet any of these people or any, mm. any witches or any cannibals or any, you know, yeah. mean alligators. But, but Miss Daisy, mm. it doesn't what? stop here. <gasps> it doesn't? It doesn't stop here. You're kidding me. There's more? You doing all right, Jim? Uh, what are you talking about? Uh, uh, are you, you haven't said a word. Are you just, are you just. What, no, I see you said it doesn't stop here. What do you mean? This shit. Did you not read the warning? Did you not read everything in here? Yeah, I read it. All right. Yeah. Yeah, there you go. Uh -huh. and I'm going to take this uh, rosewood hair brush and propel you. No, I think they were just feeding him. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, you better throw that back. I don't want to even touch that thing. Yeah, devil and all that other. Dumb I don't shit. know if it's the devil or just just some crazy bastards. <laughs> Get some crazy yeah. bastards. Oh. Are we, are we looking for places of the bank robbery or we're going on conspiracy theories? Oh, don't you worry. It's all chaos out here. Uh huh. This I is believe. Realm. And they, they're certainly, <laughs> they're certainly gonna oh, lose gosh. it. They're certainly, they're certainly gonna lose us over here. I mean, when you, when I, I showed that place to a group of rangers and they got all fucked up. All right, we're gonna. Let me see. Is there anything in the water? All right, we're going for it. Oh. I don't see any of the gators. We're okay. Okay. Trust you guys now, then. Mind you, I'm not holding the gun to look tough. It's just I've been, yeah. I mean, you I've never been approached know. By people here, yeah. I'm sure it's not just people too. Plus, on top of that, you said that there's a uh, other certain kinds of people. Witch doctors, fortune tellers. I mean, we got some cannibals. Yeah, I think this was the town at some point. I mean, mm. you got a lot of buildings you can enter in here, misery, rest for a spell. It seems like oh, some yeah. sort of town that started up and then just. Uh, uh, yeah, it seems like a bar. Definitely looks like it. Yeah. It definitely looks like a bar, yeah. 
Really? You think it's a bar? I, oh, I think yeah. it looks like a little general store, like a yeah, really like small one. Like or for fishing store. or... Dumping oh, there. you're right. You're right. Yeah. See the table like this and I immediately think the bar. Yeah. <laughs> But I feel as though the swamp is content to swallow it up. Can't pee, can't see. Nope. I wouldn't trust the food here, though. Uh, I don't know. God helps those who helps themselves. Canned goods are good forever, they say. Hello? Hello? Excuse me? Hello? What happened? Careful. There's a person all the way down there. She just yeah. straight up rode through us. She did uh, just a second ago, too. Riding back, I guess. The hell? She's just riding off. Hmm. I guess so. Weirdo. That's a little right. weird. Yeah, just going back and forth like that. Hmm. Oh, well. Oh, wait. What was that? Oh. Home. Okay. Present your symbol. Bury it in the dirt. What? Seek the snake. Diamond back. And the telegram number. Huh. Interesting. Welcome huh. to the mystery I've been trying to solve. I've, uh, I've, I've yeah. telegrammed them. I haven't oh, you have anything back in yeah, now. Oh, damn. I think this area is some sort of cult area or some what? sort. What? You're going to join the cults there, buddy? I, I well, pretended to get I wanted to join. Yeah. I, I said I, I mean, wanted to seek enlightenment, to. Mr. Snake, and so far I haven't gotten anything, really. Oh, that sounds really sketchy. Yeah. Um... This one's, I, I like this area. It seems like there's a lot of uh, moonshiners that come out here. Mm, okay. There's some, there's a distillery. Oh yeah, look at that. There it there. is. Oh, We're yeah. gonna make moonshine. <laughs> Speaking oh, of which. I think we passed the building for that. Yeah, that's true. We were supposed to do that. But now we're looking at this. It's important for tomorrow. Yes, I think it's very important. But how, how is this important for tomorrow? Places to, that know. we can establish as a contingency plan. Yes. Plan plans B through Z. Uh, so what are we supposed to do? Go off our horses and follow a specific plan? You know, I'm confused. No. Well, he's showing us the places so we can, you know, determine where should we hide together. Yeah, whatever you, whatever, right? whatever you enjoy the most. I'm giving you a tour of places I know that other mm -hmm. fellow people that live outside of the norms of society tend to dwell at. All right. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's not. What 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 lawmen? Can you think of a lawman that's going to willingly come out here? Every single one of them. They are very persistent. Perhaps, but it's very easy to get lost in here regardless. I mean, look at this True. poor unfortunate Ugh. bastard right here. Yeah. Mm, that's disgusting smell. Mm -hmm. Oh, shit, there's a tongue out. <laughs> uh, breathe through your mouth. Breathe through your mouth. <laughs> well, if you're feeling brave, I got another good spot for you. Cool. Oh. Um, and Miss Daisy, this this area, this area here is wonderful for fishing. Oh, it is. Yeah, Head. Oh, see, yeah. See look at yet. that. Oh, finally a good place. No one's gonna bother you, and you can sell and stay in the nation. Yeah, that's perfect. Yeah, she she was trying to find a good spot to fish out here. She just couldn't figure it out. Yeah, I found this. one spot, but I just kept getting those really really big fishes, and I don't need those. No, you'll get like one or two oh, right crash. here. Hold on. Oh, perfect. What? What is it? Be right back. I have to get back. Yeah, I'll be right back. Oh. A lot of cat. Oh, okay. You know what? You know what I've been having to do. I've been even though you're in a lake, 
Sometimes yeah. I use a river lord and it still works. So really? Do that. Yeah, it's a little odd. Huh? Yeah, I've had to do the opposite in the river. I had to use a lake <laughs> one because nothing was biting. Yeah, That'd it's just weird. switching it up. Like here, I would on. use it. Here, you would think I'm going to use a swamp lore, but sometimes yeah. a lake lore will work. Exactly. Where do you even use the swamp lore then? I haven't gotten anything with my. Uh, I use lore. it here, and I get I get a lot of catfish. Really? Yeah. Oh huh. well, I'll definitely try that one here then. It's very interesting. It's, it's very peaceful out here. Like. Well, like I said, the alligators is. don't care for you unless you're in their, uh, in their kingdom. Yeah. Who is that over there? Just running around. Huh. Wait, that where? blue house. Somebody ran into the blue house over there. Oh, he's actually outside of it. I wonder who that could be. Oh. It's not a cannibal, is it? Are they outside the blue house? Oh, there's a horse. Where are they? Uh, well, he parked his horse there, and just, uh, where did he go? I can't see him anymore right now, but he's definitely there. This horse is to the left area that, that you can see. That brown one? The white mm -hmm. spots? Yeah, yeah, that was definitely his horse. Now, where did you go? He's, like, behind the house now, somewhere. Unfortunately, my horse will get us away because of the lantern. Yeah, you, I mean, you can always take it off. What you two looking at? There's a a person. By the blue house in the distance. Just buy it for some reason. I'm fucking kill him. Oh! Mr. Robert! <laughs> what? Whoa. Yeah. Yeah. That's not what you do with the alligators. He's gone. Jim. Oh. Oh my god. Did the man pop out of the house? No. <laughs> What's wrong with Daisy? Fuck's sakes. What? I'm mad at you. I'm not speaking to you right now. Is that right? Uh-huh. Why are you mad at me? Because you walked into the water like an idiot! I was being careful! <sighs> that get hurt? I was being careful. <laughs> Always fucking say that. <laughs> You're not careful. Hey, so Robert, uh, where's your corset? Where's what? Robert? Um. Oh, oh there, there we is. go. Damn it! Hey, still! I'm happy, I'm happy oh, you hold this for me. I don't see that man at all anymore. What the? Oh. You want me to move up? Can you get it? All nope, right. there it is. Alright. Let's go out of here. Guess you've all really right. gone to sleep. Okay? One more spot. We're gonna have to go. Thankfully, you cleared the way, so let us go. <laughs> <There we> go. <laughs> We're good, we're good, we're good.
I'm all right. There you go. You, baby. Yeah. I love it. <laughs> How can you stop it out here? This is no one out here. I mean, it's a risk we're gonna have to take, I guess. This is the coup de gras. I was trying to make this a sky base at one point. Yeah, well, you been here before? about it yeah mm -hmm. I, I discovered it recently apparently um fortune teller lives out here you know, someone, oh really? someone named katarina i know oh, i've heard of her yeah. i know there is a little a little hatch underneath this place what here. there is yeah holy shit over here and then right here oh look at that oh huh isn't that to alligators? Uh, nope, no alligators here. Huh. Come down here. Oh, hold on, we'll try this again. Come down here. Uh, uh, what are you doing? There you go, buddy. Careful. Whoa. All right. Buddy. <laughs> All right. I like it. Yeah, I think this is a really good spot, actually, because there's just so much around us that it's going to be easier to hide, I think. Stay away. This is my favorite part about the camp. Uh huh? Wait, what is? <laughs> Jesus! There it is. <laughs> oh, yeah, that was for me earlier. <laughs> oh. few other places but they're more outside the bayou more oh, north okay. more quiet um but i've been here multiple times that last place multiple times not many people seem to come around here except you know like i said that fortune teller and such but that seems to be yeah. once in a blue moon all right hmm. all right those pushers they were thinking about so yeah whatever you want to set as perhaps a Say, say the job is done. Everyone gets separated, and oh, she you want know, one of these places instead of Moon, Moonstone Pond. No, uh, you know, I mean, uh, Moonstone Pond works, but now you got these places in your in your uh, backup. I just like to show off. <laughs> uh, uh, my tour, unless you want to know where Dog's Creek keeps his camp. No, we just just push the work. I reckon. Yes. If all of us get here, and then if it's not time, which we two gonna separate? What after or before? Uh, during. During. Okay. Dur during it, we we could. <sighs> Stop <on>. it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we can go here. We can uh, work it out here. And uh, so, so we shouldn't do Valentine or Blackwater. It should be Rhodes, right? Rhodes, yeah. Think so too, Robert. I feel like anything besides Valentine, because Valentine always seems um, unpredictable. If you get my meaning. Yeah. Done. This is something we haven't done yet. Yeah, but I mean, the, the last time you wanted to do it, the, things were yeah. acting a little funky. What do you mean? 
It was very schmutty there, and there, it seems like there was a lot of people in town. Fair enough, yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, hopefully we can do it at one point. Oh, we can. I mean, maybe maybe on a weekday it would be better. Maybe tomorrow would be better for that, because I think we tried to do that. It was more of a, a popular day. I don't know. Oh, yeah, maybe. <sighs> no, I, I just can't wait for all of us to be together, you know? <laughs> me, you... I, me, you, uh... Robert, Daisy, or me, you, Robert, Jesse. Uh, Jesse too. Yeah, Jesse. Yeah. Oh, she's gonna be in on it too. Well, she's not gonna be in on the on the robbery, but I just oh. want all of us to be like one big family like, gathered around oh, uh, okay. yeah. at the ranch. Yeah, <laughs> I have my I have my brothers there. Yeah. We'll have my we... brother and uh, Lucian. Mm-hmm. Uh, then we can have uh, Cyrus. And... Just have everyone work and be real nice. Yeah, yeah, I mean, you know, I was thinking about that, and honestly, I would just whoever isn't here from your your family or quote unquote family, I would just disregard them and work with what you got here. And if they if they decide to show up, then that's great. But otherwise, I think you well, Robert, you say you say your quote unquote family, but it's our family. Yeah. Well, I, I I didn't know I didn't know if it was your blood blood. I mean. Yes, yes, like they, like uh, Robert is. I'm oh, sorry, Robert. Uh, uh, Roy was coming. Uh, he is blood brother. Yeah. So he's he better. Get you know, his ass here. you you are a part of the family too, man. Oh, I appreciate. It. No, I of course. <laughs> you're like you're like a uh, me and Daisy's like you know like my closest brother right now, considering everything. Yes, you are. And Daisy's like the mean sister. Uh-huh. Daisy, sorry, uh, Jesse. Jesse is a mean <laughs> sister. Daisy's a sweetheart. Uh, no, Jesse's I'm great. Not. She's a she's a ball buster. I, I, I see one when I, I see <laughs> you, one immediately. Do so. you appreciate that, huh? Oh, I love it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, hey man, she's um available. No, she oh. she was she was eyeballing uh some some ladies in corset. So I. Oh really? <laughs> yeah. So I huh. think she's uh. That's her, that's her she swings the opposite way. Who knows? But uh, I was even thinking that she's just funny, about to, that. funny to you know make fun of others with, and, like shoot the shit with you. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and um, yeah, and uh, you know, Roy was a uh, a sailor back in his day. Uh, he caught a two inch sardine, the biggest sardine he's ever caught. Well, you're the you're the you're the best uh, seaman out of us uh, all so far. With that boat boat skills. You got one boat getaway. Uh, two. Two. How are we on both class? But, you know, when those wolves are shot up, yeah, shit went south. Yeah, those damn wolves ruin everything. No. I mean, <sighs> the thing is, man, is if, if those damn wolves couldn't come, I mean, what sucks, man, is the fact that those bastards were coming like, from Blackwater or something. Or yeah, like they, probably, they probably just would have rode through and maybe like two deputies would have stopped and questioned, but beyond that, they just would have kept going. But they heard all the guns yeah. there, so they have to stop. Yeah. Well, such you know, bad luck. Shit happens. Yep. And then we move on to uh, to this one. No boats, only horses. Yes. There's Moonstone Pond, and we get paid, baby. Mm-hmm. Really. And we'll split, the, wait. we'll split everything evenly among the uh, people. I will say I'm not going to run to Moonstone Pond immediately, but eventually I'll find myself there. Oh, no, I'm not expecting anyone to lead the deputy straight to our fucking... Yeah. Right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm expecting you to lead him first. Yeah, be sure that you're not followed or anything, and then you go. Mm-hmm. That's mm-hmm. easy. Indeed. There's a fucking yawning, bro. Are we all going to do this damn moonshine thing? Oh, right. Yes, we should do that. Oh, let's do it. Come on. Oh, shit. I forgot your damn... Oh, right. <laughs> well, you know, I have an alternate way of getting you around. Oh, don't you dare. <laughs> no, I hear no. you. Are you sure, buddy? No, no, no. the week. 
feel the go. Yes. Yeah, that is a very beautiful horse. Wow. What's uh, this horse's name? Mars. Mars. Oh, wait. That's, I've seen Mars before. God of War. I thought it was a new... Okay. Oh, by the way, unfortunately, Robert's Australian beauty has not uh, worked out. Oh, no. Is that more dynamite? Oh, what the? <laughs> is, that more, is that more dynamite? <laughs> Jim can get that one if he wants. <laughs> Tell her, tell her how your Australian queen didn't work out. She just sent me a bunch of telegrams of sent men for different people, and then she just stopped responding to me entirely. What? That doesn't right. even make any sense. Well, I was curious because apparently she knows how to do tonics and like potions and botany, and I don't know any of that. Oh, really? So she wanted to teach you, but never got to. Yeah, I wanted to learn because apparently you can do poisons and stuff, so maybe, yeah, maybe you can get a little creative. Not mind wrapping his hands around her waist while trying to learn, huh, Rody? Uh, <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, but then I, I but, but then I can also learn. Are, but I just well, couldn't find them. Well, apparently in the swamp there's these red flowers that people really love. Well, you can also oh. learn what? How to poison people. Oh. Scary. Very interesting. Yeah. And that's scary. why I don't accept food from other people. Mm -hmm. I mean, think about it. Think outside the box. You want to? You want to rob roads? Well, hey, sheriff's department. Here's some free, free uh, cider from the local apple orchard. Oh my. Uh, oh shit! Hold on. Let me let me, let me kill this skater. Though. Well, don't kill him, but you know, give him, you know, give him the runs. I'm gonna, I'm gonna kill this gator real fast. Uh, what? But wait, why? Oh wait. God damn it. Yeah, just leave him alone, honestly. I, I need to, I need to, like, have a doctor look at my right hand. Because every time I look at my right hand, I don't want to age sometimes. And it's very annoying. Then my hand, my, my right hand is really twitchy. And I'll aim, I'll stop, aim, stop, aim, stop, aim, stop. Like, I don't know, I'm just feel real jittery in my right hand. Yeah, that's not good. You definitely need to look at that. Yeah. Mm hmm. I wouldn't mind some training practice myself, I feel like. Okay, that took me, what, three shots to shoot that still dynamite earlier, so... Oh. Yeah, it did. It would've taken me one shot to kill that fucking gator, but my right hand decided... You know, it wanted to get cramped up and stop aiming. Hmm. Yeah, that happens. Yeah. I'm not too upset about it. I'm more upset about the fact that my hand was twitching. Oh, here we go, another gator. Please don't lose that one. Gosh, they're everywhere. All right, after the after the wheat field, but we'll stop by. Where's the nearest? Probably Saint Denis. We'll just keep them in the back of your horse for a while. Then, then Blackwater. Yeah. Yeah, because we're, we're gonna pass by Valentine's at some point, so we'll just keep it there. How rude of you, Jim! Do you even ask Mr. Robert if it was I'm okay? I'm sure he needs some company. He asked before, but then I, I lost it in the, the, the water scuffle. Alright, oh, already done. Fair enough. Plus, like I said, you need some company back there, don't you, Robert? <laughs> That's true. Hey, here, here's, some more, here's some more company for you. <laughs> some Bayou company right here. Is that right? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. I'll take you back to that first house I showed y'all. <gasps> Creepy. Then he'll have two pieces of dead skin. <laughs> you can you can learn about the real main of the bayou. <laughs> mm -mm -mm. I know where we are. Oh yeah. You know you really do know the bayou well. Listen, I've been around you know country a lot, right? And I don't even know the bayou worked out. Well. No. Come on!
You can meet you can meet the last man that doubted my skills are right under this bridge. Wait, what? <gasps> what? What the? F are you serious? Now, now I'm really wow. robbing graves. That is creepy. Poor guy. Eggs here. Huh. Wait, what? I think these are gator eggs. Holy shit. I'm not gonna disturb that though. Yeah, but it's not hope, because I <laughs> don't you dare! I think you can cook them. Good fishing. Right. Look at that. Oh, Where? yeah, I've fished here before. You need to be careful here. You are fishing. You need to fish. What? Good. I was in the water, okay? <laughs> oh no, I miss it already. This used to be our old uh, sky house, uh, Mr. Robert. This really? one over here. Mm -hmm. Yep, it's wherever it's we really show nice. you. It's not it. Why, it's near, right near the bayou. It's, yeah. why, not, why not take it over again? I guess we could take it over again if nobody's living here. I guess can you so. go in? Oh yeah, you can. It's a nice place. Too bad at all. Yeah, see, I think someone. Oh. It, there's a there's a, a diamond with each year oh, that's coming to sun. Dang. That's a shame. Hey Dave, you did who knows? Maybe we'll find a pink blanket up there, hmm? Oh, we better fucking <laughs> not. If it's there, I am ripping it apart again. <laughs> Stop and have a shot and smoke. By the way, uh, so, so, so one of our gang members used to shove oh, bottles. Oh. 
I suppose I'm, I suppose I'm not allowed to tell you. It's just disgusting, Mr. Robert. It's disgusting. You still want to hear it? Yeah. Asses. Okay. <sighs> Asses? Oh, sorry. So one of our gang members used to go behind this outhouse here and shove bottles up his ass. Uh-huh. And he would oh. leave the bottle here and tell us not to touch it. <sighs> Sometimes. <laughs> sorry. Sometimes, funny, you know, here we are. sometimes he would, sometimes, oh God, sometimes the, the bottle, and you could see it, I'm not, I'm not making this shit, I'm not trying to be gross, but sometimes you would see the bottle with a brown tint to it. Oh my God. Hmm. What kind of gang did you run? <laughs> <laughs> that was one sick individual, okay? Listen, he, he's, a good, he's a good friend of mine. I've known him since childhood. Listen, if the man has pleasures and is a lonely man, who are you to judge? Well, let's 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 say that uh, you know I am new to the crossing, relatively. Uh -huh. I'm new to how gangs go, and the one gang I do know—well, I know the Gavin Summers guy, but I don't know what the hell his deal is. But I know Doctor Creed and his gang, and he he collects a gang of people who are mentally disturbed individuals. Who are seeking help and he, and he and he twists them to his whims. So, are you? What kind of folk do you seek out? Uh, um, listen, listen. I want to give you aspects. Everyone other than the the bottle ass shoveler. Uh, you have one guy who who is who is a little bit disturbing, but he's overall a good guy. Cyrus, you know, he's pretty damn normal. Me, and Miss Daisy, pretty damn normal. Uh, my brothers, Victor and Roy, pretty damn normal. So what, wait, oh. so what, they're, oh, okay, wait a minute. So you said they're waiting to hear from the conductor, okay. Yes. Yeah, once, once they get a conductor, they're in. Actually, no, uh, Mrs. Penny is currently around. Um, she just doesn't come around. Oh. Yeah, yeah, Miss Penny, have you met her? No. No, wait. No, wait, in, in St. Denis, did we meet her today? I think so. Oh, well, heck yeah, yeah, I know her. Yeah, her. That was a few weeks ago now, though. Uh, yeah, yeah, she's been around. She, she, don't, she, don't, she, don't, she don't come around too often. But yeah, we have mm. Penny and Cyrus. They're technically here. They're just not around often. Mm. But yeah, Kit is waiting for his train ticket. Victor is waiting for uh, Lucian. Sorry, Lucian. He's waiting for his train ticket. And uh, Roy is waiting for his train ticket too. Yes. I thought you said Victor too, though. Is he coming? Yeah, Victor's coming too. Oh, okay. It's just that, you know, he's spending time with... Um, some of his, some of his uh, friend's family. Mm. And I understand, so he's not going to join, but uh, my good friend Lucian is, though. Mm. Okay. Now, now, I, now uh, mind you, Lucian might come off a bit creepy. Oh, he's overall, ge generally. N not like that. He won't show <laughs> <laughs> I know, but you, you told me what his voice is like, and it, it does sound creepy. <laughs> <laughs> it kind of sounds like that. Oh, hello there, Robert. My name is Lucy. I know. Tell me like, kind of like a like a like a prim and proper guy, but with a creepy tint to it. But he's overall a nice guy. Though. I'm sure I can I can mock him and piss him off. Yeah. <laughs> he, he's a, he, he's British. So. Oh, Lucy and hello. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> so he's like brother. He's he is a strange strange man, but overall I've, I've, I've known him a couple of months. He seems like a nice guy. Trust him enough. Alright, three hundred weed everybody. And Robert, we'll go to do yours first. No, we can do my last little we'll worry about you guys. Okay, buddy. Three hundred wheat pickings, everybody. Oh yeah. This one is our favorite. Hmm. Oh, watch out for the bull here, Robert, because it's attacked me once. I didn't do anything to it. I didn't even look at him. Wait, what'd so you do? Mad. Oh, the bull. There's a yeah, there's a bull on on that side of the house. Usually, I was on the other side of the fence, and he just comes inside, and he just fucking. Are uh. you guys hungry? 
And there you go. Thank you. Hey, good buddy. Dude, you, you seen our hungry? Uh, not right now, but well, what was it? It was With it's chocolate, and I'm very hungry. Oh yeah, is <laughs> that right? <laughs> uh huh. You know, this hearty stew that I have will please you. Ew. Yeah, Jesse held on to that hers. Yeah, yeah. When did she come around? Comes around normally the time I do. Okay. So she was she probably probably be around all day tomorrow. But yeah, what we're gonna do is uh we're gonna go to our little hideout and put every put all the uh, goods away and then wait for wait for you to be able to find a damn buyer. Yeah. Sounds like a plan. I got a box stash somewhere. You might want to buy another one if you want to leave it at the hideout. Uh, no, no, no. Uh, basically, no. Um, so we have like little storage places near near Aurora Base that we can go to. Oh yeah. Uh oh. Nobody can get into those. Yep, not a single person. Mm-hmm. How, how can no one, what are you, like a locked property out there? Well, uh, it's so just very hidden, so hopefully nobody yeah. finds it, you know? I mean, I go out there to fish all the time, and I've seen others well, fish the out thing, there. Right, is, is yeah. these little lock boxes, they're like little lock boxes. You can place them in containers, and then you have the key only. Oh, what? I didn't know that was a thing. Yeah. I just knew, I just knew about those big wooden boxes. Do that. Definitely. Let's do that. It's oh, very what? important. What the hell is this? Oh, yeah. So, so yeah, it's basically, like a note there. yeah, so basically, Robert, uh, you would, um... I just want to bother you while you're reading. That was a lot here. Sure. I had to go to, to, go to Valentine to find the next page. Right. Anyway, yeah, so basically, think about storage, right? Think about storage. You know, slash your storage, you know? And yep. you gotta find, you gotta find like a, like a little barrel or crate somewhere in the open world, and you can hide your little lockbox in those. Oh, I never knew. Mm -hmm. I, I always kind of knew about that. Yeah. yeah, and you can stash up to $500 in them. Interesting. Huh. Yeah. So if, so if you have like $500 to spare, you leave it in that for like emergency funds. Yeah, I do that. I did that a long time ago, just in case. Thankfully, I've not had to use it yet. Mm -hmm. I think I would do it in a very inconvenient location, like up north in the snow. Oh, that's a good idea. You know, man, you have a, you know, you've come a long way, man, since we first met you. <laughs> what, <laughs> what way? You know, meeting, meeting up with uh, newspaper people and getting to do something you love. Heck yeah. While still hanging out with us. You know, just, you come a long way, man. Same with Tony. It's like, I, I <laughs> love seeing that. I love seeing all my friends that I've, that I've met first day in their city, you know, the second the second day. They, they grow into all these different kinds of people. Yeah, no, I understand it completely. I'm, I'm pretty fascinated by it. That's why, I, that's why I really wanted to make sure Jesse had that, because that, I know like you really helped Tony out, so I wanted to really help her out, too. 
<laughs> right, kind of like that. pass it on. Yeah, because you helped me out too, and I just yeah, right. exactly. I want to pass it along. Because yeah, I mean, for example, you know, it, it's kind of fascinating where people kind of split off to. Tony went off to one of the biggest gangs in the state. You stuck oh, around with me. Yeah. It's like you know, I'm fascinated that people get to spread off to different ways. You know. Yeah, I mean, he seemed destined for his own people, but yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Uh, I, I like to toe the line and really keep in touch with the the folk, the the the, the salt of the earth kind of folk that just kind of do their day to day, and that's it. Right. But I feel like it opens a lot of doors for me and gets people talking, and I get to learn more where it can help this sort of life, you know. Oh, absolutely, man. I mean, I guess I'm, happy, I'm, I'm happy to have houses. you. Yeah, absolutely, guys. Boy, I mean, if I'm meeting all these notorious serial killer outlaw cannibals, and maybe they can teach me a thing or two, I can pass it along to you, you know? Oh, oh yeah. gosh. That'd be great. I mean, don't tell me that fingernails are a good way to clean your teeth or something yeah. like that. But oh, like, goodness. You know, if, if they know certain things that are interesting in my particular category of job. I still think mm -hmm. the next thing, the next thing shouldn't be a bank, and maybe you should think about it. Sending an ain on and holding up some outlaw in the wilderness, you know, or mm -hmm. holding up a poke. Well, no, we already talked about the poker game. Well, you can oh, you yeah. can hold up law in the wilderness. That's an easy one. What do you mean? That's what people do. People either rob banks or they hold up law and steal their guns. Yeah, I hear they have um, expensive guns. They have very expensive guns that come very affordable to if, them. If we if we call on an ain on, right? I mean. Is that like? Yeah, okay? I'm kind of wondering. It's, too it's legal, that. but it they is. will they will no doubt come with backup because you're not the first to think. Ah, uh, okay, okay. Okay, because I just want to make sure it's apt. Like, like it's not, like it's not it's not legal. <laughs> we know what you mean. Right. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, it is legal. You 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 say you 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 send a non if you have a credible tip about something, and they come and meet you at uh, yeah, that is legal the weed fields. Too, but then the after thing. Yeah, but any, anything after that, yeah, whatever you decide within that moment, that's yours. <laughs> but uh, that um, who was that guy that talked to us one time? We were making moonshine. It was uh, the guy who can sing and play guitar. Ricky, was it? Or Ricky Bobby? or Billy Joe. Billy Our, Joe. Uh, Billy Joe Barber, that's it. He was telling me about that, Robin Law. That's... That... I, that does sound like fun. I don't know how to go about it or initiate it. That was just... Uh, doing an anon was just my idea. He didn't tell me that one, so maybe if, if you ever run across him, maybe you ask, but... Because the only time I ever see law is when they're either on their porch, in their office, or that's it. I mean, you know, I, sometimes I see law just kind of riding on their own. Yeah. Really? In, in that I case, never so. see that. I've seen it once or twice. Oh, okay. It's hard to tell. I thought they all wore white, but I guess they, I've seen some in like plaid and stuff. Yeah, I just, need a Honestly, few. I just need I need I need a few more. I'd see Daisy and I think she's the uh, just at a glance. <laughs> really? It's because of the white shirt, but maybe that's my uh yeah. naive. Maybe side. maybe it's the authoritarian figure that she presents off of her presence. Probably. Hmm. I don't I don't I don't think Daisy would make a very good law win. What? You're just too nice. Don't believe in no, me. no, no, the crow's like, please don't do it, Mrs. Daisy. <laughs> okay, I suppose I, I could give you some time off. Law woman. <laughs> yeah, I'd be I'd be a hard lawman. Press everyone. <laughs> man, man, I would think, man, I'd be like, oh, 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 you want some time off? I bet I had ten more months the more you talk to me. <laughs> Which days like a caring mother, she just can't say no. What? You just, <laughs> you, you just gotta make people sing. That's it. Oh shit, man. Alright, I am good if you all are. Yeah. Stay away, you son of a bitch! 
Wait. The bull? Yeah. The bull absolutely ruined her day down there. Yep. Right, is everyone ready? Yes. Hold on. Sure. Oh, wow. Yeah, I have it all. All right. And everyone got their shirt and keeps too? Yeah. Get the, mm -hmm. that all right. There he is. Oh, no, I'm good. All right. Let's go make our moonshine. Yeah. Right down here. First one down, a lot more to go. Mm -hmm. Does take a while, but it is worth it. It's probably going sure. take too long. I feel like the wheat takes the longest. Yeah, I feel that way too. Yeah, typically, it's the wheat, then this, and then brewing it. Oh yeah, the brewing takes a long time. You're right about that. Cat up into the, the window. How many y'all got so far? Seven. And I got six. <laughs> Hurry um, up! Yeah, no. <laughs> Lagging behind. Calculate. Yeah. Oh. It's okay. It happens. What are you missing? Sugar cubes. What the sugar cubes? Oh damn. Yeah, well, under Bob. Oh. 
when I am done. Are you nearly done too, Robert? Okay. Well, I need to buy 50 more sugar cubes. Alrighty. So we'll stop at the Valentine General store. Uh oh. Mm -hmm. What's that? It's a pond somewhere? Off to Valentine, gonna buy my sugar cubes and then we're good to go. such cool spooky atmospheric music and I feel like this character <laughs> doesn't fit that vibe necessarily despite him, me wanting him to. I need a new character. Maybe a crimer. Some spooky motherfucker. I'm a female but I, I, there's no way in hell I can do a voice. That's what I did. This horse is the best. Take one of these horses. Does he have good stamina? He's the best. Oh yeah. What's it called? Well, maybe that's the sword. An Arabian. Oh yeah. I'm gonna miss this dumbass though. I really am. Well, I mean, you still got him. Just keep him in the stable. Yeah. I still got a. Uh, Herbert and Bones and um, I forget the names. I'll see if anyone loves me more. <laughs> Shop, gonna shop by the uh, I got a love letter. Oh my goodness. No. <laughs> oh, we can sell your alligator skin real quick. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's what we're doing. A little bit of beef, better be for me. Ha <laughs> 
<laughs> Jesus. Alright, let me buy my things. Four dollars for a predator? Come on. Was it? Yeah. What? It was perfect. Really? That's so strange. Yeah. Wait, what? How much did they get for it? Four dollars, he said. What? I know if you okay, sell yeah, that is... if you sell big fish to that I think you were telling me the the blackwater fishmonger he, you get like twenty dollars or so. Yeah, supposed to anyway, but I'm not sure, so sure anymore. Oh, oh, ghost town. Is you want to play poker? That's not okay. Uh, oh. I know it's empty. I'm a little grumbly, but I don't got too much money right now, so I'll uh. Pick some raspberries on the way there. Here, but they're over there. I guess they're having it. The fuck? Yeah, I know. And uh, we're trying to get eleven. Yeah. I'll roll again. Over. Okay, rolling on six. Getting another six, that would qualify as a double loss if there was any money involved in this. What, what the hell is this, Billy? Right Your first roll, gonna be a two. Game uh, then hit, of course. Gambling? Okay. Okay, right hit now. Okay. okay. And on a one, making it a three. Well, hit again then. Hitting again on it, and another one, making it a four. I'll have another. You'll have another, and your other is. Three, making it a sweet old seven. Hmm. Seven is a hard one. Dale steps but, on a nine. Let's let's go for it. Go ahead and hit. Okay, hitting on a seven. And on a three, making it a big That'll old do. ten. Alright. Magnolia, your roll is gonna be a three. Hitting on a three, adding on a six, making it a nine. Who the fuck was looking for Magnolia? That's good, I would say. Yeah. Stay on nine. You want to keep character join, Rebella? All right. Perfect. So, deal is started with a two. Okay, let's go around the table. What we got? Jimmy, you had a nine, right? Mm hmm. Beth had an eight. Crude Water had a bust, right? Yeah. Poet, you stopped on a nine, was it? Ten. Or was it a seven? Ten. It was, it was All right. ten. Okay, so we got one eight, two nines, and a ten on the table. Dale started with a two. Dale adding on another two, making it a four. Adding on a six, making it a ten. So, well, everybody shit. that was below, below ten, you lose money. If you were ten exact, you push. If you were above it, you win. Hey, where, 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 where does it, where gather, does around, gather around if you want to join a hand. Come on, man. You know I'm going to be the only one out. There is no doubt. This is the newest game. It's going to slay. Come on, everybody. It All is right. a good game. It's the what is the buy-in? It's the Bizarre Bizarre exclusive. Uh, the buy-in? Uh, anywhere from five to a hundred. That's good. I can do that. Mm. Yeah, I'll do it when there's those people around. This is kind of crazy. <laughs> what do you mean? This is great. Come I on, mean, get in, I get mean, maybe in right more now. If you want to play, please yeah. be consider sure. stepping up right yeah. here. Five dollars, we, we go. five dollars okay. right now. You don't have to pay up front. We, we tie right. up in the end. Yeah, I'll do five. All right. Uh, maybe some other time I have something to do, but yeah, maybe some other time. Game with man's teaching. Right there. Well, I'm here to talk if you need anything. Don't have hit my horse, I appreciate that. <laughs> 
Well, well if I did, I'd take him, but I'll let, I'll let you know where I'm taking him to. But if you keep him clean and stuff and take care of him, I won't take him or nothing. Alright, thank you for your altruistic threats <laughs> about my horse. It's not really a threat or nothing, I promise. It was nice meeting you, Kit. It's really nice to meet you, too. Mm -hmm. I believe you promised me you'd run away after handing me that brush. Right, there we go. Rabbit. Sorry. That's my fault for turning my back on a skunk. I slipped. I slipped in this mud here, you know. Yeah. Ow, that really did not feel great. Howdy. Howdy. That looks like Robert Fisher to me. <laughs> yeah, I'm reporting for duty. Reporting Your for way. beauty. Yep, here I am. I'm gonna try and turn this horse around and I don't want him to run you over, so I'm gonna Okay, there we go. You are reporting for duty, Fisher. Mm hmm. Here I am. Well, shit, look at that. Now, how did you calm the sheriffs into giving you a shot? Oh, shit, I don't want to tell you too loud because the reasons are approaching behind me on horseback. I had to catch up with the Saints Daily interview real quick. Um,. You want me to meet you outside oh, of town, oh. or are you, you going off? Um, do you want to meet us, um, down at the river? Yep, sounds perfect. Oh, you, you, know, you know where me and Jesse were at? Yep, yep. We'll be there, hey. buddy. All right, we'll All see right. you very, very soon, man. All right, sounds good. You <laughs> be the, safe. With the, you stick with the paper? Is that right? Hell no. Uh, no, I love the paper. Yeah, absolutely. I'll write for them as long as I can. No, those, those two are about to rob a bank tomorrow. Oh, good to hear. Okay. Well. And they're about to do a moonshine run. I see. I have a well, pocket full of wheat and I hate it and I want to I want to get rid of it. <laughs> un unfortunately for them, I do not believe they're going to have any luck at the moment. That's fine. I don't care. I feel like moonshine is not the most dangerous thing in the world. That's just stupid people with stupid liquor. What I care about is those bank robberies because that man, I've witnessed that man open fire on a deputy surrounded by eight other deputies thinking, hey, this is a great idea. I'm going to shoot. Who thinks that? Wild folk. There's a lot of them in this state, unfortunately. Yeah, but he doesn't have any good motivation. There's no, ec there's, there's nothing. It's just the thrill. And that's So are you I looking for, you looking for an induction? Is that right? Um... I feel like I, I feel like I've been kind of giving it. Uh, what I'm trying to do is trying to, I've been trying to tip off uh, the law on on them, and that's what I've been doing over the course of the last few weeks. I've been informing on all their jobs and activities. Um, worked with Sheriff Cash for a bit, uh, briefly Sheriff Lewis, um, mm -hmm. and uh, honestly yourself. Um, we interacted with some associates of theirs, that Tony fella. Um, but, uh, yeah, some sort of induction. I don't know. I'm just trying to figure out how to put the fear of God in them, honestly, and to get them to stop this, because this is going to continue on and on. They've already done Sissica time, and it's only a matter of time before they start killing one of your deputies or one of themselves. Who knows? I very likely. So I'm just going to look for your feedback form in that case. Seeing as according to you, you've been inducted, right? What do you mean by that? I'm sorry. Oh, you know what? I misread this. So you're on like a soft approval. Is that right? We're waiting to see how you do over the next couple weeks. Yes. Okay. All right. I misread this. Yes. Yeah, sorry. So you're not ready to actually, so you're reporting for duty, but you're actually not actually ready to do a ride along. So. Yeah. Sorry. Did part of my excitement. Uh, you know, I just like to run, you know, how I like to command your deputies, even though I'm in a jail cell, you know, I, I just like to take action. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. For the record, I was one of the sheriffs that voted to give you a shot. So, uh, I'll really? just oh, you. Time. thank you. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. I've definitely seen a good heart in there, uh, amidst all the terrible judgment. Yeah. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a gullible fella. What can I I'm say? I'm a horse. Take care. 
person has my hair. Anyway. Mm -hmm. I better brush my horse for that kid comes back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, calm down. Is there anything I can help you with in particular, Fisher? Truly no. I've already reported enough of their activities about tomorrow and I'll, I'll basically it's just I'll stay out of it as instructed by Sheriff Lewis and then I'll just, you know, kind of send anons out and if I learn anything. Yeah, I gotcha. Well, that's, that's good of you. Well, yeah, I mean, it's good. I feel like it's taking more of the reactive approach rather than proactive. I'd rather... I'd rather just arrange some... <laughs> he's not cross. He's uh, just being ordinary after being cleaned. He likes the muck. Shiny now. He appreciates that too. I'm sure he does, Kit. I hope you don't mind. I found this horse attached to the wagon. It's been there for a long time. It looks real sad. <laughs> so you're letting the horses go from the wagon? Well, I'm not, I don't really let them go. I'm gonna go put them in the stable when I'm done riding them around. Okay, alright. I guess that's not horse theft in that case. Well, I mean, I did take them or something, but I guess it's not really theft. I'm gonna put them back. No, if the folks are done with the rental, I guess it's alright. Been there for a long time. How long's a long time? I mean, I saw him there whenever I woke up, which is at least uh, at least three or four minutes ago. Right. Okay. I mean, at least. Well, uh, good to see you again. I suppose. All right. Always good to see you. Take care now. Yeah, you take care as well, kid. Uh-huh. Be careful, folks. Stay on the road. Of course. Thank you for the advice, kid. He's so nice and, and punchable. <laughs> Very nice. Uh, but, alright. Now, hear me out. This, this is what I am feeling. Of course... I can I can sit in my hotel room in Blackwater and, and play blackjack or go fishing in the wilderness and ignore everything and, and let whatever happens happens. I don't you know I'm a gambler that's fine with me but I feel as though someone like this I feel like perhaps there's a, a better way to handle them. Mm -hmm. Howdy. Hello. Um, is the, um, Sheriff McAllister around at the moment? Sheriff McAllister. Mm. Oh. Uh, yeah. You got a first name for that sheriff of yours? Or is there more than one McAllister? There is, uh... There's a Deputy McAllister. There's no Sheriff right, McAllister. Deputy. Right, right. So, um... So, is she around at the moment? Uh, Caitlin is not on duty at the moment, I don't believe. Alright, um... Uh, so, I actually work at the saloon... Uh, across the bank, and um, someone's given me a uh, gun, and it, uh, it's engraved with her name, or it might just be her. I'm kind of thinking it's her, because she's the only one that uh, I know that has the last name McAllister. You mind let me take a look at that? Yeah, of course. I, I believe there's another deputy McAllister, just to add to the confusion. Uh, if you could just uh, reach over, that'd be perfect. What's your name, by the way? Ariel. Ariel, we have met before. Yeah, there you go. McAllister TL746. Well, this mm -hmm. will be an easy solve, because I can just look at her telegram. <laughs> what is I... Just hoping to return it to her as well. Ah, classy looking... Snub notes. Very classy, actually. Let me see if I can find her telegram. Oops. Callister has a different telegram altogether. Let me see if I can find... I swear there was another McAllister. 
I forgot Negan was also McAllister. Jesus fucking Christ. Yeah, pardon me. I only know one McAllister, and I just kind of hoping it's her. There's an Eleanor McAllister too. <laughs> Poor Missin. There's a Wayne McAllister. Incident. Matthew McAllister robbed. Telegram TL746. There you go. Oh, alright. So, um, I'll just surrender that to you guys. And, um... Yeah, thank you kindly. I'm, uh, I'm gonna go put this in storage and I'll go telegram Matthew and let him know that it's stored here and uh, that we can get that returned to him. Thank you very much. Can I uh, mm -hmm. pay you for your, your kindness today? Cause... Oh, no, no, no. It's alright. No, thank you. You um, sure? Yeah. Money. Yeah, no Money. Money. I like to reward good needs. deeds. Money. It's alright. <laughs> I'm uh, just <laughs> trying to uh, give it back because oh. I didn't want to hang on to it and someone catches me with it and uh, it'll be very awkward to have that little conversation. No, very much appreciated. So I'm going to go put this in storage here and I will go telegram them. Uh, thank right. you kindly. You guys have a lovely day. You too, Ariel. You too. Uh, is there anything I can do for you, Robert? I'm I'm unclear uh, what you're yeah, after. Yeah, no, I, I was I was doing a big uh, big pitch, but go go do what you need to do, and you can come out here, and I'll give you the pitch. Your big pitch? You got a big yeah, pitch for me? I got a big pitch. Okay. okay. All right. I'll be right back. Okay. Still coming. Oh! <laughs> yeah, sorry. <laughs> you, you spooked me. Yeah, no, hold on. I'm still doing the interview, but I'll, I'll be there in a moment. No worries. Oh, okay. Yeah, we're just. Uh, we're just wrapping yeah. up. All right. Alrighty. Uh, we'll be inside the. Probably inside the saloon waiting for you, Dan. You folks doing okay? All right, buddy. See you in a moment. Ah. Who need who needs an answer to that question? Who cares? Uh, who, who, yeah, who gives a shit, right? All right. What's your what's your pitch, Mr. Fisher? A big. All right. You you see these folk? This this is the third bank robbery on a Tuesday after 9 p.m. Eastern or New York time every single week. They are on a pattern, and it's only going to continue to grow from there. Every single week, probably more, from what I hear. And his crew was only going to get bigger because he's, he is a charismatic guy, I will say. He, he has a is way. that him? Um, yeah, that's him. The, the fella just thought, spoke. That's Jim Sky? That's Jim Sky and Miss Daisy. Oh. Um, my, my pitch is, so, th you know, Sheriff Lewis kind of told me to stay out of it. I get it. I understand it. But I feel like perhaps... It would take a, it would take a whole lot of good faith on the management at the bank or whatever, but to somehow let them get through with it. But then you take it on good faith that I lead them to a place where you know where they are going to be exactly, which is Moonstone Pond. Apparently, is the escape plan. Sorry, I want to uh, clarify. You're, would you be a participant in the robbery? I don't want to be, but I can tell them to go there and really assure them of that. And maybe I just won't show up tomorrow, and they'll have to go. I don't want to put my I don't want to put my potential. Okay. At here's risk. What, okay, here's what we could do. If you're so inclined. Uh you're still a civilian. 
so I can't have you risking your personal, you know, life and limb. And now here's the problem. If you, uh, if you set them up, it's going to be real clear to them that they've been set up. Yeah. Those p people are going to have good cause to hurt you from that point on. And until you're a deputy, you are not as well protected as you should be from such mm -hmm. retaliations. Okay? So, if you want to... That's what I'm looking for. If you want to give them advice on where to go next, or like suggest a hiding spot for them and say, this is a hiding spot that I think will work really well, and then you pass that along to us, we can use that. But Beautiful. I'd highly recommend you not be there with them, you know? Yeah. Okay. I, I don't think you should be, you know, I can't condone you being involved in the robbery in any capacity, and I can't condone you being present at the actual scene but if you were to give them strong advice and say i don't think the law would check here or like if you if you set them up an escape route so to speak and then we use that to nap them at the end then that's something that i would be more inclined to i've so, laid out the groundwork for that actually so that's perfect so i've got that already i just need to figure out a way to get out of tomorrow then in that case yeah. But I can do that on my own and go from there. I think I can kind of understand them. But, uh, yeah, they it's going to involve those two that you saw, um, you know, quote, unquote, myself. And then um, Miss Christine, I guess, okay. Mama. So here's, here's the deal from my perspective. If you write to me, my telegram, do you, you got that still? And you sent me one. I didn't get back to you, unfortunately. But Yeah, I see how it is. Yeah, no, I still have it. If you send me a telegram saying what escape route or where you think they're going to be going afterwards is, I will write up a report, an advanced report, on this bank robbery tomorrow. Oh, you want to uh, send it to you tonight? Okay. If you think you can get that information in time, if not, you can send it tomorrow. I'll make sure that I'm around. I got good can good tangible information on where they plan to meet, what time things are going to go down specifically around, which I think is like 6.30 p.m. New York time, I think they said, um, mm -hmm. and where the escape uh, getaway location is going to be. Oh, like, is that the rendezvous afterwards? Or? Yeah, like, well, once you shake the law, meet up here, which is Moonstone. They, they plan on hitting Rhodes and going to Moonstone Pond, which is, I think... Rhodes to Moonstone. Okay. Oh. So, my thought is, in theory, that we pursue as best we can are they going to use a wagon or, or horses, do you know? They're all going to use separate horses this time. And they're going to split up, is that right? Yeah, like I said, it's going to be that mama lady and um, uh, another fisher, um, Fishman. I forget his name. He, he always gotcha. wears green, guppy, Fishman, something, I don't know. Forest Fish? Forest Fish, thank you, yes. He's gonna, mama he's Christine, just... Forest Fish, Jim Sky. And Miss um, Daisy. Miss Daisy, just the four? Yeah, they're all they're all actually safe crackers. I'm supposed to be the one that negotiates with law. Ironic. Okay, well, they're gonna have to figure that out, and yep. uh, I think that's gonna be a safer bet for you not getting involved because I can't have you been involved in an actual robbery. It's just gonna get yeah. muddy. Because if you were an undercover deputy, it'd be a whole different thing. But given that you don't got a badge, we can't really use you in that fashion. I mean, is there is there an undercover deputy? That would be able to do it, or in an on such short notice. Uh, we haven't used them before, uh, frankly, because it hey, is such a risky here proposition. I am. <laughs> Look, if it's a, if it's a thing that you're very interested in, we can keep that in mind, and we can maybe. I just lady got my attention talking about my outfit, and then I saw we can maybe utilize that at some stage, but. Yeah. That from far away thought I, he was you. But uh, well, I, all right, I I'll keep this in mind. You, yeah, you, you just telegram me whatever information yeah, you got, and I'll use it. Okay, I'll do that. Um, you really, well, completely yeah. unrelated. I don't know if you're interested in this, but apparently I'm supposed to be having an interview with Dr. Creed on Wednesday. Oh wow! I think is okay. Very wanted. He is very wanted. We, we yeah. could definitely use that too. Yeah, well, it's with uh, Abigail Jones, and I think she works with a lot of law as well. I think she actually recommended you as like a trustworthy law person to talk Absolutely. to in relation to Saints Daily uh, information. Yeah, so, um, um, typically I prefer not to uh, put people in danger with stings because 
you know, if you're actually, you know, if you're at the location and we show up and, and, and they figure out who ratted, they will instantly take you hostage, you know? Yeah, even she said that. She said she would probably notify law so they can catch them, you know, as they're leaving yeah. or whatever. Yeah, to be more, yeah, we, we'd want to intercept them before they get there or after they, or as they're yeah. leaving, basically. We want to be scoping up from a distance and waiting to make a move. Uh, but I will, uh, I'll definitely keep it in mind. The robbery is a bit more pressing at the moment. Yes, I'll keep you notified on the robbery. Um, I'm probably before I hit hit the hay, I'll I'll send you a telegram and give you all the details I have, um, and we'll go from there. And then I'll, after that, I'll just send Anons if anything's more urgent tomorrow. All right, appreciate it. No, a problem. Well, thank you. I, I, again, I I really appreciate uh, the kind That's okay. words. I think I'm gonna get going. Well, very proud of you. Very, very proud of you, Fisher. Just, uh, uh, keep thank your, uh, you. Keep your chin up and uh, keep your nose clean. And I look forward to seeing you in the program when we get the chance. Yes, gotta keep that nose clean. It's all thanks to all advice right. from you. Thank you. <laughs> Take care of yourself, <laughs> Robert. You too. Yikes. 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 Yeah, you know, I have to work some things in here. Jimmy? Uh, sure. Oh, what? Why don't you stop reaching into the old... I didn't do anything. I didn't do anything. Oh, how did there, Robert? Why are two of the cards that, that you... The, I don't understand. Some they of these have, just have red backings. I was just gonna say, why are they red when the whole deck's blue? What the hell are you doing? I don't, know, hmm. I, I don't know as to what you refer. Uh huh. What what dick is this? Black this water. be the black one. The booba dick. Ah, gotcha. The old booba dick. The old booba dick. Sorry, I ain't gonna let oh. that one check around. Well. Well, maybe you should uh, take uh, the money and go. You're already down 80 bucks there, my friend. <laughs> or down 20. <laughs> down 20 bucks. Who, me? Jimmy. What do you oh. mean? You're down 20 bucks. And? Fair <laughs> enough. <laughs> fucking money moves around. <laughs> yes, it does. No. Oh! We done a few, a few handles. If I make real money moves, everyone will want me to explode. Did you hear Robert? Yeah, I heard you. Okay. Oh, that is Robert. Hi, Robert. Did you uh, reach out to uh, Richard? Hello. Shit. Shit. No, I didn't reach out to Richard. Was um, I supposed to? I'll get your telegram and I'll uh, I'll find him. I don't have his, unfortunately. Yeah, I have his. I can get and to you. This is nothing. Okay. Then yeah. Christ. I feel like you could uh, you could help him, uh, so you know, uh, you know, you know tell him exactly like where he is, you know, <laughs> help him, you know. Oh yeah, yeah, no, no worries. Yeah, really give him a give him a little, <laughs> give him a little hand. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I'll maybe, stop at the bank. Maybe have the Hopefully. interview in a corrugated steel cage. Oh. Are you talking about the cannibal thing? <laughs> mm-hmm. Kit, is that you? No, Robert, this is Robert. This is Robert. This is Robert. Oh, Kit Robert. looks nothing. This looks nothing like Kit. Robert, hey, 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 like it's, a, it's like me, Kit. Kit. What? It's me, Kit. Kit. Kit suddenly just gets a, a vest and jacket and everything. Well, it's, maybe, perhaps. Oh, Open is it chair over here? I don't know. Is it that Kit that fellow? Does he have the same hair as me? Yeah. 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 Oh, I saw him on a horse Where's, earlier. Where did Cora run off to? He's on a lot of horses. I'll tell you that. Nobody can hear me. So, he's I'm a, sorry he's about a, he's that. He's a regular by the Mr. Way. Hands. No worries. Robert. What? Sit down. Put, sit down. Push the poker. I got four dollars in my pocket. Oh. Get more. What about your, what about your bank? Oh, God. So far. It's all right. I cross the road. Get some money. Your pair of sixes doesn't doesn't pers like dissuade me. What? Um, pair of sixes doesn't dissuade me. Yeah. 
Shit, how do I get out of this bank robbery? Can I sell this wheat? Would have been so useful. Hey Daisy, how are you liking poker now? Can you all fold <laughs> so I can play? Yeah, she now. Y'all just being illogical. Yeah, this is, this is Daisy's first game, and she's already up a lot of money. Yeah. Oh, He's up a hundred bucks. Why everyone fold? Oh. Just check. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I it's, it's checking it's, when it's I know I can't get shit. It's literally a yeah, check same. game, though. You could get something. Crazy, I thought you... I guarantee you were raising it. No, no, no. I mean, if you're raising it, I'm going to fold it under the dollars. Oh, come on, $5? To be honest no. with you, I mean, like, I, I love Zeke, and I'm speaking to him, and he's very supportive of me. Um... Ah, well, I didn't have shit. So it seems like nobody did. I like the Valentine deck a lot. It's so clean and simple. Mm -hmm. I like it too. You like clean and simple things, do you? Sure do. I'm a purist at heart. I see. Nothing wrong with that. Seems like everyone's loving their their uh, hands currently. Yeah, for a dollar. What, you still love your hands. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, kinda. What are the what are those donkey? Horse? I can't do that. Uh, no. Or Dacius might be between you and him. No, no, I think not. Oh, yes, it's here between you and him. What the fuck, Jesus. dude? Jesus. Huh. The Jimmies, the Jimmies have come out. The Jim, Jim, and <laughs> The Jits, it's a sign from God. There's a fourth gym somewhere in somebody's hand. This is, this is Who's got the gym? Us. Who's got the Jimmy? Who's, Who's got, got the gym? Who's got it? Who's got it? Who's there's Jim, the there's Jim, Jim Burt, Jamantha, and then the last one is Jimmy. The Bobby Jims. <laughs> no, I, I, I kind of like, like the, I kind of like Jimothy. I did like that. The, uh, there's multiple <laughs> people in the crossing named Jimothy, I believe. Really? Uh huh. Oh, With there he is. With an ace. With an ace. Yeah. God damn it! I thought maybe you were bluffing. <laughs> 
I was hoping you would because I was betting low off the beginning. Uh -huh. That's why he stayed quiet all that time. Yeah, it's unusual yeah. for him to keep his uh -huh. mouth shut that long. <laughs> oh, come he, on. Was, he, was, he was drooling over his I gym. Can't, I can't. The fog came, 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 the fog Can you calm so down over there? What are you looking at? Right. Don't you give me the fucking Jimmy, side can eye. You I wasn't even looking at you. Down. I was talking to you. <laughs> was he talking to me? I can hear him. Is the bartender? Is he going to pull a shotgun and kill the fog? I said I was talking to you. It's my opinion on the matter. Just one or two games sound good to you? I'm, 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 I told you, I'm fucking losing my touch. Like, we'll do this one. Then I think you're one. losing your damn mind. So. Uh huh. What? Okay. There's only a matter of time. I think it's not a matter of time. It's a matter of minutes or maybe hours. Uh huh. I, I do actually... have a shotgun. That's true. You know, gone to like strawberries and then wapiti. Yeah. This is why Jim needs to make the Jimmy's gang so I have something to cling on to. I got the nuts. <laughs> do you? I do. Do you? Got the nuts. Do you? I do. You do? I do. You're positive? I, you know, positive. I trust him on that. I think he's got 7 9. Right. I got the nuts. Right. Yeah, I'm here. Yeah. finally. I know, I know. Why would he confess this to me? He wants me to pay. No! Seems, no, he seems pretty confident about it. I don't know. Why would he confess this to me? He wants me to pay. I got the nuts. Stop it! I got... Stop! I got the nuts! Mm -hmm. Well, we shall oh, it's see. It's funny. It's funny. Well, God oh, damn you. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Maybe he don't got the nuts. I, I do. You know I do what? I'm nuts. feeling a little nuts myself. Oh. I got the nuts. Oh, he's got it. Now. He's got the nuts. I got Holy the nuts. Shit. Jimmy, I'm, Jimmy, I'm, you, I'm, you gonna oh call that? Oh my gosh. I got the nuts. I came for nuts. all this money. Jimmy, I, Jimmy, I got the Are nuts. You sure, Jimmy. Tell me your cards right now. I got a, I got a seven and a nine. Of? Um, a clubs and spades. I don't know. I'm feeling pretty good right now. Okay, but if you did lie to me, I reserved the right to get up off this table and whoop your ass. <laughs> uh -oh. You know what? I'll accept that. That's what I thought. <laughs> okay. He, well, look, he weren't that. lying. The nuts were held firmly yeah, in his hand. That's right. <laughs> Fair enough. Man, this man had the 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 10. <laughs> yeah. I had a 9 ace. I was hoping on the 7 to come out. Well, that'll do it for me, I'm afraid. Oh, hey, Robert, slip on in here. Oh, where did, where did Cora go? Far away, Mr. Crudewater. Hey. Jimmy standing right across from me. Mm -hmm. Unless I have the nuts. I can never lie to a Jimmy straight in the face. I have the nuts. <laughs> oh my I don't think you do have the nuts. I do. To be honest. Nuts. I do. What you got? Full house? I think you're full got, of shit. I got the nuts. Nah, he's full of shit. Oh yeah? Is that what you think? Well, allow me to show you how big my nuts are. He's going to go all in. 30 bucks. Oh. Mm. I got the nuts. You know, I'm gonna call you on that. I ain't buying this nuts. pot. Show them up in the good water. A nine? Yeah. No! <laughs> no, I had a nine and a jack, you son of a bitch. Oh my. You had a two pair and you went $30 that... in? I was I was kind of trying to bluff my way in. <laughs> I knew you were. <laughs> No, you don't. You don't say I got the nuts when you have the nuts <laughs> once and then do it again. That no, that don't happen. Uh oh, I got the nuts. Oh, I have the nuts. <laughs> I got the nuts. I got the nuts. I got the nuts. I got the nuts. We all got the nuts. We all got the nuts. We're all gonna have a tie game. We're all gonna split them up. I have the nuts. Oh. You have them too, Robert. I hope. Cora, there Cora was just has an the open nuts. Seat. Uh, uh, yep. 
<laughs> oh, you're gonna have, you're probably gonna have an opus after this game because I'm going all in. Cor, when I snap, oh, he's going all in. To last person, I, I shoot. You should, you should be you should be very happy. I am very happy, and I was gonna say that twenty eighth to last. You know you. <laughs> Wait, twenty. Wait, what? Twenty eighth to last person I shoot. Go on. How many? Well, how many people are you shooting before me? All of them. But, okay. I was gonna say you look very handsome with your facial hair. Ooh, Jimmy. Oh, go, Jimmy. I'm, th I'm, 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 I'm a little boy. You can't do that. <laughs> We're just all. <laughs> what, do you, no what do you mean? How, I'm a little how, boy. How old are you? Three. I am twelve. Oh. I am twelve. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Nine and seven. What, what? Wait, what? Wait, what? Wait, it's just a little bit. Yeah. Oh, okay. Rest. Okay. Do you want to okay. go check telegrams? Sure. Well, I thought it was be the last game, but now I'm back in again. Mine. We're just gonna check My money's gone. <laughs> However, everyone Mine's here gone. holds a value over their life. Therefore, I can leverage this for paper that I've lost. Could do. I've taped a stick of dynamite under every one of these chairs, including mine. One button, one button, <laughs> one wooden little button under the table will blow us all to smithereens. Give me your money. Well, don't tell Jimmy this, but I stole Jimmy's nuts and I have the nuts. There ain't nothing but chair under this chair, you, you I son put of it, a I, bitch. I put it in the chair and then I, and then I put some wood over you it. Gonna, you ain't gonna oh, put no right. dynamite in the chair. Yeah, dude. Yeah, you can. I don't, you I don't bother. Chair. You ain't I'm, got that much... Tom and I'm, effort, I'm doing, Jimmy. I'm doing this purely just to make sure Jimmy goes all in. I'm gonna oh. call that bluff, Jimmy. Really? Yeah. Go ahead, bl blow mine up right Wait, now. No, 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 because you're blowing the rest of us. They're all connected. Well, he gonna blow himself I would blow myself up, up as well. Oh my god. Oh, wait. I thought I didn't mean go all in. What the hell? No. Oh, were you, were you big blind? Mm hmm. I mean, I'll, I'll help you out. Well, thank you. Oh. But now you also have to go all in. You know what, Jimmy? I like that idea. Well, and so does go, Mr. Crudewater. I'm going to go with all in. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's all what I go, go all in, Mr. Crudewater. I'll go seven dollars. It's only, it's only what? Four more dollars than you already, or five more dollars than you already spent. Yeah, I ain't going all in though. I'll tell you that damn much. <laughs> scared. You scared? Yeah, are you I not am confident scared. in your cards? I've hmm? come a long way. I'm running this table right now. I got. I can call the shots because I got the money. I ain't gonna go all in. I can call the shots because I have a gun. <laughs> oh, wow. You gonna shoot me, Jimmy? Why Probably you not. That? I'll just point it at you. Come on, show us oh, what I'm, you got. Oh, I'm sorry. Sorry, I didn't even realize it was my turn. Oh, I have the nuts. No. I do. Look at that ace right there. I have the nuts, Jimmy. No. All right, I'll check it. Let, you no. you want to raise more? Yeah. You want, you want to dip more into that 20? Go How much more? In. We have a seven. There you go. Y'all can have fun with this one. <laughs> <laughs> I got an ace, baby. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> I had it till that ace came out. You were fucked until that ace came out. <laughs> what did you have? Queen? You had, had the one queen. pair? Had the queen. You had the queen. Seven. Oh, all right. Yeah, yeah all right. All right, Will. All right, I guess I can nine? detonate that dynamite now. No! Because <laughs> I can blow up that dynamite. Jimmy, you, be you best calm down now. Yeah, you calm down. I'm going to tell your mama about this. She's dead. Right. This will be my last game. I was talking about Mama Christine. Hey, Robert and Daisy, you want to make this last game? Yeah, sure. Okay. So let's make this one interesting. Once the flock oh, comes, big bets. In case you're wondering, cause of death, cholera. Oh, Wait, sorry, Jimmy. Oh, I, I was talking oh, it, about Mama Christine. Okay. Huh? I said I was talking about Mama Christine. Yeah, you Bitch. would talk about Mama Christine, you yeah, thirsty, I do. fat old I man. I do a lot. What? Oh I'm not God. even fat. Jesus. Why does everybody keep saying fat. that I'm fat, fat. I'm not? Fat and bald. Uh, 
I am over. not fat comb and I have over. a full comb head over. of hair for All of your hair is on the front of your head and you comb it backwards. Uh, my hair's quite thick, actually. The hell's wrong with you? Fat and bald. <laughs> oh my god. You're going on a rampage, Jimmy. No, I will be. You know what? I ain't lying. Jimmy, 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 I ain't got this? shit, but I'll just call it. Jimmy, how about this? How about you? Uh, I'll throw insult. some money back right, on the throw, table. Throw, throw, throw roasts at everyone else here. Uh, Biff, fat, bald. No. Okay, well, I can't do it. Uh, bitch. The hell's your problem, Jimmy? Bitch. You just you just trying to get rise at him. He huh? he knows what he did though. That, that that's real. He knows what oh, he me? did. Yeah, you know what you did. No. Oh, well, there goes that. Uh, Jim, bitch. Yeah. Oh, you bastard! Oh, you just going around the table, ain't you, Jimmy? <laughs> Jim's. Is good, what, you getting up to fucking hit me because I called you bitch? Is that it, huh? Is that it, you big man? I don't want to hit the locals. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you don't. I'm done for tonight. Oh no. I what is going on? I'll be running around my saloon like that. Children. Kicking each other. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> it's a catch to be. <laughs> it made a sound. <laughs> oh, my God. Time <laughs> <laughs> around like a like a sneaky old man there. <coughs> Things are weird right now. I don't mean to. Oh, okay. Ready to go, y'all? Like yeah. Where you go? <coughs> Where you go? Oh, shit. Where you go? What? You're laying down from me. What? You're a doctor. You're a fish. You're, you're laying down, Jimmy. I'm certainly not. Uh, yes, you are. It looks like you are. Is he laying down to you, Robert? Yes. He's playing yeah. down and moving very strangely. <laughs> Excuse me. Huh? Yes, yeah, Jimmy, you might want to take a nap. There's so okay, much first I'm going to throw you. Into a wagon next okay. To and his ribs are broken. Oh, gosh. I'm You're afraid not doing I have no idea. Mm. Okay. Thank you. No worries. All right, let's go. This place is oh, getting horse. real weird. No, somebody. Yeah. All right, y'all. Let's go. Oh, oh shit. Fun, though. Oh. Oh, there you are. Oh, there you are. Yes, shit, I'm asking. It's in Telegram Station. Oh. Let me... No, actually, I don't, I don't think I have anything. All right. Oh, yeah? So, uh, you should, so Robert, can you that you got your, all your red? 
How about what? 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 My Telegram? You know, all your, yeah. you know, your mashed potatoes? Yeah. Cool. Uh, and Daisy has all of hers as well. Mm -hmm. I got mine. Cool. So we're all good. <laughs> yes, we are. Yeah, I got I got all mine. Oh, my what shit. we need now is to distill the shit. We're going to go. Oh, right. Yeah. I almost That's forget that fun. you need to do that. That's not the fun part. It takes <laughs> ages. <laughs> What? At her first time, she actually got profit out of that. Heck yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She did real. I did. I did I, horrible. I, then I had did horrible for my second one. I mean, I mean, I mean, as, like, as a first timer, right, and not knowing much about the game, she made money. Uh huh. I regret it one time folding though because I had a seven and there were two sevens on the table. Oh, three like, of a kind. <laughs> <laughs> that happens. That happens a lot. That happens. Ask Robert here. It's happened to him many times. Yeah. yeah. Sometimes we... it's not worth it chancing it and seeing it's, what's it under is there. Not. It, it is, it, sometimes Other there are reasonable folds. There yeah. are reasonable folds. <laughs> like, if you, if, you, if, you a, like if, you had, if you had a two and a seven, and then the turnover and the little were seven, yeah, it's a regretful thing, but it's not, I mean, it's not like, you know, like a bad thing for you to fold. Yeah. Understandable. Hmm? Yeah, it's over the track. I'm surprised you stopped to shoot it. Usually I just run from him. Uh, yeah, it's understandable uh -oh. you did. I thought we were going to as well, but he just bucked too, so yeah. kind of had to stay. Alfonso was, was going kind of slowly, so I was oh, like... Oh, that's true. Yeah, he was. So I was like, screw it. I think the only way to survive was to shoot the damn thing. Yeah. God damn. Holy shit. I didn't even know what was over here. I yeah, there's there's a lot over. There's also a pack of wolves near where you're trying to go. Oh. I like to fish around there. It's a really good spot. Oh, okay. Oh! oh. Careful, careful, Buddy, we got you, buddy. Yeah, don't you worry. What the hell happened? Hello. God damn Hello. it, man. Your horse is up there. Ah, oh, shit. Yeah, you want to take Robert up there? Uh, I mean, I've got a, a medical bag. Oh, yeah. If you just uh, want do, you, do you feel too terrible? Oh, All right. Okay. Oh, gosh. Here you go, buddy. Oh, oh, I'm so sorry. Oh. All right, uh, let me... with him. I know. Let me take... <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna make a piss. Hold on. Wait, I... Aw, oh, damn it! Jim, I used it on you, didn't I? Did you? <sighs> when? I... Wait, did I? I Is know it... I had one. I'm Maybe I'm call sure... Toby? It's not on Toby. I know I had one. Hmm. I'm confused where it is right now. I'm so sure I had one. Don't worry, man. We'll get you up. Yeah, it's not here. What the? When did I, when did I 
Excuse What's the game plan? Well, we gotta take him to Valentine. God Fantastic. Damn so God sorry. damn it, Robert! Dang it. Son of a bitch! <laughs> Don't call him a son of a bitch. It's not his fault he fell. I know. I'm just messing with him. <laughs> yeah. I love my horse. Okay. Gosh darn it. We finally were on our way to do this, and now this happened. Is he still conscious back there? Yeah, um, I'm here. If I knew where we were going, I, I know the most direct route here because I, I fish here. So oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Don't worry, man. We'll get you down to Strawberry. Is Strawberry the closest? No, Valentine. Valentine. It's, it's Valentine. Yeah, we, we just came from there, there so. Hold on. Let, me, let, me, let me call off my horse and I'll bring uh, Robert's horse along. Oh, okay. Only you can go through my pockets because I think I have a doctor bag. Oh, gosh. Yeah, that would have been helpful. Just tell him, yeah, you just go right from here and down to the river. You just got to be careful not to fall off, but there's some nice path. Mm. To Valentine. All righty. Just wait for him. I don't want him to fall down, too. Okay, where did he go? Oh! Oh, there you are. Yeah. So he did go over there. Yeah. Oh my god. Hmm? How much does this cost you? It's cheaper than Fonzo. Okay, wait. Where do we go? Go? Do we go across if you were here? From, if you were traveling from Valentine to Saint Denis on full speed, how would this thing run out of energy? How 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 badly do you think it would be off? Wow. Hmm. God damn. Oh yeah, he is. So he so he scares easily. Hmm. Okay, when do we turn here? Uh I don't I'm always Oh here, here we go. Yeah, the narrow one that I don't really like, but uh... Mm hmm it is. All right, there we go. We're getting down safely. I was muted again like a dumbass. Oh, wait. Yeah, we'll just go up here. Yep, cross on the river and yeah, we'll go over there. Right, let me show this thing real fast. I didn't want to see her get hurt. All right, here we go. I'm, I'm, even, I'm, I'm, I'm even gonna buy one just in case. Yeah, good idea. 
<laughs> yeah, I don't remember when I used mine, but I thought to myself, I better buy a new one now. So I have it, but of course I didn't have it. Damn it. Yeah. You had one your, did you have one in the entire town? No, but there's one under the bed. Oh, really? Uh-huh. Oh, shit, I didn't know that. Like a free one. <laughs> uh-huh. Didn't know that. But now you do. I Isn't that do. fantastic? Yes, ma'am. <laughs> All of the uh, doctor's uh, offices have, like, you know, there was extra smell and salt so on there. Yeah, I, didn't, mm -hmm. I had no idea. Yep. They learn new things every day. Yes. And, and um... What? What? Oh, nothing. Nothing? Are you yeah. sure? Mm -hmm. You were going to say something? I know. <laughs> you forgot? Kind of. <laughs> then it wasn't important. <clears throat> Tell you too. Do you know? Did you see who I was talking to? Ah, uh, I'm not sure who that was. No, why? Boy, is a lot. Really? The, the yeah. lady? Mm hmm. Uh huh. Hmm. A sheriff. Why was she in front of a sheriff's office? Because they used to be a notorious outlaw, but now they're the sheriff. Oh. Oh, so wait, was she part wow. of the media thing that you're doing? Mm, that was a uh, rabbit windward. Huh, interesting. Oh, so Can't wait, wait to wait, read wait, about so it. Does she also work for the uh, newspaper thing, or is she like someone that you're interviewing for? Uh, just the interviewing <laughs> for an article. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Let me get your hand. So, so, like, she's telling you about your life as a criminal to come up to a... Uh, oh, there we go. So, like, from her outlaw life coming up to a uh, being a sheriff. Yeah, exactly. Her journey. Oh. Kinda... That must be kind of an interesting story. That must yeah. be very interesting. Oh, what the heck? I've never noticed this before. Huh, this is safe here. Is it? No, we can't do anything. Ah, damn. <laughs> <laughs> must be really hard. Mm -hmm. Well, it's good you get your stories in, man. Yeah. I thought you were you meeting know, up with somebody, and that's the reason I was like, so I thought she was a part of your media friends. No. I'm gonna get money for a bag, just so I have one. <laughs> Shit. Sorry. You are out, man? Yeah, I was gonna... You know, don't kick me. Rush me.
No, not yours, Miss Daisy. She, she like, it hopped like twice. Fine. Well, I don't know. We think excited. Again. Oh yeah, excited is the word I'd use. All right, come on, y'all. Okay. <laughs> You shouldn't even thought. Are you? Oh, wait, wait. Robert. Robert. Oh my gosh. Maybe it's worse than we thought. Maybe he needs a doctor. Oh. <laughs> there we oh, go. Good. Okay, Alrighty. let's go. Right. Time to make some. Oh, watch out, buddy. Time to make some mash. <laughs> Now our favorite part. Yay. <laughs> That's true. It, it just takes, it feels like it takes longer than you, I, I think it feels like it takes longer than wheat are crafting mm -hmm. it because all you're really doing is just kind of pouring the drinks in and it takes a long time for it to filter through it. Yeah. Sometimes it takes longer than usual for it to filter. I don't know if something gets stuck yes. or, or whatever uh, it is. Yeah, I realized that. I thought it was just me. I thought I, thought I was oh, like being impatient. Okay. So I, I, I was like, did it take that long? I thought it was just me. Uh-huh. I've definitely noticed that sometimes. Have you too, Robert? It's ridiculous. Okay. Mm <laughs> Craft brush stew. How many more you all left? Five. Yep. All right, so we all have five left. Excellent. Two more left. Uh, 
You're all on your last one. Yep. Excellent. Hey, Jim, I'm really tired all of a sudden. <laughs> yeah, I feel the same way. We'll, yeah. do quick, we'll do this quick run and it'll be done then. Uh, okay, maybe. <laughs> maybe. Yeah. All right, let's do this thing. I'm just really, really tired. I know. Um, we 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 can do the Sky Ranch if you want to. All right. So the way we're gonna do it is, I need to think. So you're gonna take me on your horse. We're gonna meet Robert and Thieves Landing. Alrighty. Oh, sure. Oh, I just, I need to. Okay. I'm pretty tired, but. Um, well, we'll, we'll do it. We'll do it tomorrow then. Yeah, I can, I, I'm sorry. I'm just no, too tired right now. No, no, and, I, I and, get and it. if they catch me, then I have to stand there. No, and I like, know. I get mm -hmm. it. Okay. Oh, well, in that case, we'll just go ahead and do the shine runs tomorrow then. Yeah, I think that might be uh, best. Do you, do you want to go? You want to go ship away, Robert? Or do you want to come with us to Sky Ranch? Uh, where the hell was that? Wasn't that like far north up there? Uh, it's like it, it's it's a little ways away, not too far. I'll let you two go no, on that sleepy super journey. Close. It's pretty, it's pretty damn close. It's amazingly close. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Are you sure you're gonna go your own way? Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna head into town. I'll let you guys go. Uh, all right, buddy. But, Big um, love to you. <laughs> yeah, uh, I'll be, uh, I'll be around um, probably after five. In New York. Oh, perfect. All right, buddy. Well, we will see you. Wait, didn't you say three? At least at five. <laughs> no, we're, we're doing, we're, so we're meeting up at three thirty and then doing the thing at four, right? Huh? 3.30 oh, already? He we, said we, uh, we, were, we were talking like after 5. We were doing it, yeah. we were doing it at like 6 or 6.30. Oh, yeah, 6.30. Right. I'm, I'm thinking of... My, my, my brain is thinking... Oh, right. California time? Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Gotcha. Sorry. Yeah, okay. So, man, okay, I'll see you at 6 o'clock or uh, 5 o'clock. All right, that sounds good. All right, buddy. See you. And where are we meeting up at? Um... I mean, just Telegram. I'll probably be in like Valentine or whatever. It, it, it'll, it'll, it'll be it'll be the the Emerald Ranch check. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh yeah, the Emerald Ranch saloon. That's right. That's right. Yep. All right, buddy. I'll see you tomorrow. All right, to the loop. Be safe. See, see you later, pal. Mm -hmm. <laughs>
Good man. I'll check it later. Break. Oh, I do. <clears throat> Forgot it. Shit. Moonstone pond.
cool beans. Madman. <clears throat> oh shit, it has been 10 hours. That's so funny. <laughs> oh, there was a player getting cranky at my home. Oh, wonderful timing. So I'm going to go to bed. It was a pleasure, dude. I'm glad we got the role play. I'm excited for tomorrow. Yeah, I'm going to bed. I'm fucking beat. I gotta go uh, host a friend that's coming out of town tomorrow, so I'm hoping to be home on time. And we'll go from there. Hell yeah, it's gonna be a good time, dude. You have yourself a good night, you get some rest. Catch y'all tomorrow.